Hey guys, Fia back again with another VOD. This one is from the 14th of February, 2022, Valentine's Day. Uh, Mount Farm Monday, Heartbreaker runs, more Mount Farming. It was great fun. I actually really enjoyed tonight. It was just super chill and just, oh, I needed it. I'm, I'm, look, these, this, this constant streaming thing is starting to wear me down, but I really enjoyed tonight's stream and I hope you enjoyed the VOD as much as we enjoyed it while it was live. Uh, you can catch me live, speaking of live, 4pm Australian Eastern Standard Time on Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. Uh, you can also go to twitch.tv forward slash fiama forward slash schedule to check what that converts to in your local time zone. Uh, you can also follow me on all of the social things. There's a discord.gg forward slash fiama. There is a Twitter that is fiama underscore 29. Instagram fiama.29 if you want to help me go full time. Uh, and there's also, I think, a TikTok and a Facebook. I don't know what their, like, ats are though. So, like, look, the links are down in the, in the description box. So if you like that, go check it out. Enjoy the VOD. Hopefully I'll see you in chat next time. Let's see if this works and doesn't go kibble ammo. Second first. <laughs> Fuck. Look, um, I, um, this is, this is becoming a little bit ridiculous. Did I replace my router? Of course not. No, no, of course not. This is still my usual router that I, that we are using. Um, I ended up, usually it like reconnects itself after a couple minutes. Uh, this time I actually had to yank the, the power plug out of it and count to 10 and put it back in again, uh, before it would actually reconnect because it did a, a bunch of oopsies. Um, uh, yeah, so the bot disconnects itself completely if it's disconnected for longer than X amount of time. So I'm going to have to manually reconnect that. Give me just a second. Uh, let me do that for everything. Discord bot as well. Yeah, it, it's kind of like a fail safe. Like if it fails to connect, like it retries and then it retries and then it retries and then it stops and just disconnects itself. Uh, so I think we should be good now. I think bot should be alive now. Um... Yeah. Cool. So I lost a lot of chat, obviously, but that's that's fine. Um, I would rather lose some chat and be able to go live than keep all of chat and never be able to go live again. Let's be honest. Um, good. Let us... <sighs> Look. Would it be a stream without technical difficulties, honestly? Welcome back, everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I have had a really good day. Jess was off work today, and so I gave him half my to-do list. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Um, granted, it's like household stuff. I wasn't getting him to do my work for me, um, but I, I did. Uh, there were a couple of things that I was planning on getting done eventually, which he did, which is fantastic. Um, so I'm not on top of my to-do list, not even close. But I'm a fuckload closer to being on top of it than I was. Let me fucking tell you. I have done my social media for the rest of February on Facebook, on Twitter, on TikTok, for my Instagram reels. And I have two posts left to do for Instagram, like the feed. But I don't have image. Well, I have images for one. I have an image for one of those two posts now. I need a second one, which I'm going to be grabbing this weekend, and that'll be good to go. I'm just, oh my god, I'm actually, I'm actually starting to get back the fuck on top of shit, um, which is good. Uh, why it keeps defaulting back to level? I want it. Oh, I'm back to rarity. Sorry, I want it on. I want it by level. Um, that's okay. Make sure you place units. BT dubs. Make sure you place units. Um. What else did I do? Um, I scheduled both of the 22nd VODs because I had to split it into two parts. Um, I've look, I've done a whole lot of stuff. I've done a whole lot of stuff. And there are still two more things that Jazz is going to do while I'm streaming to tick those off the list, which make me feel really good. I just... <sighs> I'm getting there. I have been so stressed over the last week because nothing has been happening. Like, everything's been happening. But nothing has been, you know, that you know, everything is just like, oh my god! But you don't actually get any of your like actual things you need to do. None of them get done. Um, so 
that's like now that I'm starting to catch up, like slowly but surely starting to catch up, I would like to get back to a position where I can actually exercise every day. That's my goal is getting so getting on top enough of my shit that I have half an hour each day to do some physical activity. That would be ideal. That would be amazing because I feel like shit and I don't like it. I feel like shit. Um, it's got nothing to do with the way that I look or the way that other people think I look or anything like that. It's just that my body feels like it's slowing down again. It feels like it did when I was in the thick of the autoimmune bullshit and I'm no, I'm not here for it. Fuck that shit. Let's get better. Um, so I'm going to do that by moving my ass. Moving my ass. Also, can we talk about... Oh shit, I don't have any of these things on. I turn all of these off when... Um, when I'm filming my VOD intros and I forget to turn them back on again. I'm a good. Can we, can we just like... I'm loving this. I'm, I'm like... I'm feeling this. I'm, I'm like right up. Yep. Yeah, okay. So, um, there is a dark brown in my crease. This is the crease up here. Like the, the part where the, the skin kind of creases in, in the fold of your eye. That's what we call the crease in case you're not a person who does any kind of makeup. Um, and then on the outer corner, you can't, it's kind of the camera's turning it brown, but it's an olive green. This is from the Mellow quad that I have, the Athena quad. It's fucking gorgeous. The dark brown isn't, but the, there's like an olive green and then this sort of cream sort of champagne -y shade as well. Though Both of those shimmery shades are from the, the Athena quad from Mellow and they went on like a dream. And I'm not just saying that because I'm an affiliate. They legitimately just were phenomenal. So that's good. Um, I own this mount and it is a ground mount. Good luck. Uh, excuse me. Why do I have this? What has broken? Something is broken and it's, uh oh. I don't like when, when that comes up, like all of my, look, all of my things have been reset. All of my oh, like tips and shit have been reset. Shit. Oh well, it's fine. Uh, all right, let's go. Let's get cracking. Oh, fucking okay, I'll turn on captions. Good Lord. I forgot about that. <laughs> Oops. Um. Where am I? So, what I have on my- oh shit, that's a lot of redemptions. How did I- Oh, 19 hours ago. I thought I- I thought I refunded all these. I'm gonna hit refresh. Maybe I didn't- maybe I broke the page. Ah, uh, well done, Zam on first. Ferion also here. Koala with second. Yori with last. Uh, Dupe with also here. Uh, Ali with first, which was on cooldown, but that is okay. There was still third and Fursy and Thrid and Th- and Thurf. And- 6 to 9th and 29th, that is one as well. Uh, lots and lots of different commands there, ready to be used. But yeah, the um, most people who end up grabbing like those first couple of commands, are, they've been sitting here the whole time. Like waiting for me to go live because I'm always late. What are these bars? What has broken? Something has broken and I don't like it. It's making me very nervous. Am I not auto-looting either? Oh, I don't like this at all. Something's warped. I mean, I get it when you like disconnect, but I wasn't even loading in when I disconnected. I shouldn't, nothing should have been broken like that. Fuck, what have I done? I've probably done something. On to the next one. Um, I'm gonna have third or 69th indeed. They are all words though. It's all letters, no numbers in the commands, just heads up in those commands anyway shiba with thread i wish my should be honest about how many people are in the view you know yes so that's because there's lag it's the internet there nothing can be instantaneous um it's just not a thing that exists uh so that would be why uh then i had my dc and i can't see anything until i said to shiba whole pc isn't connected that includes the bot <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> if I was using the cloud bot, it would still be working. But no, I don't want to do that. I like my desktop bot. It makes me happy. And I've had it since, pretty much since I started streaming, I've been using the same bot. So I, I don't want to change it. Um, it would also involve me having to move everything across. And I just, nope, don't want to think about it. <laughs> I don't have time for that. Does, do you have time for that? Um, <laughs> uh, the second to first. It is alive. 
it is alive, but the bot wasn't because the bot got DC'd entirely, so I had to fix that, but it should be fixed now. Uh, with the koala joint. There you go, butts and double butts. Phenomenal. Got the fossilized raptor and spirit of echo. Congratulations, koala. Well done. Well done. We're so hyped now farming lovely charms. Fuck yes. Get that shit. I found a new world wordle. It's called Worldle. Oh, good lord. Is that mixing, like, like knowledge of places with knowledge of words? Because both of those in combination sound terrible. Um, getting on top of the shits in this economy. I know. I know. Speaking of economy... I've had a very exciting opportunity to land in my inbox as well. And I'm not going to tell you, but... I I nearly dropped my phone when I read it, so... There's, there's, your, there's your hint. Good. Uh, face mount, dire wolf, no. Hello, married, how are you going today? Uh, this is only one or two brown wear mats, only a couple. There's only a couple. They're very, they're very few and far between. Most of them are blue, so you know. <laughs> oh fuck! Can you imagine if we had a mount that was like brown and blue? You'd all lose your fucking minds. It'd be great. Uh, b brown green dream runner. That's not a thing. I don't think. It could be. I'm confused now. Onyx clouds, but no. Swift spring strider, no. Hello, nurse. Where's my box? There's the box. The heartbreaker. You bastards. I hate you all. It's fine. Everything is fine. Uh, boy. Um, train Snarl and no. Did fear broke everything? Yes. Always. Always. Hello, Josh. Uh, guess from the country based on direction and distance from previous- No. Absolutely fucking lutely not. That is not a thing that I would ever be any kind of successful at. Nope. Warsung Diafang. Yes. <laughs> Good job. Good morning, Phoenix. Doing well, how are you? Uh, unfortunately, it was not the tan riding camel koala, but thank you for your guess. Uh, I appreciate everyone who jumps in and, and gives it a shot with it, because it's fun, you know, I have fun. I like being the center of attention, that's why I'm a streamer. <laughs> um, uh, brown Green Dream Runner is an unused color variation. Ah, oh, cool. Maybe they should not have it unused. Maybe they should use it. Seven for me. Seven for me. Hey, given that you guys are like here early and you've suffered through my my disconnect and all that kind of shit, would you like some like like some some secret secrets about what I have to give away uh, during the six year uh, anniversary marathon stream? This is the wrong spreadsheet. What the fuck have I done? I opened up my makeup spreadsheet. I'm not going to find stinkies in there, am I? Um. I'm great. Wonderful to hear, Phoenix. Wonderful to hear. Gonna lurk. Have a great stream. Will do, Jared. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. And enjoy your lurk. It does look cool. Awesome. You want secrets? I'm about to dive back into Drano intro. Oh no. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. It'll, it'll, uh, zoom by. It'll zoom by. Oh shit. Let me just set my demons on the, so it looks like I'm doing something. Uh, and then she busts through. There you go. The occupation. That sounds like something to do with Russia. I have no idea though. Probably not. Did Russia actually occupy anything? I don't even know. I'm bad at history and geography. Whatever. Uh, so, I have for the six year stream anniversary marathon giveaway, do wacky, uh, I have some mounts. Giveaway because would it be like would it would it even be a fear giveaway if it did not involve some mounts? Because come on, mounts are gorgeous, awesome, and wonderful. So I have some mount codes to give away. I have some Bubble Tea Club gift cards to give away. I have so obviously the like um, so the the mount codes are un un region locked or region unlocked so it's not just N A O C E it is anyone anywhere with a WoW account which is awesome um, the multi club cards are <laughs> region locked 
in that they only deliver to a couple of countries, so you have to be living in those countries to be able to use the gift card, unless you're going to use the gift card to send a gift to a friend living in one of the shipping countries, like shipping two countries, like that's, that's fine. Um, uh, I have some gift cards for Mellow Cosmetics, again, only limited by wherever they ship to. Um, I have uh, some Twitch branded merchandise, because that's fun. Some Twitch branded merchandise. You may remember something called Bitfest that I have a few bits and pieces to give away from. Um, and I have not one, not two, but three products from Logitech to give away. So that's exciting. And I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Oh yeah, magic earrings. I'm totally tank good. Wonderful to hear. Magic earrings as well. So, it's gonna be pretty fun, I reckon. Give away every hour. And uh, I'm not gonna set times for each of the different things to give up, because then people will rock up for the five minutes for the thing that they want, because that's, you know. And that's fine, but no, that's not how we roll here. Um, so, <laughs> so, um,. I'm going to stick little slips of card or paper or whatever into a little jar and uh, every hour I will draw out a slip that will tell us what we're giving away and then I will run the giveaway and then we will continue doing whatever the hell we were doing and then we'll do it again an hour later. Do you have a heartbreak amount code? Uh, if those existed, I would I would be using one of them. <laughs> no, I have, I have the codes in my possession. Um, so yeah, if I... <laughs> If I were, if it was for a heartbreaker, you know, I would have one by now. I would be using the mount. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, I mean, you could give out the makeup to the, huh? Yay, you're gonna look for a bit while I go make dinner. Good luck on not getting your heartbreaker. Yeah, thank you very much for the well wishes. Much appreciated. Um, did we wipe? Oh, it reset. It bugged out. It must have. You can't, like, where was, where were we dragging them? Like, did we, yeah, went out of range. Yeah, exactly. Don't, don't do that. Like, just, you don't have to move them. Just kill them where they stand. It's fine. Um... Uh, I want affiliate link Logitech goodies. I'm willing to take free ones instead of have to. Look, as would I. I would. L I mean, I want both. I want to be able to give stuff away, and I want to be able to have an affiliate link. But they are working on it. Um, when I reached out and asked for products to give away, uh, I also asked about the affiliate code slash link thing, uh, and they said they're definitely working on it and that they want to give us them because it will generate more business for them. Obviously. Um, it's not super often, like, I mean, occasionally there'll be a sale at a specific vendor, like at JB Hi-Fi, for example, and you can get Logitech stuff on sale. But beyond that, it's not very often that you can actually find them at a discount. So having the discount codes out there will be good for their business. They are working on it. I think they're just trying to figure out how to do it uh, and easily onboard people and make sure that the payments go through right and that they do it all per, like, Australian contractor standards. And, do you know what I mean? Like, there's a whole lot of... There's a whole lot of legal things that they have to make sure they're doing the right thing. And of course, you know, drawing up a contract to enter into that kind of an affiliate program uh, and making sure that they're happy with that because they are a big fucking company. It's not like, uh, you know, a, a small business that's got a team of 12 opening up an affiliate program for their for their makeup or something. This is a, this is a much bigger deal. Um, and they've got potentially thousands of people who would be getting a code to use uh, and they want to make sure that they've got their asses covered in terms of being able to get out of that if someone's not representing them in a way that they want them to and all that kind of stuff. Um, I get it. It's, you know, it's, it's, I'm a bit impatient, <laughs> but, but I get it. Um, but yes, I, fingers crossed, you guys will be 100% the first people to know. Um, it will be in Discord. It'll be, Fia has affiliate code! Use the thing! Go to link! Buy your shit! Like, yeah, it'll, like, I will not be able to keep that a secret until stream time. Absolutely not. It'll go in the Discord. Uh, <laughs> uh I want Fia to get the mount and then I get one and not feel crap. Yes! I want everyone to be able to get a, a love rocket, uh, fucking, what's it called? Heartbreaker. Everyone can get the big pink thing. 
Argent Hippogriff, can do. Can do. Argent Hippogriff. Such an interesting colour. It's like so shiny. Almost. I don't know. It's a it's an interesting colour. I came out wrong. I was halfway through saying don't get your heart broken by the mount not dropping. Then got side joke before finishing time. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, Phoenix. Uh, how the fuck did that reset? Uh, yeah, I think it went out of like out of range or something. Or maybe it was like someone got caught on the corner of the fountain and it line sided them and they kind of went, what? Goodbye. Uh, who knows? There's, there's, yeah. Look. Uh, good luck for the bat bring got left on the pillow this morning. Totally fine. I know the feeling, Phoenix. I know the feeling. Uh, I've seen people join groups on the Heartbreaker. Like, how dare you rub it in for us, the rest of us unlucky fools. They they're celebrating. They're allowed to celebrate. They're allowed to celebrate. It, what What is really annoying is when people get on their Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpents at Shah, waiting for the respawn. I'm like, why are you here? Piss off. Ah, uh, Zenjin, you're just too late, unfortunately. Next one. Join in for the next one. Um, do I have any friend requests? No. Remember, you can always exclamation add me in chat if you'd like to add yourself to my friend list. Uh, so you can jump in via quick join. Our only person out of range was the DK was like miles away and didn't have aggro. Did they maybe try to grip them? I don't know. Who knows? Look, shit breaks sometimes. And if that's the first time in just over 200 attempts that it's bugged out, I'm pretty okay with that for now. Pretty okay with that for now. Um, okay, thanks. You're very welcome, Dan. Pray for today before... Who in the mouth of the... Good news, you go to Mount. Not a problem, Phoenix. Enjoy your dinner. I hope it's delicious. I hope you enjoy it. I got my bubble tea order today. There was so much stuff that they had to tape two boxes together to fit everything in. Um, so, like, they had the box, but instead of folding the top over... Um, so instead of, like, you know when you got the box and it goes around, instead of folding the top down, they left it up and taped it around and then did the same thing with another one and then, like, slot that box into the other one and then, like, taped all that up. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we've got about three months' worth of, uh, of bubble tea. And the pearls are all expiring on the 27th of May. So we're going to eat all of them before then. <laughs> Every pack has the 27th of May stamped on the bottom. Ah, oh, Jack, you just missed it. You just missed the queue. Fuck. It's all right. It's not like I don't have 70 more tunes for you. <laughs> 70 is an exaggeration, but it's not much of one. It's not much of one. Uh, bosses don't really care about aggro, do whatever sometimes. Yeah, I get a couple of bug runs per day. Been using up your luck, avoiding bug runs. I have. Maybe that's why I haven't got the f fucking mount yet. Mm, good lord. Oh, I scheduled my second step one um, Instagram post and Twitter post today. I mean, it's going to go on Facebook as well because it does that. But um, yeah, I scheduled my second one. We had to we had to retake some of the photos because they just didn't look as good. I wasn't as happy with them as I was with the first one we put out, so we retook because I'm a perfectionist. Um, so we retook some, but I'm so happy with how this this lot turned out. And I'm we're we're, we're narrowing down like how to take product photos for fear. Like it, yeah. I'm I'm really happy with it. Um, hopefully it means we'll get some awesome shots of like thrown gifts in action to say thank you to people and stuff as well. Look, I'm just, ah, everything is awesome. I am so, I'm happy. I'm feeling, I'm tired still, but I'm feeling really fulfilled. I had a massive headache last night. Like I, like, like to the point that I couldn't even lie still because the pain was just like, it was irritating me enough that I felt like I had to keep moving to, to distract myself from it. Um, so I ended up getting, I've got like a, I've got a couple, uh, like eye sized, wheat packs that I keep in the freezer. So I put one of them on and I was like, great, this is good. This is really helping. But then I started getting restless. So I went and got like a sleep sleeping mask and put it over the top of it to like strap it to my head. I looked ridiculous. But then I managed to fall asleep like that and then woke up with the, the heat pack to the wheat pack, just like, I think it was like on the floor or something. 
Um, but I actually got, wait for it, a decent night's sleep. I got out of bed willingly at 8 a.m. That's how good a night's sleep I had. 8 a.m. out of bed. What the fuck? I have been so productive. I did all that social media scheduling I was telling you about earlier, like two, two and a bit weeks of Twitter, Facebook, uh, TikTok, Instagram reels, Instagram except for two posts. All of that was done before midday, before noon. What? What? I was so confused. I don't know how, but there we have it. So I'm feeling pretty fucking good. <sighs> and I got an email with an awesome opportunity that I have to respond to before 10 a.m. on Wednesday. And, 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 and we got more photos so that I could put them up on the Instagram schedule and on the Twitter schedule. And, 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 and. Yeah. I'm warm though. <laughs> Let's turn that on, shall we? But yeah, um, I've had a pretty good day, I reckon. I uh, can't remember if I did my bad run today, so I guess I'm gonna do that real quick. Fuck yes. Might as well. Oh, if you check in your rarity thing, if you check in your rarity thing and you hover over it, like where's Heartbreaker? Do you see in the thing, it says attempts 11.56, time spent farming chance so far. Today, six. Yesterday, 50. Last week, 306. Last month, 306. So it should have a today count for you. So if you've done, so it's like the Crimson Shard Hide. If you've done it today, it should have one there for today. So you don't have to go and do it again. Fuck, I love rarity. Uh, is fear a perfectionist? Yes. Yes. Um, when I was going back and looking through the photos, I'm like, oh, the one that we posted was really like warm and like, you know, like the color was warm. The temperature was nice and nice and snuggly and all this kind of stuff. And I looked at the other ones. I'm like, these look cold and miserable. <laughs> and then, oh no. <laughs> so, and I tried tweaking them uh, with, with, my, with my gimp and stuff like that. And it just wasn't working. I got them to look warm, but the shadows on the on the wall behind me were just weird and it just something something wasn't quite right, so we just retook them. Um which didn't take too long, which was good. Um yay indeed. Did you open Asana? I did. I did. I two of the things on my uh on my to-do list that I did not do today are check my social media and check my emails. Because those are the ones, like, social media, like, it's going to be fine. It'll be great because there'll be a whole lot of, like, birthday wishes and all that kind of shit, which is great. But there's going to be so much. And it's going to take me a long time to, like, actually go through them all and respond to people and stuff because, yeah. So I'm just kind of afraid of how long it's going to take. I think. <laughs> uh, a decent night's sleep. I don't know. Sounds sus. I know, right? Look, it's a bit strange. It wasn't, like, great sleep, but it was enough to get me through last night. So I don't think I've I don't think I've conquered any of the sleep debt, but I think I've gotten somewhere, you know. Yep. Uh, Gimp being image manipulation software for anyone who's confused. Are yeah. Not prepared. Ah, Killer Panda Seventeen. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. How was your stream? What did you get up to? How are you doing today? Ah, uh, I've run the past so many times. I never remember. Without the copy base, fantastic, Shiba. Did you check in your rarity thing? to see if you'd killed it or not, or did that just, it, it, like, yeah. Um, hello, Edry, welcome back. Hello, killer, welcome on in. Um, if anyone is interested in joining me for Heartbreaker Runs, I don't know how many of the Raiders are uh, WoW players and who are on America Oceanic slash Horde, uh, or Alliance, I've got Alliance tunes later, um, but if Vankaris isn't ready, what's going on? Like, why is this taking so long. We've been in queue for four minutes. This is not okay. Is this like load screens and shit that we're going through or what's the, what's the deal? Um, but yeah, um, if you would like to join us for Heartbreaker Runs, you're more than welcome to. You just need to type exclamation, add me into chat, grab my battle tag and add me to your friends list. Uh, and then you can use quick join, which is in here. Quick join. I don't have anyone on my quick join at the moment, but yeah, that's, uh, you can click there, you can join the group, and away we go. Away we go, but I don't know why this queue is taking so long. I can't really afford to have five minute queues because I've got 50 characters to get through. Um, and that's a fucking long time to stay in queue. Um, I also just dark table for photo manipulation to help with shadows and such is free. Um, 
there, it's, um, I can't explain to you how it was wrong without showing you the image because I cannot put it into words, but it, it like, let me try. It kind of looked like someone had taken a picture and then grabbed like the spray paint tool and just drawn in shadows around. Like, I don't know how that happened. Shadows should only really be cast in one direction, but I think because we're using a ring light and because it must've been too far, like I must've been too far away from the wall or something, it just cast these really weird shadows that made me look like I was superimposed on the wall. And when we tried to tweak the color to make it warmer, like the temperature to be the appropriate temperature, um, it just, it, it just look, made it look weird. It made the, the shadows almost look like a neon, like a reverse neon glow around me. It was, it was, the, it was the weirdest fucking thing I've ever seen. So I was like, okay, delete. Uh, and so we took them again uh, in a different place from different angles and stuff like that. And it worked much, much better. Um, so yeah, we, we're just, we're learning. We're in the process. We're learning. Uh, Killer and I were playing Phasmo. Fantastic. Hello, Azure. Welcome on in. It's good. Play Phasmo for a bit. Had great little chat. You said you were playing well. Fantastic. Well, welcome on in. I hope you've had a lovely day so far. Yeah, this queue is fucked. Um, something. This, yeah, that queue is completely fucked. Um, make sure when you're jumping in, guys, that you check all the boxes for every single roll. It doesn't matter. Just, just let it put you where it wants you to so that we can get faster queues because this is, um, beyond a joke. Uh, I can't, yeah, five, like 50 tunes, five minute QH is 250 minutes and um, plus on top of like, yeah, it's just, it's not, okay. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Not doing that. Uh, keeps me a little slow tonight. I think it's because of the Super Bowl. Oh, that shouldn't really matter that much. Like it's, that's not going to blow out a, a 45 second tank queue to a five minute queue. That's not, nah, that's, um, nah. Uh, a little bit longer, but maybe not, a bit not like that, not that long. Not for a special event like this. Uh, how we have you been know, reading up from a similar to Debbie Lightroom? Good for photo editing on budget. Fantastic. Wonderful. Yeah, I've got a couple, um, I've got a, a tutorial for a particular thing that I've been meaning to do for, <laughs> it's on the to-do list, um, which suggests an alternative, a free alternative to, um, Lightroom, uh, but I can't remember what it was. Uh, let me see. I might be able to find it in here somewhere. Uh, cause it suggested GIMP, um, Inkscape. Yeah. So it suggested GIMP for Photoshop and Ink. Oh no, that's for Illustrator. Sorry. Not for Lightroom. That's for Illustrator. My bad. Um, yeah, look, there are just so many fucking programs. Um, <laughs> usually I leave that stuff to Jazz, but I didn't want to like, uh, no, we're not in a queue. So no, um, uh, yeah, so it's, um, usually I leave that kind of stuff to Jas, but I didn't want, like, I wanted to, considering that I was, like, I was paid for this by step one, by giving me free underpants, um, I wanted to do the work myself, and so I'm kind of learning my way around a few different things, um, but yeah, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, uh, the, and, like, Jas is phenomenal, he does most of his stuff in camera, rather than using editing software and shit, just because it's a lot easier to get the shot rather than editing it and post later. Um, and he's great at that. Every, like, almost every photo he's ever handed me, I've been able to go, good, thwack, and put it on Instagram. Like, that's it. That's, there's nothing else to it. Uh, he's really, really good at getting it right the first time, which is fucking awesome, because I don't have to do any more work. Um, Love free alternatives, me too, agreed, wholeheartedly, because fuck Adobe. Uh, do people outside of the States care about the Super Bowl? No. No. Um, we'll watch the halftime show, and we'll go, huh, cool, that's a funky ad. But beyond that, we don't give a shit, no. We don't care about the sport, usually. There, I mean, as, as with everything, everywhere, there's going to be a group of people who are like, yeah, very much into a sport that isn't originally from their country or whatever, and that's fine. But as a whole, no. There are not ads for it. There are not, like, it. no, we don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. Um, not sure about other countries, but Australia, it's very much not a thing. We do not have Super Bowl parties. Again, select individuals might, uh, but it is not an Australian pastime. 
Uh, there have been a ah, bit too late. Sorry there, Azin. Um, yeah, you need to jump in like as soon as that quick join thing comes up. Because um, the queues, they be popping. <laughs> um, uh, look, we're playing more faz. Enjoy. Enjoy. Hello, turtles. Playing DBD. Wonderful. I hope you enjoy yourself. Hey, tryhard. I think it's mostly an NA thing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Unfortunately, as, an, as a massive generalization, um, there are large chunks of America, of North America, who think that the world revolves around them, and so something that's important to them is also going to be important to the rest of the world, and it's just not. Um, again, that's, you know, massive sweeping generalization. Um, it is not the case for every individual, but there are large chunks of, of people from America who think that they are central to the universe, and they are not. Um, cool, out we get. Uh, how's the map makeup? Yes, it has. It was the Warsong Diafang. The outside corner here is like an olive green uh, from the Mellow Quad, the Athena Quad. The Both the champagne and the olive green are from that Mellow Cosmetics Athena Quad, but um, it doesn't show up super great on camera because a lot of the olive color comes from the reflect, and the way that the light hits it is a little bit kind of funky. Yeah. Cameras are weird. Cameras are not eyes. Shock horror. <laughs> uh, dark table is what I use in place of Lightroom. Not as much functionality, but still fun. Kind of, I'd, I'd imagine that that's similar to GIMP. Like, it's like Photoshop. It can't do quite the same stuff, but it can do a lot of it and pretty well. Uh, especially for something you don't have to pay $75,000 for. Now's the time to join, guys. We're in quick join. Not to use... I'm not made up totally fine. Uh, I don't watch Super Bowl live in Canada, but I do use the day as an excuse to eat nachos and chicken wings. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you, Zika. I really like the way it looks today. I'm I'm really happy with this look. Uh, I'm pretty sure darts and golf are both more popular than the Super Bowl worldwide. That wouldn't surprise me. That wouldn't surprise me. Uh, a lot of people in a don't care about watching the Super Bowl. They just go to the parties for it. Oh, and that's totally fine. Like, not a problem at all for that. But yeah, we do not have like as a as a. Again, an overgeneralization. Um, Super Bowl parties are not a thing in Australia. Just like Boxing Day is not a thing uh, in a lot of North America, the Super Bowl parties in the Super Bowl in general is just not really a thing here. Some people may do it, but um, not really. Happy Heartbreaker Get Day. Oh, I love the enthusiasm seeker. Yes, good. Happy Heartbreaker Get Day to you too. <laughs> I love that. That's great. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Um, Mum sent me a photo uh, today. She's texted me a photo and said, zoom in! I was like, what? What the fuck? And so I zoomed in and it was a street sign um, on the highway saying that she was roughly 800 k's out of Brisbane. I'm so excited. So excited. Happy Heart Maker Day. I like it. Yes. Happy Heart Maker Day. First dropping today, my money on is on the seventh Alliance tune. Ooh, specific. I, f I like it. I like it. No. What's. Oh, Sheba won that got. <laughs> okay, got it. I'm like, what's no? What, you don't want me to get it now? I'm so confused. But no, that was, yep, totally unrelated. I tend to almost tune out half of what Koalatron says these days. Just because I know it's so much of it is stuff that I've scheduled for it to say. Like, <laughs> uh, or it's reacting to a command that you've said, one of you has said. And so I just see what you've said and I know what it's going to say. So I don't bother reading it. Yeah, look, it's a great time. It's a great time. All right, Gisalia, this is the 10th Horde tune for the day. Um, well, oh, whoop, hang on. This is larger than I thought it was. Uh, where's this one? Um, got owned by Shiba, and has anyone added fear on socials today? You should, you should. We've been stable on 895 people. And I've lost a ton on, on Twitter. I've lost a ton of uh, followers on Twitter. But I think that was because I gained, like, I'm not even kidding, nearly a thousand followers from one fucking Hearthstone giveaway. And then everyone who was following me for that has now, like, a whole chunk of them have unfollowed me because they've realized that I don't do super regular Hearthstone giveaways. 
So, <laughs> so I think that's what I've lost a bunch of people from there. But um, I think we were still sitting on 8.95 on Insta. Yeah, still 8.95. Yeah, that's from the giveaway for shiz. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. It'd be nice to crack 1k. That would be phenomenal. 105. 105 and I could crack 1k. And that's like the start, you know, that's when the, inst the that's the Instagram algorithm kind of gives you, pays you a little more attention once you crack that number. Once you've been there for a couple weeks, it, it starts giving you more attention and stuff. So yeah, like it's it kind of, it, social media followings tend to snowball. Your first 100, your first 300, your first 500, your first 700, your first K are quite difficult milestones. But then once you hit that, it all just starts snowballing and you just start picking up more and more people as you go. Um, I do, what I would like to do though, is go through, there are a bunch of GGWP intermediate videos that they've released as part of their premium offering, which I am paying for. Uh, and then... Once I've watched those and absorbed what I can from them, I want to jump into their Discord and have a conversation around Instagram hashtags and growth specifically on Instagram. Because I'm using reels, I'm using posts, I'm using stories, like I'm using every, ex everything except IGTV because I just do not know what I'm supposed to fucking put on IGTV. Um, and... So the, the thing I think I'm missing is hashtags. I think it's hashtags that I'm really kind of falling. I'm not being discovered. Um, and I would like to learn how to do that. And I have come across a few companies that offer a service where they, you know, dive into your profile and they give you a set of 60, 120, 180, whatever hashtags that they feel like are good. For, so both really broad ones, some narrower ones, and then some really niche ones and suggest that you use a combination of all three on every single post you make. Because if you use the same hashtags over and over and over again, it the algorithm starts to like deaden you in that because it feels like you're spamming to those hashtags. Um, so if you have that many and you can rotate through them a whole lot, uh, it the algorithm likes you more. Uh, and if they're the right hashtags for the people who are trying to discover your type of content, they, they're more likely to follow you. Because if you, you know, if you post a photograph of a fucking strawberry and, and talk about World of Warcraft, it's not going to resonate, is it? So people aren't going to follow you from that. Um, whereas, you know, using the appropriate hashtags helps more. So I want to, and I'm not a, I'm not a social media maven. I'm not, I don't have any marketing experience or degrees or qualifications. So I feel like paying someone to do that for me would be fantastic. I just don't want to go with the wrong company because there are hundreds of thousands of companies out there like that, that claim the world, but which ones are actually worthwhile? Which ones are worthwhile? Um, maybe she doesn't be nice to crack one K, coins raid, da da da. shove that single coin up your nose. <laughs> Hello, Cinder's doing well, thank you. How are you today? Oh my lord. All in, hashtag influencer. Yeah, you're invisible if you don't use hashtags. Yeah, and I do. I use 30 hashtags on every post. Every single post, 30 hashtags. I'm, I'm obviously just not using the right ones though. That's the issue. I'm not using the right ones. I think Q is broken again. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you're like queuing for, yeah, there we go. Queue for as much as you can. Queue for as many different roles as you possibly can because it'll get us in faster. Um. Oh, when I got cleaned out with no winners. Oh no. Oh no, doing good. About to sign in. Love my Pandaren. Fantastic news. Wonderful. Yeah, it's been over half an hour. Good lord. Oh well. That's fine. Just gotta catch up next round. Catch up on the wood side. Just get it on this set of alliance. That would be nice. That would be nice. That 
would be nice, but I've got a plan for the worst case scenario. Always planning for the worst case. Hmm, there were sites offering free hashtags, maybe make a list and shuffle them every once in a while, figure out which ones work best for you. I have used them a few times before. Um, they're, they're not so great. Um, they tend to offer like the biggest hashtags where, you know, they've got 1 million plus posts and that kind of stuff. And although those are great to use, they're also, you're like a flash in the pan. People have to tap on that hashtag at the very specific right moment to see you right there or you need to get tens of thousands of likes to show up in the top section of those ones. Um, that's why it's really important to use a mix of big ones and middle ones and little like niche ones as well. Uh, and a lot of those websites, I've tried seven or eight of them now uh, and they all tend to just offer me ones like hashtag love, which is like the biggest hashtag on the entire fucking platform. It's like, just because I said I love this look doesn't mean I need to hashtag it love. Um, but yeah, that's just me. Alliance, let us switch. Yeah, which this is this is why I'm like I'm I'm playing in the, in the, the medium leagues now. I'm not in the big leagues, but I'm definitely not in the oh, small the leagues Alliance. anymore. I'm trying to break free of the smaller leagues, uh, and to do that, I'm gonna need to invest. Uh, but that's the whole thing. Like I get payouts, I get Twitch payouts. I need to invest some of that back into my stream. Um, do do. Yeah, it's uh, just gotta find something that's sort of within my budget, which is not super enormous. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, I think queuing specifically as two rolls breaks the queue. That's interesting though, because a lot of the time my queue is something that's like specifically only tank and DPS, and it seems to be fine. Um, but that's yeah, that's odd. Maybe if it's in like a gr bigger group and you only queue as two, it's fucky. Uh, and I love shamans. Good, good. I think that's going to extend out our queue like a lot. Yep. Average wait time is four minutes because we're double DPS. Um, fuck. Uh, who is Enchan and you will, are you willing to wait until I'm doing stuff that has like a healer or a tank queue? Because queuing as 2 DPS is going to totally fuck our timers. Um, I want to run with viewers, but I cannot afford to have five minute queues across 50 tunes. Uh, I have been thinking, can you kill depreciation as business expense for teeths? Depreciation of my teeth. <laughs> um, oh, there we go. Maybe that'll help. There we go. Perfect. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't, th like, I think there are very, 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 very few industries out there that can claim their teeth as a business expense. Um. But, look, I will, <laughs> uh, I will ask my, my accountant. <laughs> I know I can claim depreciation on my PC and stuff. Um, but I don't know about body parts. Um. <laughs> uh, slapping people with electricity is so fun. Brilliant. I mean, more like curing his tank and heal. Ah, oh, okay. Solo Q is heal or solo Q is tank. Hasn't broken yet. Interesting. All right. Noted. Now I can't be bothered. Oh, fair enough. I mean, it's worth it to get like achievements and mounts and the transmog and stuff like that, but I mean, you're cool. Um, I go test on my druid. Sounds like fun.
Now we hop onto the next tune. It's one alliance. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That. I have a couple of hydrates, so let's do those. And maybe just Q's in general are broken today. Oof. Well, that last one seemed okay. Like it was two DPS in Q and it was saying average time of four minutes, which is not good. But then as soon as um as soon as we had a healer join, it was an instant Q. Maybe it's horde cues are broken. <laughs> I'm currently at a two minute healer queue. What the fuck? Can you like DQ and then queue his tank and see what happens there? It might be DPS cues on horde. And so queuing with a healer or a tank slows you down. <laughs> now is not a good time for them to have the queue making algorithm break down. <laughs> Was two alliance tunes. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. This is number three. Number Get on tank. Oh god, that's um, yeah, it's a little awkward. That's a little awkward. Da, 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 da. I finally left the first zone. Yes, I yelled at him, and so he left the first zone. I'm not wearing my glasses, Jack. So I said no poop yet on tank. That's probably you probably don't want the poop on the tank, right? Two minute tank Q2. Try queuing as just DPS, Jack. If it's DPS queues, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. It's definitely not an alliance. It's definitely not on alliance side. <clears throat> Caught everything aside from APOM, so left it. Yeah, but you didn't catch APOM, so. <laughs> Don't be proud of him, Yori. You'll encourage him to stay in fucking Crimson Mire Lands until he's done with that one, too. I want to talk to him about story shit, and I fucking can't. It's irritating me. into the queue pops to see how long it is. Fair. That's fair. My 
this is ass. The place sucks to navigate. Yeah, until you do the rest of the shit, which gives you the other shit to be able to navigate it better. Maybe you should, I don't know, do the storyline. Oh, 51. After this whole event, I'm going to have to go through and update that spreadsheet of mine. Moose's bestest vehicle disagrees. Disagree. You just don't have the other fucking vehicles yet, you noob. <laughs> That's all it is. At this point, it's his own fault if he gets spoiled. He's been helping me with the um the the big bad scary triple battle thing that happens. Uh, so he knows that part because he had to to be able to help me. Because it's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it is all sorts of levels of fucked. Yeah, my saved instances settings has reset as well. Oh, have my? No, they haven't reset. Okay. So, yeah, my add-ons have been fucked. My add-ons have reset. Um. Don't diss the moose. Uh, hey, Hat. Uh, I just got the WoW trial. Do you have any tips? Uh, take it at your own pace. Like... Just, just explore, have fun, learn about the game at your own pace. Um, if you have questions, ask them. Don't feel like it's a stupid question because every single person who is currently playing the game or who has played the game in the past had to ask that question as well. Um, and like, try to find, because th this is a big game. It is a very big game. It's been going for 17 years. There is a lot of stuff that has happened, a lot of different mechanics that are in the game that have been in the game, blah, 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 blah. Um, if you have a question, find someone who can answer just the question you've asked without giving you 17 years worth of backstory as to why it works that way. Because if you try to learn too much right at the beginning, you will get information overload. And there is a potential that that could lead to you just being like, this is too much. I'm never going to understand this. I'm out. When in actual fact, it is quite simple to wrap your head around as long as you get it in the pieces, like in the bits as you're meant to get it. So yeah, try to try to learn as much as you can just by exploring um, so that you don't end up with information overload that is unwanted. Uh, but yeah, have fun. It's a video game. Enjoy yourself. It's basically it. Hope you enjoy. I really do hope you enjoy yourself in Azeroth Hat. And uh, we're always here if you want to ask any questions. Um, three minutes and 30 seconds. Good lord. She needs to go on a training montage and go catch some good Pokemon. I've got good Pokemon. I just need to train them. I need to bonk a Blissey several times. <laughs> More than several times. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Side note, I left the first zone at seven stars. Can catch literally anything. When I first started, I was trying to go to Stormwind from Boralus and accidentally clicked the wrong portal, ended up in Ironforge, had to ask my gaming buddy how to get back to Stormwind. Thank you so much. Followed you be sure to start watching your streams. Oh, fantastic hat. Welcome on in. I hope you enjoy your time with us. No, you don't. I do so. That's what the guide told me to use. So bugger you. It's a montage. Yep, correct. DPS clues and Q slow to ugh gross. Okay, fair. That was strong bad. It could have been. It could have been. Greetings, David. I need to bonk a blissy. Yep. Go knock it out. Plenty of times. Get me a whole lot of EXP candy L's. <laughs> All rolls Q wait time 46 seconds. Interesting. I think maybe maybe it's swinging so fast between like tank, healer, DPS, healer, tank, DPS, healer, DPS, tank. Like, do you know, maybe it's swinging so fast between them all that it's just like, I don't know, just take all of them. You'll be best. Uh, just because a guide says they're good doesn't make them good. That's what I think. That's what I think. You're the one who told me to use all my grit stuff on them as well, though. Like, you could have just said, nah, they're bad. Go get something else, and then we'll use grit on them. But no, you went with it, so. Just somewhere South Park. All, the kind, all kind of the same. Look. Yeah, you're not wrong. A little bit of the samey same stuff. Definitely need to train up my Pokemon to getting stomped on by boss people. Yeah. I was expecting Cynthia 2.0. <laughs> I gave you the list of Pokemon that the trainer had. But how would you, how were you not expecting? How were you not expecting, thingy? 
Google Death's a strong bad montage. Fantastic. Look, honestly, I think pretty much any fucking cartoon has had like some kind of montage thing happen. It's a, it's a, it's a cliche. Like it's a, it's a thing. It's a meme at this point. So there isn't one in South Park too. There's absolutely one in South Park. There's the the World of Warcraft leveling montage in in South Park as well. Like there's yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. At least thirty seconds wait, no matter what I pick. Yeah. Oof. Oh, just because it looks like Cynthia acts like Cynthia doesn't make them Cynthia that prick, however, is Cynthia 2.0, yeah. Um, maybe too many people queuing Horty, maybe. Maybe, but that shouldn't matter unless it's PvP, right? Like, <laughs> that shouldn't matter. Oh well. Oh well. <clears throat> Basically what you need is a Roselia. Do I now? Not a Roserade? Touch such a thing, even in our dreams, or at least mine. <sighs> and then you turn it into a rose, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, it's difficult to do that when I've got a whole lot of other shit to do. Speaking of which, have you finished the food prep? You see, I'm shit out of its speed. You poison everything. What if poison's weak against it, though? Not yet. That's a with dinner thing. Just using all the chicken burns again. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> because strong bad is good. Strong bad is amazing. Trap door! If you feel I'm growing at the back of his neck there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my high school experience. Uh, that's halfway through the first batch of Alliance when we've done five. The only thing that poison doesn't work on is steel. Yeah, but is it is it super powerful though? This is the thing. Maybe Jas was too young for strong bad. Um, potentially, yeah. He would have been like late single digits, I think. Like mid to late single digits. Although, I mean, it spanned, obviously it spanned over a lot more time than just when I encountered it, but he wouldn't have encountered it when I did. I have shown him a couple things though. I have, I pulled him in here and pulled up Strong Bad, because all the videos are still there. They're just not posting any new ones, I don't think. Uh, and found uh, the Trogdor one and showed him that, and he was very confused. Uh, <laughs> I'm too powerful so long as you have more revives than sense. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, Fun Monday said, fuck you, you're farming Heartbreaker for the whole stream today. Apparently. Good lord. Apparently. These queue times are shit. At least it's not happening on a bonus stream day. That would make me very sad. Drug door was a man. Well, maybe he was a dragon man. Maybe he was just a dragon. But he was still drug door! Yeah, it's, it's just, it's classic. It's wonderful. It's amazing. If you have not seen Trogdor, you need to. <laughs> That's it. That's all it is. You need to. <laughs> of course there's a clip. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That was a half decent speed for a DPS only queue. Awkward! Fears we would quote Strong Bad's children's book. Oh my god. Yep. It's just, it, it's like. This is what a meme was before the word meme was a thing. Like, that's literally, like. Some people wear glasses. Beth looks like a dude. Some people are being fingoriously digested. <laughs> 
Uh, DPSQ is faster than DPSQ and Horde. Oh lord, that's not good. Okay, noted. That's all right. Um, I am I am getting to the point like I'm getting to the point where I'm running out of alliance DPS onlys, um, and then I'll be on Horde side where I've got a few more DPS onlys. Uh, but then it's yeah, we'll be good. I'll be just confused because there's so many roles. There are as many roles as there have always been. Three. <laughs> Why? Algorithms shouldn't be able to be confused. If they get confused, they just stop working entirely. They just break. No queue. No queue for you. Viable rolls probably assumes too viable. Yeah, fair. And then there's DPS, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god, we got so many left. I will not open this, so give me just like wish, wishing, 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 wishing. Okay, we're good. Back to here. <laughs> I don't want to wait. I'm like already behind. I need to get this moving. I need to figure out how to do like a partial stream rate of screen. I'll figure it out one day. Not today. That was six Alliance tunes. So, according to Fairy, this is the drop. <laughs> yeah, um, tank healer, uh, sorry, tank DPS on Alliance is saying two minutes. And it's got me in as a tank. But anything ever so can <laughs> Oh no, we need more units. More units. It is a boss fight and it's our first one of the day. This is this was not my most intelligent plan, but that's okay. Let me make that damn macro E. All of the cheese. All of the cheese. Na 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 na. I'll pop down a healer. Hope for the best there. Yeah. Two minute queue, I reckon, for tank. Which is an interesting and fun time. I don't want to be doing two minute queues. It's a hundred minutes sitting in queue. Wow, the sky outside is grey as hell. There we go. Not too bad. Fairy, if it drops here. <laughs> Look, there's gonna be some there's gonna be some uh some feelings. Good morning, Duke. How are you going? Let's start. Need three more coffee? Fair. I hope you enjoy those three more coffee. It's been freezing outside at night these past few nights. I sleep in a basement suite. Let me tell you, I have the heat in my room cranked because it is so cold. Oh, Shiba. All of the blankets. All of the blankets. Unfortunately, Fairy, it is the first provable instance where you are incorrect. First ever. I'm honored to be a part of it. Seven down. Three to go and we'll switch back to Horde. <clears throat> How many lockouts am I sitting at? Fairy Street. I know. How could I do such a thing? So we're sitting at 16. I think 16 is the closest we've gotten to 20 today. I'd like to push that up and be sitting at my 20 lockouts. That'd be nice. Pretty sure you counted the tunes where I can't be a counter cannibal. I wasn't even here that day. 
Should really put on my Uri. You absolutely should, Shiva. You absolutely should. With big fluffy socks. Uh, Fancy stream rating. Hey, perhaps I found content here I'd like to follow in the future. Fingers crossed. Well, I hope you enjoy your time with us regardless, Duke. Whether that's 10 minutes or 10 longer periods of time. <laughs> uh, it is currently Love is in the Air in World of Warcraft and I want a heartbreak amount. And I have 50 characters, so I'm running each and every one of them every single day through the event dungeon to try to get them out. It's fun. Uh, do you have my slippers on? Yay! Because my toes are the first thing on my body to be very cold. Yeah, I'm the same. It's always like the tips of my fingers and my and my toes. Lots of ten minutes, many many minutes. Yep. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Just a few. Just a few. Maybe I should put socks on. I will put socks on after this dungeon. I think. My hands are incredibly warm all the time, thankfully my toes just don't get the memo. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I get like the the, the last knuckle of my fingertips. Uh, and the and my toes always get quite cold. Which is like, you know, oh, you know, if you're playing video games and your hands get cold, just put fingerless gloves on. But that's the part of my fingers that the only part of my hands that gets cold is my fingertips. So fingerless gloves doesn't bloody well help. Ugh, it's fine. It's fine. I just have like poor circulation all around. Pretty sure I'm like constantly dehydrated and that probably doesn't help. What with the whole thick blood and all that kind of shit. Uh, I'm not like I haven't have a diagnosis of that, but I feel like that's right. Like water helps you help helps your blood flow or something. I don't know. I know that my phlebotomists yell at me when I'm dehydrated because I can't get bloods from me. Hydrate. So <laughs> Uh, what is a Aussie girl? Uh, Aussie means Australian. I'm an Aussie means I am from Australia. And girl is a gender. I'm, I'm female. I'm cisgender female. Uh, I trade. Let's get a old Viking tip. I'm not sure what that means. I'm sorry, Duke. Thick blood. Oh, they fucking despawned again. What did they- Oh. That was a- the rogue ran all the way up there in- in stealth. Like, they ran up there and then they stealthed. Like... My god. Are they just trolls doing this? Have they figured out that this is a way to do it and so they're just trolling? Because that's twice in one day. And it's not happened before. <laughs> or is it a new out of range thing that Blizzard has like, put in today, like hot fixed in, and now everyone's getting hit by it? Like what, what is, like what is this rogue doing? What are they doing? Why are they faffing about? drunk on the boot. Yeah, don't drink, don't drink and drive. That's, that's bad. Uh, so it was DK that time because I caught him running back. Yep. 
Yep. Is there something back there for a quest or something? No, there shouldn't be because nothing else is in that dungeon except for it's it's very specifically the lovers in the air thing. <clears throat> maybe they're running out. Maybe they're running around somewhere to like try to AFK the dungeon without being noticed or something. And it's leading Fry to run around there and despawn because Fry will just kind of run all over the shop. We're trying to do dungeon AFKing. Yeah, I'm not sure. NPC quest to give it back there. Yeah, they're probably seeing that quest mark. Not unless they've got low level quests turned on, and very few people actually do usually. Oh, I shouldn't spawn in this dungeon version. No, they shouldn't. Ah, oh, what I find strange is well, sometimes it takes forever to kill it. Other times they all flop over in five seconds. I think the scaling's a little weird, Goose. I think depending on what levels, like if you've got all 50s or all 60s or a mix of the two, you're fine. But anywhere in between those, like partial, like part of the way to 60, the scaling's a bit funny and so it takes longer for them to kill. Or if obviously if they're just massively undergeared, like if they're, they're not wearing heirlooms, but they're wearing like greens and stuff because they're leveling. Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's that kind of deal. While I'm in there, put socks on. Real good. Thank you, X. When isn't it that? Ah, you're very sweet. That's very kind of you. But yeah, no, I'm I'm particularly liking the look today, and it just kind of goes well with my coloring and and my eyes and all that kind of stuff. I'm quite happy with it. Hey, I had three DPS a second ago. Where did they go? <laughs> what did you do? Uh, track them down on my ret to hunt a main mage, ret pally, or make them flop over. Wait, shit, it said I was tanked in it. Fuck! That's fine. I'll just switch over to prot and I'll be fine. Hey, Azarin. Doing well, thank you. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Given that that's a bookie look, this one should fall right over. <clears throat> Unless they're just going to sit up there and AFK. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm sure I've been mashing the wrong button that whole time. That's very embarrassing for me. Good. Out we hop. Also, that smoky. I think, from what I can tell, yeah, it is. It's kind of. It is a bit of a smoky. I've got a, a dark brown in my crease. And then like a dark color on the outside and then a lighter corner on the inside. So yeah, basically smoke eye. Close enough. Close enough. Good lord. What's going on out there? Ah, I'm fan freaking fantastic. Ah, I just made the last payment on the new rig. Yay! Should be here Thursday or Friday. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. You too, Zaren. That is fantastic news. Congratulations on the new rig. They come for your fee. What did you do? Everything. Simultaneously, nothing. Uh, <laughs> well done, Zeren. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm doing actually, honestly, really, really well today as well. I got out of bed voluntarily at eight and and did not feel like sh I did feel nauseous, like I was going to throw up, but I think it was just because of all the crap I've been eating the last couple of days. So I've had like nothing but real food today, uh, and I'm definitely feeling a little better. Uh, but I was really productive. I got a bunch of stuff off my to do list done. It's still this. It's still a mile long. I'm still quite behind. Uh, but I'm quite proud of how much I managed to catch up in a single day. So, yeah, it's good. What have you done? Everything and nothing. Ambulance is in a rush. Crime into hood? Maybe. I don't know. They're after Jess. They learned he murdered the Pope. <laughs> Happy Valentine's to you too, Zeri. How long are we looking at? Ah, oh, not too bad. Oopsie. Uh, has anyone seen the TV show Euphoria? I think you asked us that a couple days ago. Um, and I certainly haven't. I still I still haven't um, from a couple days ago. In the rights, yep, good. Uh, 
Sirens, we're after the people resetting the lovers in the air, boss. Look, it might be extreme, but I hope so. <laughs> it's like, I have 50 fucking characters to get through. Do not make this take longer than it fucking needs to. You bastards. <laughs> like, fuck me. Good lord. Ah, oh, dear. Um, make the good parts. I asked about something else. Um, you've asked about a few things lately, but that's okay. But I definitely remember somebody asking about Euphoria, and I was pretty sure it was you. Um, I can check through chat logs if you'd like, because I can click on a person's name and see everything they've asked. Or everything they've said, which is kind of a really handy mod tool, honestly. Because when someone comes in here and says, Oh, I never said that. It's like, actually, you said it at this time on this date. You also said something very similar. At this time and on this date and at this time on this date. And we're going to ban you. So, <laughs> good fun. Oh, 11.70. We are switching to Horde again. Let me know. Okay, uh, recently happened in one run for me, but twice. So yeah, suspicious. Yeah, it's happened in two separate, once each in two separate runs for me now. Um, let's have a see. This might take a little while, Nano, because you've got 999 plus messages. So <laughs> look, this could be a thing. Um, but let me have a quick squiz. Can I control F? No, of course not. That'd be entirely too easy. Uh, so I ended on Gisalia, which means I need to go through on Kishi. Um. No, fucking go away. There we go. Still sitting at eight at uh, sixteen. Has anyone seen the Euphoria TV show at 1740 on the 9th of February? So will that be last Wednesday? Yeah. Awesome. I thought I had. Look at that, guys. My memory. It's semi-functional sometimes. Sorry. That took me a while. I had to scroll through everything you've said between now and then. <laughs> there's no, like, there's no find function, which is a pain in the ass, but that's okay. I thought I did. Oh, God. I'm so glad that I'm not, like, losing my mind. That's fantastic news. Um, there's a way for that with Twitch add-ons, I can't remember, yeah. Yeah, this is just the inbuilt mod tool, so we can go through and literally see your entire chat history in the channel, back to when they started the feature. Um, but yeah, when you've got 999 plus messages, because you're active in a particular channel, it gets a little bit messy. <laughs> Another 50 for the old army, yay Zem! Fantastic! Straight in to do a rocket run. Oh, there's no active chatter. Indeed. Indeed you are. And I appreciate that. I've got 99 plus chats just from trolling alone, not even counting any actually contributing to conversations. Let me click you, X. What have you got? 999 plus with one timeout. Oh, I install all the things we go through my locks. Bank, so many items have been removed from the game. Indeed they have. Indeed they have. Oh yeah, nah, still colander. Oh yeah, no, absolutely a colander. It's just, you know, even a colander retains a little bit of water. Like, as a coating on the metal. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm bound to remember the tiniest things occasionally. Uh, I was about to say, you did remember something. I did! I remembered a thing. Be proud of me. This current fear has me suspicious. Who are you and what have you done with her? <laughs> I am offended. <laughs> Uh, I'm probably below 100. I can have a look. Let me let me have a squiz. Oh, we're back to the top again. Wonderful. Uh, Goose, you have eight messages. You are indeed below 100. 
<laughs> uh, and you, Neck, let me have a look. What have you got? 688. Always timed out by the bot because I'm naughty. No, that's a purge though. That's different. Uh, the timeout was by Rump for one second. It must it must have just been like a message purge. Um, they happen occasionally. Ah, uh, maybe even below 50 they go. Lamax, you were timed out by Rump for one second. Correct. Yikes. All right, I'm doing well. You are, Goose. It's okay. It's okay. Look, time zones exist, and I'm sure you're, you know, lurking away, and that's totally all right. We love our lurkers. Like, your your number of chat messages sent is not a measure of how good a community member you are. Not at all. It's just kind of like, I like stats, you know, it's fun to see, but it, it doesn't have any bearing on how I feel about an individual. So do not stress. Uh, walked back in. What are we counting? Uh, the number of messages that people have sent in chat and whether it's 999 plus or lower. No way a druid monk isn't insta queue. They go, they go. I was about to say. <laughs> Secret, your imminent demise. No, no seeker's imminent demise. I like seeker. Oh, where's my, oh, there's my heal. Okay. Uh, we're down a person. Not either healer or DPS though, so it's fine. Uh, I probably have less than 25 messages. Let's have a look. Uh, you have 101, Cash. 101. You look like, often like having non-competitive WoW streamers while I play WoW. Fair. You know, there's there's so many different types of, of content, and that's because there's so many different types of people who enjoy those types of content. And I'm, I'm glad that there are people out there who enjoy my style of gameplay. You believe you're under 199? You just have to be... And plus, oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, you are 100%. I should pay attention. Ah, shit. How do I get out of this? Fuck, where's my cat form? There we go. I'm a good druid or something, I swear. Uh, under 999? Thor? You have 999 plus. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, do I some a nine nine plus and some have an actual count? So um, it's nine nine nine. So if you're anywhere over nine hundred and ninety nine, it will just say nine 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 plus. If you are under nine hundred and ninety nine, for example, six hundred and eighty eight or eight or 101. If you're under that 999 threshold, then it'll show as an actual number. I'm in the good graces of zero timeouts. Seeker has zero timeouts, zero bans. Nothing at all, Lurker 2 just like having someone there when I play. Of course, Mori, and I'm happy, we're happy to have our Lurkers, 100%. Oh uh, crap, full bags, oh no! To the mailbox, day five of now 52 tunes. <gasps> Rethinking my life choices. Oh, listen to me too. Me too. <laughs> my troll level is 999 plus missed opportunity for over 9,000. <laughs> that can change. I'm back. How? How what? What? 52 tunes across two accounts. Quick buds time out. No. Do I have anything I can check? Uh, no, you don't. You have triple nine messages, zero timeouts, zero bans. I'm gonna stick a mod comment on Seeker just to ruin their pretty zeros. <laughs> Hello, chicken. We're trying to farm. Heartbreaker, same as the last week. Love that Trolls Trans book. Brilliant. Anyway, back to Euphoria. I asked about in the ninth because a nurse told me about the show. I was having treatment, was watching it now. It's definitely a rule look at what being some type of teen is. So far in the first 14 minutes, I've seen drug use, self harm, social media abuse, porn use. Fantastic. I mean, that sounds about average for a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> um, Paladin over DK. Oh, piss off. No. Let us in. Uh, I meant how does Sheba have zeros? Oh, no. Sheba was going to ruin Seeker's zeros. Um, as in zero mod, uh, zero timeouts, zero bans, and zero mod comments. Where is the 
So let's talk about None of this should be showing. Why is it showing the raids? Oh, I'm tank. Shit. Okay. This is why. Actually, what was we were doing? We did Cata Raid. Well, Tabakabon is Wrath Raid. And then Sunwell is BC Raid. Perfect. Just so that it stays small so I can actually still read the fucking timer. Okay, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Metaphon, thank you so much for the prime sub for 37 months. Good God. That is so long. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. My goodness. But they said no, no heartbreak here. Then no, unfortunately not yet, Phoenix. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Um. Yeah, skip down on the drug use. Fair enough. Uh, four counts. I'm leveling another three now. Well done. Well done. I'm a good shipper. can do no wrong. I might be ill. No, you're fine. You're doing well. You're getting there. Uh, one second. Nano, let me have a click of your name again. You have three timeouts. No bans. Uh, Rump, Koalatron, and Koalatron have each timed you for one second each. So I'm getting- it sound that sounds like a purge. Um, the Koalatron ones might have been back when Koala was doing the link banning rather than Twitch. Uh, and then Rumpers obviously purged a message as well. Um, don't give me that attitude. You're welcome. Thank you, X. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, we've hit 18 instances. This is good. It's going faster. We like faster. I'm hungry. Wish the baked potatoes would hurry up. Oof, agreed. Baked potatoes are delicious. Nom, nom, nom. What about you? Let me have a look, Koala. You have 364 messages, zero timeouts, and zero bans. Yeah, it doesn't say why. Like, we're not, we're not, we don't have to put in a reason for why a uh, timeout has happened. Usually, we only use mod comments when we're trolling each other or when we've banned somebody. We don't usually we don't usually need to. Um, we have a lot of tools on the mod end for like monitoring people and stuff like that. Mod comments are supposed to be to be able to communicate about people um, without having to do it externally, like in a Discord channel or something like that. And that way, if you know someone drops off the radar for for three months, and then someone pops up and go, "Oh, I feel a bit weird about that," and you click it and you can see a mod comment and there's something about them there, it makes it a little bit more useful. But with us, we don't tend to have like too many like where we're pretty good at like oh they're banned they're banned so, and if you can click if you have a look at the messages they've sent it's usually pretty fucking obvious uh so we don't tend to use mod comments too often except when we're trolling each other by leaving comments on each other's profiles like you as a noob uh and stuff like that so <laughs> we, we rarely use them outside of that i mean i've used it a couple of times when i've uh like i've banned someone after a couple of warnings, like I've warned them and then I've timed them out and then I've banned them. I've popped in a quick mod comment just to say, this is why. In case I forget, because you can appeal a ban on Twitch. Every channel has different settings for it. Some channels will not allow you to appeal at all. Some will allow you to appeal after a dip, like there's a drop down menu so we can pick a different amount of time. It could be anywhere from like a couple weeks to, to a couple, like to a year kind of thing uh, before you're allowed to appeal it. Um, I've had a couple of appeals, uh, they've all been, ha 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 ha, no, um, because they're just, they're absolute idiots, uh, and no, it's very clear that they have not changed, because you get to leave a message. Oh, too late. Too late. That was an instant cue. Instantaneous. Um, 
But yeah, I've had a um, like we we had one person who like essentially said unban me a bitch, and it's like no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it's usually pretty obvious to a moderator why someone's been banned in this particular channel. Uh, but you know sometimes it can be a little bit more complex, and so we like to leave a note, but not often, not often. Uh, doing porterhouse and mushroom sauce, baked potatoes and roasted pumpkin with tiramisu for dessert. My lord, that sounds delicious. Oh, we have lost a person. That must have hit lockout. Oh, we lost the tank. Wonderful. <clears throat> I hope they got in in time. And now we get. Uh, even Fear has a mod comment. Excuse me. Jass. Jass. Noobiest. Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus. As I said, trolling each other. Um, yep. Ah, uh, dearie me. Is there a limit on ban appeals? Like, can you only appeal once kind of thing? Uh, I think so. I, I'm not sure. I think so. Probably don't need to take- No, I know, but like, if we can get someone else in who can potentially get a mount, like, might as well, but oh well. Uh, what- what's there to do before 9-2 hits? Depends on what kind of content you're into, Ben. There's a shitload of content available to you. Uh, it just depends on what you've already done, what interests you, what doesn't interest you. God damn it. Reconnection successful. Fantastic. Um, so what I was saying was to Ben, um, what is there to do before 9-2 hits? Uh, there is plenty to do. It just depends on what you enjoy doing and um, what you've already done, what you haven't done, that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a shitload to do before 9-2 hits. Uh, I've just reconnected to the chat room. The last message I saw was from Zeren saying, I nearly did a happy dance for you. Was scrolling through Facebook, saw your post about Heartbreak with the pic of someone writing it. Was like, oh, fear must have gotten it last night. You beauty. Then I read the rest of it and was sad. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I grab uh, stock images of fun things for my, uh, for my socials posts for a lot of the time. And yeah, no, not yet. Not yet. What does my shirt say? Uh, it says stream like there's nobody. Eh watching and then it has like the little symbols of the viewers and views and follows um yeah play on the whole dance like there's nobody watching thing <clears throat> kaz has responded to jack and said excellent but i don't know what jack said because i can't see anything between zarin uh talking about the facebook post and edry asking what my shirt says <laughs> love that i need it i got it from pax my very first packs, so I'd, we've missed two, and I'd been to three. So I think I, we went to 17, 18, and 19? 20, 2017, 2018, 2019. So I'm pretty sure I got this from PAX 2017. That's PAX Australia. Um, it does have a PA logo on the top, like the Penny Arcade logo. So it's one of theirs, I think. Uh, I said I'm surprised Jas didn't put Is a Paladin. You are the reason my queue is being shit at the moment, aren't you? No, genuinely though, my, my queue is being terrible. I'm in queue for two minutes. That's a tank. What the hell is going on with this battle? Like, can we just, like, what is... This is very not fun design. Pally main fear? No. It's trying to three DPS us? Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, I think I've done quite well with this new priest. She's only 33! Oh, nice, Yuri! Well done! Well done. What the hell is going on? What I'm trying to click. I'm trying to click the Emony, but it's not like. Oh, I got it for a second there. Oh, oh, fuck. Would you stop? No, no auto camera. What are all these? Okay. <laughs> Spawn night creatures until sealed. Oh god. It's just- and it's not doing anything. There's no space. So it's obviously not working because I DC'd. Ugh. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> now it's moving. Congratulations to Koala, Countess, and Zombie on all of your bonus shit. <laughs> Boss defeated. It has to be my router doing this. If this is actually like our internet connection, oh god, I'm gonna kick up so much of a stink. My biggest problem right now is that I have a video uploading to YouTube that's 45% done, right? If I unplug... If I if I leave that tab open and change out the router, will it just kind of save my progress? As long as I don't shut the PC down or close the tab, it'll be fine. Because it'll just keep looking for that connection until it reappears. I think, I've, I think my chat's broken. Let me refresh because I haven't seen anything for a while. Um... Out we hop. Let me confer with my sources. No. Yeah. So no, it won't affect my YouTube upload is what I'm taking Cadgar's uh, advice as. <laughs> Alright, it looks like I've refreshed my chat successfully. I should be able to see stuff now. There we go. Um... I've had some mess. Whoa. Okay. What does your shirt say? Excellent. Oh my God, I love that. Pally main fear. It's trying to three DPSs. Thank you for jumping with this priest. 33 now. I'm a dip into solo queue. I might have missed it being discussed. Is stream laggy or is it just my crowd connection? No, I've been having connection issues all night. Um, I still haven't changed to the, the semi new router because I'm a numpty. Um, but I've been struggling to find a period of time where I don't need internet, but I'm just going to have to do it and hope for the best. And that's why I was talking about the um, YouTube upload. Um, no, that's the wrong button. I want this one. Um, hope, I'm hoping that it will just kind of pause the upload while it looks for a new internet connection. Then when it finds it, it can it can keep going. Sorry, Alex. Just to, like, whoa. Um, fear freezing. Fear's not freezing. Fear's disconnecting entirely. Fear, fear's internet is um, uh, making a mess of its pants. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, fear's been having internet issues. Internet issues, uh, internet been fear issues. Yeah, look. Look, it's good for my modem at least. Don't have to go drop kick it into the paddock. It's not so good for fear though. Correct. Correct. Um, I am going to try giving uh, the modem data sent me a try. Uh, and if that, or the router rather. And if that doesn't help, um, I'm going to have to get onto my ISP, I think. Because it's... Uh... 
It's a bit ridiculous. I mean, all they're going to be able to do is check my connection and say, nope, it's fine. Um, but if that is the case, maybe my cables are dying. You know, at least it, I can I can narrow it down. Um, but yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, depends on what the timeout is. Yeah, true. Look, I mean, if it's 45% uploaded and it dies, I guess I'll just have to start the upload again. But I mean, in the grand scheme of things, having streams drop out like this every half an hour or so is a whole more a whole lot more detrimental than having to restart one fucking upload. You know, I'll I'm sure I'll survive. Um And after years, do you get problems as well when it rains? No. Insta Q solo with dungeon guide ticked. Interesting. Okay. So it's looking for people willing to guide the dungeon. But you can't do that through here. I have to do that in here. Oh, look at that. Healer and tank cues for time walking. <clears throat> hey, Kay, how you going? I mean, no one actually needs to guide a fucking uh, event dungeon, so I'll just take it. Not too shabby in yourself? Yeah, look, I'm going okay. Um, having some internet con issues, connection issues today, but um, unfortunately that's actually nothing new for me right now, which is a bit shit. Uh, but look, we'll see how we go. So let's check that and see if that helps. Join that insta- do that quick join! Quick join! Quick join! Uh, I only have deeps left, I'm gonna solo queue those. Fair, fair enough. Maybe V-Day Grand Sea the Mount? I hope so too. Wouldn't that be lovely? Wouldn't it be lovely? Every time I DCA, we lose like a whole handful of viewers as well. It fucking sucks. Because they're probably watching through like hosts or whatever. And so the host drops and finds somebody else to watch. And without. Oh, without. Okay. Oh, well, it's unchecked now again anyway. Oh, for God's sake. What's... It's unchecked now anyway. That's super strange. Like, I ticked it and then I let it, like, okay. So apparently, apparently, uh, the Tomcat add-on automatically unticks the, uh, guide one. Oh well. I'm in the dungeon, that's all that matters. So lovely, I know I'm gonna have that song in my head. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did it as part of a musical performancey thing at some point, like, in high school or just post high school or something. I can't remember exactly. Um, but yeah, that was a, that was a long while ago. I don't understand why everyone else is so afraid to start the battle. Like, your tank will get there. Like, fuck it. Worst songs to have, though. This is true. This is true. Um, Jas told me we ran out of, so we've only got three bottles of soda stream syrup left as of today. And I was like, that's okay. Did you see the book we're getting? And so I jumped onto, onto Throne and showed him the link to the book you bought us, K. And I'm like, look! Showed him the little preview thing and he's like, ooh, it sounds really good. So yeah, he's uh he's just as excited as I am now, I think. And they need a tank or healer for this really. Yeah, exactly. One or the other. Don't really need both. Tank or healer or geared play. Yeah, it's just kill it before it kills you is basically the 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 big thing here. If you can do that, you'll be golden. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Time to start my runs. Sounds like a plan. I've got two more hordies to do after this one, and then I'll be switching back to Alliance for my second round.
Unless, of course, the mount drops. In which case, everything's finished. Fuck you all. <laughs> oh, I don't apologize for regular occurrence. At least it'll replace the last song still in my head. I've only had one repeat for two weeks. Brilliant. Good. At least I could help somehow. Uh, if he wants to do my solo queue them anyway. Fair. Fair enough. Uh, would that make it a soda stream stream if you tried recipes on Twitch? Ponders, yes. Yes, I think so. I wonder if the recipes are like single serving or like makes a liter because I don't have that many bottles of soda stream, but um, whoa, that was literally instant. Okay. Okay. Um, they did have a preview of some of the, um, some of the recipes, so let me jump onto that link and have a squiz. <laughs> do, 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 do. Right, serves eight. Prep time, five minutes. Cook time, 20 minutes. So you're literally making syrup and then use your soda stream to carbonate two liters of cold water, uh, fill glasses with ice, add three tablespoons of the apple syrup to each glass, then fill with soda stream. So that's not actually adding it to the bottle. That's adding it to like the, to the cups and then filling it with, but that's interesting. That's not the way I'm used to doing it, but I guess it means that you can kind of mix it up a whole lot, right? <laughs> Uh, if this makes enough for a bunch, you're supposed to add like three spoonfuls to your glass. Yeah. Three tablespoons. Yeah, we've, because we use tablespoon measures for our bubble tea. So it, um, it'll be easy. I've got plenty of tablespoon measures around. Um. <laughs> but I guess it's because you don't get like the measuring cup like you do with the soda stream sink, because it's got the measuring cup in the, in the lid of the bottle. So you can't measure it out to add it to the thing. Or maybe it'll just make it fizz over. You got to add it like slowly. A lot of the, I know that a lot of the soda stream syrups are made in a way that you can add it straight to a giant bottle of fizzy and then tip it upside down a few times without having it just turn into a fizz bomb. So maybe these ones aren't quite so unreactive. But yeah, that, that apple cinnamon one, fuck yes. I, I think I'm just going to have to work my way through the entire thing unless there's a, a recipe that calls for an ingredient I can't get access to or something. I reckon you could add it to the bottle though. I reckon so too, but I mean, it'd just, I'd have to give it a try and see how it goes, see if it's explosive. Got to tilt the bottle to pour the syrup in. I've never had to with mine. I can just pour it straight in the top and it's perfectly fine and then just screw the lid on and tilt it upside down a couple times to mix it and then pop it in the fridge. Um, I remember back when I got my first one, like a decade ago, that said you had to tilt the bottle and run it down the side of the plastic, but the newer ones don't. You can just straight in and it's golden. At least that's what I've been doing this whole time and it's been absolutely totally fine. Uh, so stream lemon lime bitters one I've had, I've definitely had to tip the bottle because that one is explosive. See, I've had that as well. Like we've just finished a bottle, or we finished the bottle of the syrup maybe a week ago and that was fine too. I did have one issue where it fizzed up a lot in the bottle while I was carbonating it. And then when I added, it just went bang everywhere. But then I realized it's because I was half asleep and I hadn't rinsed the prior, like there was still a, a small amount of the, sh the, the fizzy in it from before. So there was a bit of sugar in there, not much, but like a dribble of it in the bottom of the bottle um, because it's got that colored plastic cap on the bottom of it. And so you can't quite see if there's any dribbles left in the bottom. And I hadn't rinsed it out like a numpty and that's what caused it to explode, not the syrup. Um, but yeah, no, I've been tipping them straight into the bottle with the bottle sitting on the bench untouched and it's been perfect. Um, I know the soft drink syrups at least here all say tilt the bottle. Interesting. Maybe they're the old style ones or something. Uh, that'll do it. Yeah, that absolutely did it. But um, yeah, everything else has been fine. Uh, maybe these ones do say tilt the bottle, but I haven't, and it's fine. <laughs> uh, 
Um, apple pomegranate soda. See, when it says one cup apple cider, I don't think it means the like the alcoholic apple cider. I might have to like. do some research and figure out what that actually means in Australian. Because I know you guys have like fermented apple cider that isn't alcoholic or whatever. And we just, I mean, we have apple tizer, but I'm not sure if that's the same. I guess it is. It's just fizzy apple juice though. It's just literally just carbonated apple juice, I'm pretty sure. It's not actually fermented in any way. Or is cider not fermented? I remember being told that cider is closer to wine than it is to beer in terms of like alcoholic cider. We use the syrup bottles for her maybe so it's true true although i would probably just put them in a glass jar in the fridge um because a glass jar i can boil and um like actually properly clean whereas a plastic bottle i wouldn't know if i was cleaning it out properly things get funky yo even with that much sugar in it they just i still mm -mm. yeah I'm, I'm kind of i'm a little bit weird about food poisoning in particular only because like my the autoimmune, the particular one that I have reacts really bad. Like the last time I got uh, the last time I got food poisoning, I ended up in hospital. And food poisoning is usually just you sit on the bar, like you sit in the toilet for a few hours, right? No, I was actually like, yeah, <laughs> mm, I was very unwell. Uh, right, that's ten. Another ten horde done. So off we go back to Alliance. Uh, do you guys not have apple cider vinegar? We definitely have apple cider vinegar. But that's not the same as apple cider, nor is it the same as the apple cider that you guys have. Like, there, it's all different. Like, apple cider vinegar is literally vinegar. <laughs> that's not the kind of... Um, if you guys are drinking that shit just, like, as not as a health benefit, what the hell are you doing? What the actual fuck? Uh, <laughs> but no, we do have apple cider vinegar. Um, we, have, we have apple cider that you buy from a bottle shop, like an alcohol store. And we have apple cider vinegar. We have apple tizer, which is like carbonated apple juice, basically. And then we have apple juice that's not refrigerated. It comes like in a, it's brown, like not, not brown as in cloudy. It's clear and like a golden brown color comes in bigger bottles. And then we have like cloudy apple juice, which is a really pale green that comes from the refrigerated section that has to stay refrigerated. N none of that, that's all just called apple juice though. The only thing we call cider is the alcohol or the apple cider vinegar. Um, which are two very different things. One is for cooking, one is for drinking. The cooking one you can drink if you're a health nut. <laughs> uh, Grant, thank you, Kaz. Uh, you can buy non-alcoholic apple cider at Uncle Dan's. What is Uncle Dan's? Are you talking about Dan Murphy's? What the fuck is an Uncle Dan? Okay, Dan Murphy's, right. I have never, ever heard it called Uncle Dan's before. That seems like some alcoholic bullshit. Like, <laughs> like, like as in a person being an alcoholic. US cider is unfermented unless it's called hard cider. Less processed than apple juice, maybe pasteurized. US cider has sediment in it. Apple juice in the US is more filtered and processed and almost always clear. Right, so apple cider, if that's just less processed, so it's just cloudy apple juice that you have to get from a fridge. Is that what we're talking about? Uncle Dan, the creepy uncle at family gatherings. Oh man, we call it Uncle Dan. I've never heard that in my life. This is literally the first time I'm hearing Dan Murphy's referred to as Uncle Dan's. Good Lord. Right, so it's just cloudy apple juice. Trying to read and not kill everybody. Um, apples, how they're processed. We're both basically liquidified apple, apple cider, roasted or raw apple juice hasn't been filtered with purple sediment. Apple juice has been filtered and pasteurized so it stays fresh longer, which is why apple cider, like the, the cloudy apple juice, needs to be refrigerated. Apple cider is what you get if you visit an apple orchid. Apple cider has a shorter shelf life. 
typically cloudier than apple juice. If we move away from the North American region, difference between apple cider and apple juice becomes more noticeable. In other regions like the United Kingdom, apple cider is an alcoholic beverage. That is, you should be ready for your ID to be checked if you go to a restaurant and order an apple cider in the UK, Europe, and Australia. Interestingly, in Korea, the pronunciation of cider actually refers to Sprite, which means if you search for an apple cider in a grocery store in Korea, people would most likely offer you a demi-soda apple drink. It tastes like apple juice with bubbles, or simply put, apple-flavored Sprite. Cool! All right, so if I just go apple cider and then look at images it's gonna give me fucking alcoholic apple cider united states yeah that's cloudy apple juice perfect all right except it's brown and our cloudy apple juice here is pale green because we don't let it go brown we don't let it get exposed to the air to go brown um, because it's like, you know, like when you cut an apple and it's pale green and then it goes to brown when it's exposed to it, it oxidizes. So the brown apple cider means it's oxidized. Ours doesn't because we seal it up before it does that and then we keep it in the fridge and we drink it before it goes brown. We don't let it go brown before we eat it, uh, drink it. So yours is just brown. Okay, cool, easy. I could just get cloudy apple juice rules. Fantastic, there you go, I've learned something new today. Thank you so much for everyone for helping me for, to, no, put that back. No. Um, I have learned a new thing today. That's wonderful. Taking bets on how long I will retain this information. <laughs> I'll try. That's actually really useful info because any time I fucking cook, all my recipes come from the US and it's all stupid United States measurements. Like one stick of butter. Bitch, call it a weight. Like... What weight? How many? How, like, it doesn't even have to be grams. Just tell me how many fucking ounces of butter, because at least I can fucking convert that. A stick of butter apparently seems to be a different measurement in 70 different parts of the United States. And it pisses me off because I bake and baking is fucking chemistry. If you do not get the balance right, if you do not put the correct to the couple of grams amount of butter in, it will change the entire texture and taste of what you are trying to make. And it pisses me off. I swear, I'm fine, I swear. <laughs> okay. Um. Basically, insiders never shop stable. So US cider is just apple juice. It is, but it's, so it's not, it's, it's apple juice, but it's like the cloudy stuff. You know when you get like the, 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 the just juice? I don't know if you get just juice in the UK um, or in wherever, but like or in Europe in general, but just juice is like, you get like a two liter rounded rectangular bottle of juice and it's got like a handle on top so that you can grab it and carry, cause it's fucking heavy. It's like two kilograms of juice because it's two liters, right? Um, and it's got a handle on the top so you can carry it easier. And it's like, it's brown, like a golden brown color, but you can see straight through it like water. Um, but cloudy apple juice, you cannot see through it at all. Not even if you let it settle, it, that you, you cannot see straight through it because it's just too much sediment that's too light to settle. And so that apparently is what apple cider is in the US, except they let it go brown because why? Who knows? Um, but they let it go brown. Because cloudy apple juice in Australia is green. Cloudy apple juice. This is what our cloudy apple juice looks like. Let me grab you this Google search URL. It's going to be seven miles long. Enjoy. Um, yes, that's what our cloudy apple juice looks like. But it's it's not it's not see through, and that's the point. Um. Uh, how good is apple juice though? Honestly, agreed. Apple juice is so fucking good and it works so well as a base for like pretty much any smoothie as well. Like if you're trying to make a fruity smoothie that isn't a creamy one, like if you're putting oranges or like strawberries go well in creamy or not like creamy or icy, but like if you're trying to work with stuff that is, is orange or citrus or whatever, 
but you don't just want to put water in it because water just waters all the flavors down. If you add apple juice as a base instead, even if it's like half apple juice, half water or half apple juice, half coconut water, it just adds that little bit of sweetness to it and just lifts the whole thing, like the flavor of the whole drink. Apple juice is amazing, both as a drink and as an ingredient. Fucking love apple juice. So much sugar, but love apple juice. Good apple, got it. Yes, how hard is cider anyway? What's information? 30 seconds, Colinda. Tell us how you really feel. Pissed. <laughs> she loves our recipes, I can tell. I do, look, I love, I love recipes. They're great because I am not creative in the slightest. I need to work from a pattern or a recipe or something like that. I absolutely need to. Um, but if you're going to write a recipe, it needs to be very easily convertible to everywhere in the world. Again, back to the whole topic about North Americans thinking they're the center of the universe and everyone just knows about their shit. We don't. We don't. You need to use easily convertible measurements. Um, sticky butter is half a cup. Not always. Not always. Um, I've seen a few different ones that have completely different measurements and stuff. Uh, I think you underestimate the Americans' ability to use too much butter in their food. Oh, it's not- it's- it's baking though, this is the thing. If you use too much butter in baking, the whole thing just melts into a flat pancake thing and it's not- it- it won't even hold its shape sort of thing. Like, it's not- you need to make sure you've got the appropriate amount of- of butter in baking. Um, so I couldn't tell that it pisses her off anyone else. <laughs> One stick of butter is a quarter of a pound. See, I've, I've heard that one as well. I've heard different ones from all over the shop, though. Every time I Google it, I end up getting a different answer. Every time. Uh, I'm in resto spec, so it's okay. Like, you can you can do whatever you need to. Because um, I'm, I'm in resto spec already. I have been for a couple days now, because it's just so much easier to stay that way. Uh, this is about 113.4 grams. Four Oz, but one stick is like eight tablespoons, if I remember correctly. All I know is that every single time I've had a recipe that calls for a stick or a portion of a stick of butter, I have googled how much the stick of butter is, and I have make the, made the appropriate adjustments to get it into grams. And it has been wrong every time. And the recipe has never turned out right. And I've ended up having to remake it with more or less butter every fucking time. Every time. Because it never, the texture's never right. Who knows, maybe we just have better quality butter in Australia and it doesn't work the same or something. But like, it's, it's just fucking shit. It's fucking shit. Four different measurements all in a row. Exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, try and find out the real definition of an inch. You just go in circles. An inch is one twelfth of a foot and a foot is twelve inches. Yeah. Yeah. This is why I type in into CM, uh, into Google and it, it tends to do me okay. Ah, dear. He gets heated over butter. Oh no. Brilliant. Wonderful. Uh, inches and feet are now defined by metric measurements. I think it's brown due to the type of apple and the time they spend pressing it. Yeah, it must be. It's just, it's exposure to the air. That's literally all it does. Um. Because it's what it is, like going from that pale green shade that we get to brown, it's oxidation. It's exposed to oxygen. Um, it's what makes most foods. It's the same thing with avocados. When avocado goes brown and stuff like that, it's all the same. Um. So yeah, it's just like all I can imagine is when they're when they're when they're producing the the apple cider in the US and it's going brown, they're like pouring it out of a pipe up here and like catching it in a bucket and it's all just going through the air and oxidizing and shit. It's like why you do this? Um, but I'm obviously it's not going to be that. It's um, there'll be oxidation somewhere along the way though. Ah, uh, just makes it even more hilarious. Uh, I need recipes at least the first dozen or so times I make it. Baking is a science. Cooking, you can take liberties, but not baking. Correctly, uh, correct. Baking is is more chemistry than it is cooking. Um, those those proportions have to be bang on, or it will not behave the same way. There's um there's a bunch of photos that float around the internet from every now and then um, of a cookie, and it's like more sugar, 
less sugar, more butter, less butter, more this, more that, or less that. And um, it just, it shows you what just slight variations in that quantity of that particular ingredient does to your cookie. Um, and each, each of the examples are vastly different cookies. But if you make a cookie and it doesn't look the way you want it to, you can refer to those images and be like, I want this to look more like that one. Therefore, I need to add more sugar. Do you know, like it's it's designed to be like a, a troubleshooting guide, a visual troubleshooting guide. Uh, and it's wonderful and it's exactly how it works, which is fantastic. I like cookies also, just as a side note. Um, weirdly, it's uncommon to use weights in the US even for baking, which is super imprecise. And I hate that. I hate that. I'm used to doing, like, I've got, um, if you, if anyone here knows of Adriano Zumbo, I've got his cookbook, one of, one of his cookbooks, and you literally have to make a batch of 48 macarons because it uses 0 0.01 grams of a particular ingredient and you cannot divide that down to make a batch of 20. Like, you just, you just can't. <laughs> um, like, like, uh, fucking scales don't go that low. Uh, even the professional ones. So, um, yeah, like, I'm used to measurements having to be precise as fuck. So when it comes in with, like, grab a stick of butter or approximately this, I'm like, no fucking no approximates. Grammage, tell me how much it weighs. <laughs> Let me put it on a scale. Scrape back one gram and put it back in the container. And you always have multiple multiple bowls. You've got the big bowl that you put everything in, and then you've got a little bowl that goes on the scale, and you measure it out into the little bowl so you can get it right and then dump that into the master bowl. And then you wipe it out, and you do that next, and you do all the dry ingredients first, and then you do all the wet ingredients so that you have to clean it less between... Yeah. <sighs> Baking is a fucking science. More commonly today than, say, five years ago, but a scale isn't common kitchen tool in a home kitchen in the US. Oh, God. You, everything is, like, it's just... Textures and flavors are so much better when you understand. I mean, if you're if you're seasoning a steak, for example, that's you know that's fine. Just toss whatever in and stuff. But when you're doing baking, the flavor and the texture and, and all that kind of stuff just they rely so heavily upon your ratios that your shit would just be so much better if you if you checked it. Ah, uh, it's such a pity. I wonder how I wonder how many people out there in the US are just putting up with subpar baked goods because they don't know any better because they they haven't ever used a scale for their baking or whatever. That makes me really sad because if a phenomenal baked good is just it can be life-changing and I'm not even being I'm not even being silly with that. Having something so delicious and just perfectly balanced and all that kind of stuff can spark something in you that makes you want to do this and then the the care that you take with baking to get your measurements so precise and stuff can carry on to attention to detail in other areas of it like it, it actually can affect everything and it's amazing but you know whatever if y'all want shit cookies have them <laughs> whatever i'd be moldy by the time i got to me anyway so it's fine oh i'm hilarious how are we looking? Fantastic! Congratulations to Meaty Jack and Thor on your bonus shit. Oh. Sorry, I am I am genuinely really passionate about baking. It's one of the things that if I had more time, I would I would do so much baking. So much more baking. And uh, I would absolutely love it. But alas, I have I've chosen my career path and it's fucking full on. Mm. Mm. To be clear, I would never want to be like a chef or a, a baker or whatever as a as a job. It would just be entirely too much pressure. Um, mine never look perfect, but they always taste awesome, and I kind of like yeah. It's a uh, I like experimenting and taking my time, which is not really something you can do when you're cooking on a commercial level. So I would not ever want to do that. Uh, right, I've done this too, and I'm on to the next one. Uh, I have started up the battle though, so place your units. Um, fear gets heated over butter. No, I like butter. So do I, yo. I just like butter. I know how much, I like knowing how much butter I need to put into my baked goods. Uh, excuse me. European style butter has to be higher fat content. In the US, it's 80%. Uh, milk fat. I think in Europe, it's 82. Chocolate and like cocoa, like 
all the all those levels to define white chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, all that kind of that stuff fascinates me. Curvature chocolate, bulk chocolate, compound chocolate, all that kind of, like all the different types of chocolate. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Ha who who has ever tried tempering chocolate? I miss my candy thermometer. Ah, which makes sense because it's butter. Yep. Yeah. Ah, they press cider with wooden presses and in open air. I mean, it sounds really unhygienic. But I'm sure, like, if it was, plenty more people would have died and they probably would have changed their practices, so I guess it's fine. Uh, I feel like the only reason we can't mount inside buildings is a gentle person's code. As an undead priest, I do not agree to these terms of climbing towers. You can't fly to the top of yes! Oh my god, yes. Holy shit. Holy shit. Baking is a science for hungry people. I mean, sure. Let yes, absolutely. Uh, why am I no coins since an hour ago? Oh, that's odd. I wonder if it's DC'd again. No, it hasn't DC'd. That's really strange. It might be struggling to catch up with the, all the disconnects that I've been having today. I've had a lot of internet disconnect. Um, that might be a problem. Shit. That's upsetting. Fuck. It hasn't balked again, because if it, if it, if it responded to you, the bot is alive. But there can be other issues with the bot that I can't actually do anything you know what I mean? Like, I have to just kind of wait for it to re-whatever. That's upsetting. That cookie thing, it's great, isn't it? Awesome. It's so helpful, too. Always gone on that a stick of butter is four ounces. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, have you got any shiva? Wait, what? Why in the hell would you not use weights? Yeah. Uh, if you want a great macaron recipe, hit me up, fair. Uh, making cheeses have been silly with weird tiny, tiny teaspoons called smidge. Yeah. And, like, do you know that a pinch actually has a defined measurement? Like, when they say add a pinch of salt, there's a it's actually a defined measurement. I don't remember what it is, but it's, like, one sixteenth of a teaspoon or something. I, they don't quote me. I, I definitely could be wrong on that specific number, but it's, yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> And they ask for half a smidge, like, what the fuck? Seeing as it's mold, you need to be quite precise. Yeah, you don't want to kill somebody, right? Like, <laughs> oh dear. Oh, almost all baking, rec baking recipes use volumetric measurements for some reason. Yeah, like cups and teaspoons and tablespoons and stuff like that. But you're still able to measure that properly because you grab a tablespoon measure, you scoop out the flour, and then you scrape it off with the back of a knife, and you've got exactly one table, one level tablespoon. Um... I hate when they call for heaped tablespoons because it's like, how heaped? Like, I can get that to pile real fucking high if you want me to. Like, <laughs> I'm very good at this. I love waffle irons, but not the scales. I know, right? Look, look. It's a holdover from the frontier days when households didn't have scales and many other accurate measurements. Yeah, potentially. Definitely a thing. Definitely a thing. Ah, uh, three cues that fail because you be. Oh, no, Kay. Oh, no. Uh, there's no internet then either, that doesn't mean you shouldn't get internet. True. Well, if you- this is the thing though, a lot of people tend to do, like, um, uh, like, inherited recipes, and if- if your great-grandmother didn't measure, then it wouldn't be the traditional recipe if you measured. I know, I know, I know, but, like, that's the kind of thinking there, and I get that. I get that. Um... Oh, I challenge you to make a waffle without a waffle iron. Yeah, but we don't, none of us have waffle irons because we don't have waffles that frequently. Like, why are you eating waffles so frequently? Uh, Blizzard, I was like, you stream on the Battle Night Launcher. I didn't realize this wasn't a PG stream. Uh, you have to click through the mature audience warning to be able to get to the stream. Uh, it is flagged for mature audiences. Uh, if you have been here prior, even if you've just lurked and you've never said a word, if you've been here prior, you may have clicked through it before, and if you're logged into your account, it will remember that you've clicked through it. Uh, but if you've if you've been here before and you've clicked through it, it won't tell you. If you have never been here before, it will absolutely tell you that it is for mature. The stream is for mature audiences. If you have if you are one hundred and fifty percent sure you've never been here, and Twitch didn't give you the mature audiences warning, uh, I would report a problem. Uh, so you can do that by clicking on your. Uh, uh, 
what's it called? Your profile picture up in the corner of the, it'd be in that direction, that corner of, of Twitch. You can click that there and there's like a report a problem thing or support or something like that. And you can jump in and you can let them know that you've visited a mature stream, a, a stream that is 100% flagged for mature audiences only, and you didn't get the warning screen because that's on Twitch. That is an error that they should be fixing. But if you have been here before or someone else may have been using your account, like if it's a household thing and you just leave it logged in, and if someone's been here before and they've clicked, yep, sure, whatever, that's fine, uh, then yeah, it won't come up again because Twitch assumes that you've already okayed it and that you're aware that we're a mature stream. Mm. But yeah, that's, um, those are the options there. Um, understand not wanting to expose your kids to swearing and stuff. Totally respect that choice for you, but, uh, I've done everything I can on my end. I flagged it as mature. People have to click through that warning to be able to listen to me at all whatsoever. Um, so yeah, there's nothing, I can't do anything beyond that. Uh, and I'm not going to stop swearing and Blizzard's aware of my swearing. So yes, good. Find a cue. Uh, I have made a bunch of handmade chocks. Because I never do things by halves with my hobbies. Uh, I bought professional grade molds. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, I love that. Ah, uh, Papa Pig in the Food Channel. Yes, do that. I would love to see them. Oh, uh, shit. I'm in Guardian. Fuck, 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 fuck. No, no. Oh, damn it. Okay, here we go. Let's switch now. Good. Um, The stream is 100% tagged for mature audiences, Shiba. Yep. Uh, headsets will be your friend when Squid's around. Mine have come in many times. What are you listening to? Can I listen? Absolutely not. Um, like the pinch of salt? Yeah. Yeah. Is it Milo heaped or lower? Yeah, right? My, how do they magically get Milo to stack so high on the spoon? It's magnificent and it has to be some kind of, like, magic. I swear. I swear. Uh, a heap, is that a challenge? Exactly, exactly. But then I'm afraid that it'll get too, dr like if it's too high, then it'll be too dry. And then it's like, no, just give me, just give me grams, good Lord. Grams are good. We like, we like gram weights. Wait, get back here, you numpty. Uh, I mean, I find your flower as volumetric measurements can be like 20% different. Yeah, especially if you pack or sift it, yeah. Yup, it's, um, it's fun. I mean, when you're when you're looking at something as small as a tablespoon or a teaspoon, um, the 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 variation there won't be it usually usually won't be so much that it'll throw off your texture and stuff. But when you're going up to like cups, yeah, absolutely, it'll throw off your it'll throw off your stuff. Uh, and that's when the cookie chart comes in handy. Um, God, for me, I was like, why would I be heaped? But I in fact realize it's powdered drink you have and not actually me. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. We're looking out. Um, inherited waffle iron for eight years ago. I've used it zero times. Yep, exactly. See, would much rather have a banana and real chocolate crepe. I mean, waffle irons are kind of badass. They do look pretty awesome, but like I've never owned one and I probably never will. Uh, okay, that's a real funny mental image now. <laughs> Uh, tested it, logged out, didn't see the warning. It might have flagged you by IP rather than your account. I, I, I'm actually not too sure about that one. I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no idea whether that works that way or not. Uh, but it may, it may have IP flagged you uh, to be like, oh, this IP has already said yes. Okay, we're gonna skedaddle. Um, but yeah, definitely pop in a ticket through through Twitch to let them know that that's happening because that is absolutely a problem. I do not want children watching my streams. It, this this is not for childrens. Um, there are plenty of streams that are, but I am not. Uh, and that's, you know, that's okay. My content's not for everybody, and that includes children's. Um, but yeah, that's a... That's a problem. Is this an adult stream? <laughs> kidding. Yes, adult audience. Mature, well, look. Mature audiences. Um, look, there are, there are some parents out there who are totally fine with their children being exposed to things like swearing. Uh, and I'm, that's, that's fine. There are parents out there who are not okay with their children being exposed to swearing. That is also fine. It's going to be up to the individual parent to decide what is appropriate or not appropriate for their child to listen to or watch. Uh, and also it's going to be up to the parent to determine at what age that individual child becomes ready to, to listen to or watch that kind of stuff. Um, and that's not my business. That's not my business in any way. Um, if they don't want their kids watching me, then that's cool. If they're fine with their kids watching me, also fine. Like, but that's that's their choice as parents. Um, there are some things that I firmly believe that all children should be doing and or getting, but 
in terms of stream like entertainment consumption no that is 100 percent the uh the parents choice up to a certain age for sure for sure and it would be the same if and when i have children's uh it will be my determination what they are okay to be watching and listening to and nobody else's uh cool let us jump on to the next one What's your fucking language? Oh, no, right? <laughs> Look, hey, if we can have these kind of mature conversations about it, that's like, I mean, we've we've had a few people who come in here and go, my God, such, so unladylike. And it's like, I don't care. Like, <laughs> I really don't care. Uh, but when it is a bug on Twitch's end that is not letting people know that it's a mature stream, that is an issue. Um, like, there needs to be, like, c informed consent there. Uh, that part, like, the, f the fact that Twitch isn't showing that, that I have a problem with. People have a problem with my language, they can just leave. That's fine. There's there's plenty of other streams out there that don't have, like, don't have language involved that I, that I use and stuff like that. That's, that's okay. I won't be offended. That's their choice. Um, but when Twitch removes that choice from their hands and is just like, stream, also, by the way, swearing, without warning them, that's not okay. Um, yeah, that's, I'm fairly, like, I'm, I think that's a fairly mature way to approach that. So that's, that's what I go with. Um, uh, so WD, your message there has been blocked. It would have been hilarious if it was just a string of the word fuck, but the fact that you included the word die is not okay. So we're going to deny that. Uh, Blizz is advertising you. That's cool. Yes, I'm on the launcher. How awesome is that? On the on the Battle.net launcher. So when you like open up Battle.net and you like press the play button, so there's a there's a fear there. In some regions, not all, but um, yeah, it's very, very cool, very cool. This is my last Alliance tune, by the way. Last Alliance tune, and then back on to ten more Horde, and that'll be that. Uh, I would personally much rather have the space of money taken up by scales in a very specific Wolf Lion. Look, me too. Me too. Go for a cold Milo, actually. What a great idea, guys. Thank you. Brilliant. Uh, Blizzard ANZ promoting Australian and New Zealander creators on their launcher. Indeed. Indeed. It is very cool. Difference between teaspoon of mustard, tablespoon is dinner out. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear, it only show back up if you clear cookies for the site. There you go, thank you, Nutty. Much appreciate that information. I didn't know that. The mature audience's warning will only show back up if you clear your cookies for the site. So I'm guessing if you watch in something like incognito mode, it'll pop up every time. Um, which makes sense. Tested checking the stream in incognito and it has indeed warned me about mature content. Okay, awesome. So it is popping up. It might just be individual people or they've got a cookie from there previously or maybe someone has clicked through on the launcher before, even if it's not on that account. Maybe if it's somebody else who uses the PC or something, um, something in the background has uh, has checkboxed that flag for them. Um, and I mean, hey, I've been on the launcher for over a year now, so there's a very good chance that someone's clicked on it because you're like last February and has forgotten they've ever watched me because they never followed or anything like that, which is again, okay. Uh, but it still cleared the flag for them. Uh, that is the thing that happens. I get people coming in here saying, it's my first time here, and I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> you were here three years ago. And they're like, what? It's the great thing about mod tools. We see all... Um, back up if you click this. Uh, mature warning flags. Firstly, account, then local cache. Either account or browser must have previously visited the stream. Yeah. Or, genuinely, it's a bug. Occasionally, shit goes wrong. And in that case, we report to Twitch. Because even, even if it isn't a bug, like, Twitch can just go, yeah, nah. And, like, that's fine. Um, but if it is a bug, then they can hopefully fix it. All right, on to Horde side. Hey, Shiba, are you seeing auto mod messages? Or um, are you just a little preoccupied today? That And it's fine, just, just checking, because I've seen a couple pop up and I'm like a fair way behind on chat. So I'm just wanting to make sure if there's an issue on on either of our ends or something. Uh, I've not noticed adults or mature audiences here. I wouldn't fit in if I had. <laughs> Uh, have my stream set to mature content also add an 18 plus to the end of my stream titles? Fair. Uh, I've actually looked at that code. It works. It always works unless they broke something since last year. Fair. Fair. Look. 
code's only as good as the uh, the users who use it, right? Where where like humans are fantastic at finding ways to break shit. So unladylike, I know. We've had a few people banned for like literally going on full on angry rants about my language. It's like, why are you here? It's okay. You can leave. You can go somewhere. Like, why are you so angry? You... It's almost like they're they're just really angry that day and they're looking for an outlet to get everything out. Which I mean, sure, I, I get that, but there are healthier ways to do that that don't result in you attempting to harm somebody else with your words. Like it just, I don't know, not again, not saying that that's what's happening here at all. Not at all. I think the the conversation we had with Patty was very, very mature and, and respectful and all that kind of stuff, which was great. Uh, but in the past, I've had conversations like that. Well, not even conversations, just, oh, that's interesting. They just didn't talk and then they went. That was really interesting. They bugged out. They, this is buggy. This is buggy today. This, this concerns me. I really want to get through this <laughs> before the three hour mark. Because it's making me real fucking nervous for day 15. Let me, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, Les. Welcome back. Good luck with your filthy horde tunes. Thank you, Fairy. Appreciate. Fucking hate my little shit swag and a bit of vocabulary, you dickens. Haven't seen any. Let me hard refresh. Yeah, go for it. Um, Because there's been only, I think, like maybe two, I think. One that I blocked and then Candy's one that I just let through about the, the get a better vocabulary, you dickheads. Um, but yeah, I was just, I was curious because I know that Jas is probably not paying any sort of attention. Um, but yeah, like, you know, if there's something I've done wrong and I've broken your access, I want to make sure I can fix it. <laughs> this is not me calling you out on your lack of work or anything. It's genuinely me thinking I've broken something. Um, Um, actually, they probably have changed that code since then. Uh, I've always thought having an 18 plus symbol next to where it says live would be helpful. That would be helpful. Like, not on, not in your title, but, like, actually on, like, even if it's got, like, your name and then the verified check mark or not, and then, like, a little 18 plus kind of symbol, I think that'd be really helpful. Um, yeah, absolutely. Because, like, we have it flagged there for a reason, why would they not use that information? Except for like once ever? Like, what if you share your PC with the rest of the family and you want it to double check every time? You'd like, granted you can clear your cookies every single day, but who the hell's got time for that? Yeah, I think that'd be really actually fantastic. Have, have you seen something similar? So there's a, there's a website called user voice, as in like we are users of the website and we have a voice. Um, user voice is a Twitch user voice where anyone can submit an idea for the site and then everyone and anyone can vote on it and the, the ideas that get a whole lot of votes um, tend to get a Twitch response. Like they say, yep, we're planning on this or we're thinking about that or this already works similarly to that or blah, 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 whatever. Um, it might be worth sticking that up there because that's a really, really, really good idea. Like a really good idea. Um, it might already be up there, and in which case we need to find it and we all need to go vote on it. <laughs> hey, Ethna, hope you're doing all right sitting here watching you. Glorious 160p. I must look just amazingly wonderful at when in 160p. <laughs> it's all right. It's hiding all my spots. It's fine. Uh, bug happened because they added a hotfix. The amount only drops 51 plus. Uncle is Mr. Blozard, so I know these things. Indeed. Good. Wonderful. Ah, uh, since that was embedded right in the middle of the viewer tracking. Yeah. 
Mm, I'm, I'm sure that, and I'm sure that they had like viewer tracking. They probably change that every couple of months to try to screw with the the view bot vendors as well. Like, makes sense. Mm. Clubbing hippogriff is avoiding me now. Oh no. She's fine here yeah, since everyone knows how the viewer tracking worked. They would have had to change it to stop bots. Yeah. They have to I'm they have to like mess with it every couple months to stop the to, to try to prevent the whole view, like selling views and stuff. Shiba's banned, clearly, clearly. I can't even ban Shiba. I cannot ban a moderator. You have to unmoderate them and then ban them. Fun fact. Uh, 270 toy left, heartbreak, and I'm done with this event. Yay, Yuri! Oh, fantastic news. Actually, now that you say that, Fia has... That's the wrong Fia. That's the... I'm like, why does she have 32? Where the fuck did my tokens go? Uh, Fia has 220, so I'm 50 off. Phelan has 148. I've got one more run, and that'll be mine. Um, and Alexia... is on 88, so she's got at least... She'll have two more runs at most. No. Two to three more runs before she can buy hers. But I do have a round of dailies to do on Fear today. Um, so that'll bring me up to 230, uh, two, 253. Almost there. <clears throat> 270, Toy, 150, 100, the heartbreak amount, and Toy. Well done. Oh, that's what you've got left. For a second, I'm like, holy shit, you got all of that? Oh my god, Koala, congratulations. Why didn't you tell us about the heartbreak? And then I'm like, oh wait, you mean you got that left? Good, wonderful, okay. <clears throat> um, thanks for the step one discount. Made a purchase. Ah, fantastic, Phoenix. I'm so happy. That's wonderful news. They are honestly just incredible. I hope you enjoy them as much as I've enjoyed mine. They're wonderful. Uh, should be 15 plus for language, though. That's the standard most places. 18 plus kind of means something else. Uh, yeah, like the fact that we talk about penises and vaginas and sex toys and cannibalism and politics and religion and all that kind of shit. Yeah, we we are absolutely a stream for mature audiences. Um, it's not porn. It's not X-rated. Um, but it's, it's certainly, we have a lot of conversations here that are definitely for mature audiences only. And that is why we... That is why I made the decision to flag myself for mature audiences only. Um, and the, the thing with Twitch is there is no definition between like family friendly 15 plus eight. There is no, there is no definition like that. It's either you're fine or you're mature audiences. There is no in between. And so for me, I don't want a 13 year old watching me. This, the content that I stream is not suitable for 13 year olds. It's just not. And so mature audiences. If I had a 15 plus option, maybe I'd use it. I'd probably stick with 18 plus though, just because I know that we talk about pretty much anything and everything. Um, there are very few topics here that are off limits. Um, the only, like it's it's more, it's less the topics and more the way in which we engage in the conversation. It Like it's mature conversations um, that, that it, we, you know, we discuss the topic rather than attacking people and individuals and stuff like that. And it quite often takes a mature approach to be able to do that. Um, you can have the same conversation uh, between a bunch of 16 year olds and a bunch of 22 year olds and it'll look very, very fucking different. Very fucking different. Um, but welcome on in, Cranky. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Uh, the internet's once no, 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 I know, F. I knew that. Sorry, I should have also been clearer. That's hilarious though. Totally fine. Um, oh no, you were talking to, right, you were talking to Draz. Yes. Yep, good. Everything is fine. Wonderful. <laughs> I am exactly on the page. Good. Brilliant. Uh, bought a pair to try and I'm totally hooked. Awesome. Oh, that's so good. So good. I'm just, I'm like, I kind of hope that that the Valentine's Day weren't like super limited edition. I'm keeping my eye out for a restock. Uh, cause like we kind of want to get Jazz a couple pairs too, because they're just so awesomely comfy. But, um, look, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm sure I'll be always missing one of those for years and years. <clears throat> uh, whoopsie. 18 plus implies not safe for work content. Could invite the wrong kind of folks. Uh, it could, but I mean, my content is also not safe for work. It's not tits and ass, but it's also not safe for work. Um, well, I mean, I guess it depends on the workplace. 
some workplaces are a lot more lax than others, but um, my, my content is not safe for your average workplace. Um, they would have changed the viewer tracking since October 21. Yeah, because of the leak. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Uh, it's just too many steps to bend because it's cheaper. <laughs> oh, I'd be screaming so loudly. I think my gaming buddy would hate me. True. Very true. Yes, mature. But correct. Uh, this isn't exactly a minor friendly space, to be honest. It's definitely suited towards adults. Yeah. And I mean, look, that's okay. There are, there are so many spaces on Twitch that are very minor friendly and that's fantastic. And I'm, you know, it's great that those content creators are making a space that is safe for kids to come and hang out and, and, you know, be safe and shit. And that's fantastic. It's just not here. And that's okay. And I'm, I'm aware that I am excising a portion of the potential market. And that's fine by me. Uh, Miners really like to invade adult spaces and scream about being in adult spaces. No, no, their parents like to scream about the adult spaces not being suitable for children. The kids want to be there. That's why they invade them. I mean, we had a person a while back um, make some off-the-cuff comment about... Oh, was it my boobs or something? I don't, it was just, it was such an, it was such a low brow, low level attempt at a snarky sexual comment. And I said, really, what are you, 12? And then I said, well, if you are 12, you shouldn't be on Twitch because Terms of Service says you gotta be 13 plus, but you know, balls. And then they went and said, I'm allowed to be on Twitch, I'm almost 13. And I said, no, you're not. Almost 13 isn't 13. And so I banned them and I reported them because we are obliged to uphold the terms of service. It is part of the partnership contract. There is a line in there that we, that we are obliged to uphold the Twitch terms of service. So I had to go, I, I went in and I, there is a specific line. You know, when you go in to report somebody and there's like, what do you want to report them for? If you go under, give me more options. One of them literally says they're under the age of 13. So I clicked that and I clicked submit. Like, no, <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't be, don't be that. Uh, I've been playing Lost Ark. Ah, wonderful, truly. I hope you're enjoying it. What the hell are commercial is obnoxious. I have to watch it in four different languages before. It oh no, cranky. I'm so sorry. Oh, Jesus. Uh, oh, we're in an ad in progress. Oh, you must have had it earlier. I don't know. Um. Yeah, look, there are there are some very obnoxious uh, ads going around <laughs> lately. Uh, I worked and did my runs, level to tune ten levels today. Get a lurk and watch a movie. Yay! Fantastic. Enjoy yourself. <sighs> Super good luck with Mount Number Thirty Four. Maybe Number Thirty Four. Number Thirty Four. I'm not sure what that means. I'm almost at fifty today. I'm at six. I've got six more tunes to do, so this is Number Forty Five. If that's what we were, maybe. Ah, uh, I definitely think it's not safe for my work here. Yeah, look a little bit. Ah, uh, let me get my foot off. Hey, I just said, oh, okay, well done. Congratulations. Am I lucky that I hear boobs and butts? Can't use actual words from moderation settings. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm eight plus 18. I turned 32 on Friday. That's a number. Oh, no, no, miners like to play the minor card a whole lot when they invade adult spaces. TikTok is accessible for it. Miners get into adult spaces and argue and immediately turn and play that I'm a minor card after they're argued against. Right, okay. So as soon as they utter the word minor, they should be banned. Like, that's... Or blocked, or whatever. Like, that's very straightforward, is it not? I mean, obviously they can create a new account and work their way back in there again. But that's on them. It is your, it doesn't matter if you're a goddamn minor, you inserted yourself into this situation. We removed you as soon as we found out and now you have reinserted yourself, which takes a whole lot of effort and therefore you are entirely at fault. Like, I'm sorry. Minors may, you know, there, there may be some things that they don't quite understand just yet, but a lot of them aren't fucking idiots. They know what van evasion is. Ah, uh, you want to play I'm a minor card when you manage to weasel your way into an adult space. You're an idiot. If you got yourself in there, you came in willingly. Yep. And if you're trying to catfish your way into certain adult spaces 
and then try to get those people in trouble, you fucking deserve whatever is coming for you in terms of fucking, uh, like, punishments and shit like that. Absolutely. You get banned, you get IP banned, you get reported, you, whatever, that is on you. Do not enter a space and click the yes I am 18 button if you are not fucking 18. You fucking idiot. They aren't there to prevent you from having fun. They are there to protect you from potential bad operators. Allow those tools to protect you. Um... <clears throat> It'll be 34 tomorrow. Okay, all right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, um... That's, like, it's, it's a... So the, you're talking about screen marker. That's just a... It's a, like, a website, obviously, but who knows what kind of website it is. Because, like... And they're not even following. They can... Yeah, they can piss off. Um... Am I a tank in here? No, I'm healing. Good. Uh, Fade, Bod, Very, and Koala, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Um, I'm so good at basically a combination of Diablo and Path of Exile. Ah, oh, fantastic! Well, that sounds like a whole lot of fun. 32, get into your mid-30s. I know, shut up. Thanks, so Jess. Yeet, only problem with leak protection, hey. Look, it is. Um, you can always engage with them and say, hey, what kind of, uh, what kind of link is that? Like, we have link protection here. Um, so it's only come through as three asterisks. Um, what are, are you asking a question? Are you asking what the fastest way to level is or what what is going on here? If they don't respond, you know it's a bot because they've moved on. They're going to the next stream to do their advertising bullshit and then you can ban them. Um, but if they do, like it could just be a, like a problematic thing, but oh well, doesn't matter. You can also report them for malicious links though. It would be really like we've um I've I've we've had a few conversations in a few different spaces about um, moderators being able to see what links are attempting to be shared because it's really really difficult to actually moderate effectively if we don't know what people are trying to share because we see it as th like even the moderators they see it as three asterisks everyone even me as the streamer doesn't see them doesn't see the link which is a problem right. Um, so yeah, that should, that should be allowed to be shown to moderators specifically. Um, uh, how's our breaker runs going? Very well so far. I mean, apart from the fact it hasn't dropped, but that's fine. Real shame we couldn't see that Link would love an account of 60s. I mean, I mean, right? I mean, right? It could also have been like a question like, hey, how is, how do I get there fast? Is, is this thing, is this thing going to help me get to thingamajig? Like, maybe. <laughs> Hello, Barry. What if I'm 35? I mean, you're still as incredible as ever. So, like, I don't think it has any bearing. I hope you're having an awesome day. Uh, whole 13 things. A whole 13 thing is to do with US data protection laws for minors. If I remember correctly, it was Twitch staff that said it's not mandatory for streamers users to report underage viewers. But if Twitch does discover that when the account was created, when a user was under 13, they are legally required to take action. There is a clause in the affiliate and partner contracts about if it's a child streamer um that the like guardian has to do the thing for them like they have to sign all the stuff and they have to have it paying into their bank account and all that kind of shit like there's a specific clause for minors um but the the line in the contract that i have uh is that we must enforce like we must enforce toss in our chats so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave that open to interpretation. Toss says not under 13, so I'm gonna report anyone who reports that they're under 13, uh, because it's not worth letting a kid keep their account and losing mine. J like just in case, you know, it's the same thing we we're talking about the the potential glitch slash exploit in WoW uh, yesterday. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it to me. So I am always gonna err on the side of caution with that. Heavily on the side of caution. Hit eight stars out of Miley progressive story. <sighs> Time to make food. Brilliant. Honestly, reporting them is there for is for their own good. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, the whole like Twitch and and like with YouTubers and big name TikTokers and all this kind of stuff. Like having influences with children, because that's what they are. 
children looking up to them and being put in this vulnerable situation. It allows um, it allows creators to take advantage of kids in ways uh, that they may not be able to take advantage of an adult or a teenager. Um, and I'm not just talking about predatory behavior, like that's obviously disgusting and fucked up, um, but like things like, oh, you know, you should grab your mum's credit card and drop a bunch of gift subs. That'd be really cool. It'd make for a great stream. You know, like that's, that's not, that's, that's a different type of exploitation, right? Um, so yeah, it just, it's, kids are in too vulnerable a place to have people they look up to taking a shine to them and, and manipulating them in ways. It's just, it's too dangerous, too fucking dangerous. Not saying that all creators are like that, obviously, but there's always going to be a couple who like they just they don't deal with the the fame thing very well or whatever and it just it gets out of control and they don't realize before it's too late and all this kind of shit it's just not worth it it's not worth it so we get rid of the kids from the platform very easy protection Woo! um you just reminded me what my cousin's stepson did, 12.01 a.m. day of his birthday, when all the 18 plus subreddits and clicked, yes, I'm 18. <laughs> That's adorable. That is, that is absolutely adorable. God, I'm gonna have so many fucking toxic wastelings. I mean, look, I haven't had that many. I've only had like five or six now, but that's still a lot. I love how all your units are redheads. Yeah, they're my head skins. Those are, those are my head skins. Uh, they're adorable, and then I've got the the full skins that look a little bit different. But yeah, they're all it's a it's a fear head. <laughs> oh, I'm assuming you're talking about uh, the stream raiders. Uh, truly lawful good. Yeah, it's really interesting that mods can't see the link. Yep. Uh, I wish there was a feature that works like auto mod where it stops the message until the mod lets it get through, so we can check links. That'd be really good too. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, the sun well. <gasps> Phoenix. Thank you so much for the resub eight months. My God, thank you so much for the ongoing support. Ah, oh, I hope you're having an awesome day. You can add .com to forbidden words list and block and check every link that way maybe. Uh, mm, no, cause it's not like, it's battle.net is a website. You know, it's not, it's not that easy. Uh, terms of service, yes. Sorry, uh, what, what about it? Jason, uh, maybe love so hard when you told me I actually only had interest in two of the subreddits. And yeah, but it's like, that's super cute though. That's super cute. Uh, honestly, that's why so many influencers YouTubers are being called out for gross behaviors because kids are so wildly unaware of situations they only see that, oh my gosh, my fave person is talking to me. They know who I am. They, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And it's just, it's dangerous. Will! Phoenix, congratu congratulations, Will. Thank you so much, Phoenix, for the gifted sub. That is so generous of you. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Not everyone can handle fame like, good Lord. Sam, good Lord. Runs done, grabbed dinner before doing the dailies. Of course, my fingers crossed. It drops in these last runs. Look, I hope so. I've got four more to go. Um, and look, the, it's taking a long time to run these today. There's There have been some issues in the queue, I think, some, some bugs and things, uh, which is making me very nervous for the potential of day 15 because I need to get through 50 tunes in three hours flat. I've, there's no real room. Um, so I'm I'm quite scared because I have a feeling a lot of our community is gonna be in bed by the time I get to those runs. Um, so I'm not gonna have a whole lot of like help with getting instant cues and stuff like that. So I'm just, yeah, I'm really nervous. Really nervous. Uh, so I don't want kids in my stream, can't monitor every adult in my comments and in my follows, don't want them to be potentially preyed upon in the shadows linked through my content. Yeah, absolutely, Adri, 100%. Uh, you can tell the predatory streamers by things they say are cool. Like, wouldn't it be cool if there come a sudden 10 gifted subs? Yeah, look, that's, um, look, each to their own. I mean, you gotta, you gotta make money somehow, you know, content doesn't come cheap. Um, you gotta, you gotta be able to pay your bills and shit, but, um, there are, like, I think, like, there are, there is a streamer that a lot of people, or a content creator that a lot of people uh, probably know of or have heard of. Um, I don't want to mention names because I don't like talking shit about people. Um, it's just a, a strategy that I don't particularly agree with, um, personally. Uh, but things like, oh, I'm going to stop streaming if I don't get this many donations in the next X minutes and stuff like that. 
uh, I'm going to cut it off early if this doesn't happen or blah, blah, blah. Like, it's just that kind of stuff is not necessarily predatory, but exceptionally entitled. Um, I mean, I understand, you know, you deserve, you just des like, you deserve an hourly rate. You, you deserve to be paid what you're worth. Um, but if, if you don't feel like you're earning enough, then there's, there's probably other reasons behind that. Um, I don't know. It just, it feels a little bit off to me. Um, so I don't particularly agree with those kind of strategies. And I also would never feel comfortable trying to do that myself. Like, oof. I mean, I've done, I've done, uh, subathons before, you know, where each sub adds a chunk of time to a timer and we keep going till the timer runs out kind of thing. But, um, not like, that's a predetermined thing rather than just being halfway through a game and being like, well, I'm going to leave if you guys don't start coughing up the cash kind of, it's not, it's not, mm, don't like, don't like, uh, but yeah. <clears throat> uh, so please also be aware that it is not down to the requirement of streamers to enforce the toss of Twitch, uh, but it does help if their report is not accurate now, to the best of your knowledge. Um, maybe it's different in the general things and not different, uh, and so, mm, I'll have to go through and read my contract again, uh, cause I'm, yeah, the, so there are a couple of things that could be happening here, right? Firstly, they've changed that since I signed my partner contract, which is possible, which means that I've signed a contract that has different toss to what is in public currently. Um, the other option is that if there's a public facing version, but every partner contract is different. And so I've got a partner contract that like is not the same as what's public because they can be different. Um, yeah, there's, there's a few different things that could have happened there, but I'm not too sure. Uh, I'll have to have a reread of it and see what I can find. Um, yeah. Um, welcome. Thank you, Phoenix. Uh, what time will those runs be? 1am to 4am my time. A-E-S-T. Yeah, it's going to be a, a time. Move isn't threatening to cut off a stream without donations, basically extortion. That is a word I was thinking of, yes. Uh, but I guess, like, like possibly? I guess there's not a there's not a definition in extortion that means, you know, it has to be valuable enough to you to, for you to be extorted or something. Hey, it's um I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Extorted if I'd say pay me or I'll log off the whole platform. Is to facilitate anyone streaming if they want to and you don't get charged by Twitch to stream on the platform. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just asking if Toss meant terms of... Oh, yes. Toss is terms of service. That's right, Jason. Yeah. Thank you for clarifying. I appreciate it. Um, That wasn't in any contract. It was recorded message directly from Twitch staff, but it's old. Ah, uh, okay. Right. Most of the talks I've had with Twitch staff, this is the same thing again, but it was like four years ago. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Tuesday morning. It is. Yeah. So Mount Farm Monday, like today at 4 p.m., and then it runs through till 10... And then one is when daily is reset, and then four is when the event finishes. So I've got those three hours, three, that's three fear, three hours there to get all 50 runs done as my last ditch attempt. So in order to avoid all that stupidity, we want the mount to drop like now. <laughs> Would be very nice. Would be preferential. But yes, it is. That time might actually though, might actually work, yeah. I see, I see. Okay, yeah. So that's um, so that's a Tuesday morning, and I'm working that day as well. Uh, yeah. So that's the time. it would be early night for us EU folks, probably morning for US. The problem is though, it may be morning for US, but those US people have to find my stream if they haven't been here before, and they need to be willing to actually jump in and help. These are this. Do you know what I mean? At least with the whole community guidelines reshuffle, I know a lot more onus is from the streamers to moderate their chat, shoulder more responsibility. Yeah, absolutely there was. Um, I think part of the big thing is, if they don't know what's broken, they can't fix it. There is, there is an endemic issue with toxicity on Twitch. The problem is, this toxicity, a lot of the time, is in channels where the streamers allow it, and then they take that community and throw it at somebody else. And then all that toxicity flows over onto that streamer who doesn't cur curate that kind of community, who then suffers for it. That's when the big issues started happening. Therefore, if we make it 
if the toxic streamer doesn't moderate the toxicity, they get in trouble rather than like having to put all the onus on this streamer who's trying to filter it all out of their chat as well. Like, do you know what I mean? I think that's kind of where they're coming from. Um, it'll take a while before we know if it's actually working properly or not. Um, good morning, Ventu. Hello. Welcome back. But yeah, it's, uh, honestly, I don't mind doing it from, from like the streamer perspective here, but we've got a fucking awesome community. Like we don't, I mean, we get the occasional troll. We get the occasional fuckwit, but occasional being the key word there. Um, when people like that do come in, they usually notice pretty damn quickly that the community here just doesn't put up with that crap. Not just me, but the rest of you guys as well. We just don't, we don't even entertain it. We don't give a shit. Like, fuck off. Um, so they tend to leave pretty quickly, even if we don't ban them, just because they're like, oh, well, this is going to be fun. There's no one here to bounce off of and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's, um, we just don't take shit. Have troll tunes, not not those kind of trolls, Jason. I've got troll characters as well, but like you know, the the internet fuckwits, the internet fuckwits. Um, I'm here all the time, uh, and I feel like like occasionally qualify for both troll and fuckwit. Look, we do we do have a couple of people here who definitely qualify as trolls. Uh, refer to X, who constantly trolls me with hydrates. Uh, refer Zam, who constantly trolls me with uh, embarrassing clips and things like that. But that's a different kind of trolling. Um, there's there's a big difference between <laughs> hydrate uh, and, um, you know, making comments about my body or wanting to do unspeakable things to my mother and all this kind of shit. You know, it's um, like there's a big difference between that kind of troll. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that most people understand that. And, you know, people joke like, oh, yeah, but I'm a troll. Yeah, but you're not. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Um, it's a, yeah, different type. Uh, trolls tend to go berserk roughly every three minutes based on what I've seen. <laughs> Racial ability. Woo! Uh, trolls in this economy. That trolling with humor. Yeah, it's... And I, like, I honestly, I wouldn't even go so far as to call it trolling. I'd probably call it, like gentle Another ribbing or, or like playful banter that kind of stuff like that's that's not that's not really trolling in my books but to each their own you know everyone's gonna have a mildly different definition so um yes can you get your butt over here thank y'all let us smack the lot of you so you can give me my mount Uh oh, I am low health. I have a feeling the healer is DPS. And that's okay, as long as we can get them down appropriately. This just seems to be taking a while, even with 4 DPS. It's okay. One down. Two down. And here we go for the third. Pop the box. No mount. It's worth a try. Uh, I prefer the term funny clips. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Lighthearted fun trolling with your friends is totally different. Yes, exactly. Agreed. Agreed. That kind of troll talking about you and your mother, you should ban them. I do. Of course I do. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Doing some care runs for that mound check. Yes. Good luck, Jason. Good luck. I have some redemptions. I'm going to... Speaking of uh, drowning me with hydrates. So we've just hit the three hour mark. Granted, I had internet no. issues, so we didn't go, like, we haven't been streaming that whole time, but, like, ugh, makes me nervous. <laughs> Pause to check. Stretch. 
Imagine if you can pre queue for the first run. I doubt it. I think you'd have to press the button when the thing's there. But I'll be absolutely sitting here, like, you know what? Checking for it to, like, come up. <laughs> and then, oh, and then click the, yeah. Everyone, like, there'll be a ton of other people who'll be doing it straight at the same time as well. Not, not like shitloads, but a ton. Like, that daily lockout. Uh, Leo Demos is all hydrate. Do you get waterlogged? <laughs> no, I kind of just go, uh, shit. Um, and I have another stretch. Another one. And I'm out. I can hydrate with Pepsi, right? It's soda stream Pepsi, so it's lower sugar. Um. <sighs> <clears throat> Look out in. Oh, Seeker, I don't know what's going on there. Sorry. It's really strange. Uh, does loot reset based on the Q click, the Q pop, the Q accept, the phase in, the kill, or the loot? That is a really good question, and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's one of those we just don't know which one. Correct. Unless we had like a whole bunch of people testing it at different, but it'd be kind of difficult to control that level of, uh, of stuff. I mean, maybe my Q's broken again. Two minutes 30. At what point at time in queue would you suggest I DQ and re -queue? Um, Jazz with one million. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, that's right. I lost a whole ton when the name change happened. I forgot about that. So I do it with American Pepsi. We've got no sugar in ours. Very much kidding. I mean, well, you can get Pepsi Max, which is, you know, Max flavor, no sugar. Or Max flavor, zero sugar, whatever the fuck they say. Um, but this is not. Oh, no, I think this is actually Pepsi Max now that I think about it. But it's just got a ton of sweetener in it. 30 seconds for all specs. Okay. Noted. <clears throat> so after this, I'm going to jump onto Fear and I'm going to go do the dailies. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, and then, and then we're going to do Mount Farm Monday. Start from the top of my list. Oh shit. Oh, am I not in the right spec? God damn it. I'm not in the right spec. That's right. Everything's dying really quickly, so it's fine. No, I am in the right spec. I just was in the wrong form. Good lord. I'm very good at this. Fifty attempts. Depends where you run, we run you in the future. Ah, oh, Edry, thank you very much. That's very sweet of you. Rest well. We'll see you next time. Mount, mount, mount time! It is, it's mount time. Mount farm Monday time. No, 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 no heartbreaker. But no, we're, uh, we're going to go do the dailies first. Uh, and I'm going to change... No, actually, I'll leave the title the same until we switch to actually Mount Farm Monday. <laughs> Ugh. Good morning, Gabri. Welcome back. Try reverse psychology on the game. No, don't do that. Try Pepsi Max Mango. It's best bud. No, I haven't. This is from SodaStream. Like, this is a SodaStream syrup. Um, I'm not sure if they make... Um, I'm not sure if they make a Pepsi Max Mango Soda Stream syrup, um, but it would, that definitely sounds interesting. So cool. Hope you win the mount. Oh, I didn't today. Fingers crossed it will drop tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's stream will be starting a couple of hours later than usual because it's a work day. Um, but you can scroll down and click Fiamma and then click schedule and you'll see what time I'm starting in your local time zone. Uh, but we're not yet. We're not done yet. We've still got several hours left of stream. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> And you should definitely follow Fear on Instagram. Correct. Correct. You should definitely follow Fear on Instagram. Um, 
yeah, 100%. Mm, thank you. Oh, I love the disparity in that result. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, Kaz gets three, LK gets 60k. Uh, <laughs> PvP mount for Monday? Not yet. Not yet. <clears throat> I've still got my, my mount farm list that I've been working through. Um, we've got to be getting close to Exalted on those Alliance ones. We have to be. We have to be. Uh, right, dailies. Love is in the air, dailies. Mm. I'll follow, just give you another follower. I never get on. Oh, that's okay. Not a worry, Jason. It, honestly, it's the numbers that matter first. The engagement rate comes second, but like the number of followers is like the big thing that like to even qualify for a sponsorship campaign, you have to have this many followers kind of thing. Like there's, yeah. Um, the engagement and demographics and shit like that comes much later. Like, yeah, the number of followers is the most important thing on Instagram, which is kind of messed up, but... It is what it is. If has an Insta. I know, right? I'll make sure to follow her. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for being a champ. Yas. All the champs. Finds I go to be good for mount tracking. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. That's fantastic news. Nothing worse than grabbing something that's been like hyped up and then it just doesn't work for you or your purposes, right? I love, I love Zygor. I use it for so much. Like this is, this is just dailies. This is um, the lovers in the air set of dailies. The auto pick up and turn in just makes everything, as you can see, so much easier. Um, and then stuff like, uh, what am I doing? Leveling? I have 50 level 50 plus tunes. Um, needs to be in front of you. Okay. Uh, and I leveled all of them using Zygor. I didn't pay for any boosts. Uh, because I'm broke as fuck. Um, but yeah, like it, it just, it has so many super awesome guides. It's just very, very handy. Very, very handy. Um, I don't tend to recognize, uh, I don't tend to recommend things that I don't enjoy using myself just because that doesn't make much sense to me. Um, so here we are. I have many, many wares. Um, but welcome, welcome on in as well, Will. I hope you're having a lovely day. Instead of calling it an Insta, can we call it a Grammy? There's already a thing called a Grammy, though. Because <laughs> Love Rocket Hunt will always be Love Rocket to me. Yeah, it's, um, the Heartbreaker Run is going, okay, we've done our 50 for today. Uh, we've got, uh, I think it's a total of 1,200 now. Yeah, 1,200 total attempts now. Um, so yeah, going pretty okay. I mean, obviously not ideal. I would like to have it by now, uh, but that's okay. I'm still, in terms of the drop rate, we're still fairly low on numbers of attempts. So that's, uh, yeah. It took us just over three hours to do them today, though. We had some some unfortunate hiccups with my internet connection and some really long queues. Uh, really long queues. What's the best guy for WoW? Well? Oh, guide. Um, that really depends on what you're looking to be guided on, I think. Paladin. Uh, hence the supporting of Mellow. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> um, so my Mellow... So I was supposed to get, like, three boxes today. Um, of, of orders, but I didn't. The bubble tea arrived today. Um, uh, oh, okay, so the one that was saying that it was going to be here today uh, has now said it's going to be Wednesday to Thursday. I've got another order that's Thursday to Monday. There was another one that said delivery expected today, but it's, it's not. I was not here. And then there's another one that's been sitting saying ready for processing since the 4th of Feb. So, look, it'll be fine. Uh, I know there's some delays in Australia Post at the moment, so that's fine. Um, I am, I'm the best guide to play WoW. Also the bubble tea. Yes, absolutely, indeed. Like a guide for WoW would be massive. Yeah, but I mean, like things like Zygor provides a lot of guides to smaller little bits and pieces. Um, 
but it really depends on what kind of guide you're looking for uh, and what your your style of play and stuff like that. Because it could be like there might be an Icy Veins guide for it, there might be a Wowhead guide, might be a Zygor guide, might be a different add-on. It really just depends on what you're looking for exactly. Excuse me, what you're looking for exactly. I know that's why I speak on social media. I noticed you scheduled a few posts back to back like an hour apart. Was my feed just booked? No. So that's um that's reels that I was supposed to be posting once a day for the last three or four days. But because it's been birthday weekend and I've had too much other shit going on, I haven't gotten around to posting them. Uh, so I did them all today. I'm assuming it's reels you're talking about. It's got oh, toppings. Tea. It's got toppings. Amazing. This is grapefruit tea with grape jelly. Yes. It looks like grape jelly. Grape happened to be the one right at the front. Uh, like, yes. If I get this one, I'll do. Oh, it's Perfect. Really anyway. <laughs> mm. We have toppings again. We do have toppings again. Our order arrived today. It was a large box. Baby. Oh. This is baby jazz, huh? Wait, 13 and 13 and a half kilograms of bubble tea supplies. There you go. Yeah, and he decided not to take the elevator because he is an umpty. Yeah, look, it's turned off my auto loot. Oh, good lord. Oh, that sucks. If I'm gonna have to reactivate that on every character, something is legit broken. That's very upsetting. That is very upsetting. Um. Uh. Why won't it scroll? Scroll, there we go. Uh, just bought to have 50 by next year, or, you know, get them out this year. I know, right? Wouldn't that be lovely? Uh, yay for fresh pearls. Yes, they expire on the 27th of May, 2022. So um, <laughs> we're just gonna have to keep an eye on that. We can we can eat them all in a month. Uh, not in a month, in three months. That'll be fine, perfectly fine. Best thing to do is mess around anywhere, watch some streams, figure out what content you enjoy, look up how to do that to the best of your ability. Exactly, absolutely. Uh, more content to enjoy in a short space of time. Not real as the actual posts. Posted four different posts on Insta today. Yeah, but they're reels. I posted three. <clears throat> three in the morning, and then one when it was actually due to be posted. But they're all actually reels. Um, that's why they've got the little box up the top with the stripey thing and then the, like, the arrow on it. They're all reels. And they've got the, like, the Twitch... TV Fiamma thing, they're they're all reels. If you swip to the swap to the reels page, so um there is an option to post if you post a reel, it can also post it to your feed so that people are more likely to see it. Um but they are all reels. They're just duplicated onto my feed, but they're still flagged as reels. Yeah, they are. I just checked my feed and everything is where it should be. I, that's my being lazy for the for the weekend because it was birthday weekend. Koala, Kludgy, Seth, Red, Zem, Zam, Bui, uh, Sika, and Jack. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Must say I have zero regrets about the Jazz Sound Command Redemption. Good. I'm glad. What Sound Command? Uh, the Jazz Sound Command Redemptions. There's many of those. Which there one? are several. Want some food? Yay! I like food. Thank you so much. I forgot to get something while I got the groceries. Sauce. Sauce. Yeah. <laughs> We're almost out of sauce. That's okay. We'll just have to pick up some later. I hate the chicken's pretty tasty. It smells amazing. Oh. It smells really, really good. I don't like you watching a stream raiders battle already. Sorry? Uh, he can't kill you. I well, could. If I just stood here and did nothing for a while. I just pull him off. That's a humanoid. I could technically. Um, so I'm gonna seduce the calendar ride just have to check the pearls. <laughs> no. No. But we'll probably eat them quicker this time around, I would say. We'll say, we'll say. Bye. Bye. Greatly appreciate the Jess obliged on the second. Okay, today I learned, yeah, yeah. So you can, you can post a, uh, a reel to your feed as well. Um, and I usually try to get it so that the reel goes live in the morning and then the post goes live in the evening. So it tiles cute across the, but I, look, I fucked up a couple times, but I'm beyond caring now. As long as it's up, it doesn't matter. Um, cause I'm just, this month has been exhausting. So, <laughs> um, yum indeed. I've returned. Welcome back, Shiva. Welcome back. Uh, he's returned. Run everybody in. Well, no, don't do that. Don't run. Six, six, six timeless coins. Well done. Um, that's what they said.
I already killed 12. Good, okay. Um, so I need to go to Orgrimmar. And now we're gonna go turn in some bracelets. I really hope, I know, I know I'm not, I'm, I'm not expecting it. I know my numbers are down, but like, I really hope I can get them out this year. Because I really don't want to do this again next year. There's going to get to, it's going to get to a point where I'm too old for this shit. And I just, I cannot maintain doing it every day like that. And I'd really like to get the, uh, I'd really like to get them out before that happens. <laughs> but we'll see. There's uh, hey, only, only one way to get it. And that's to keep going. Yes. Goodbye. Mm, has there been any surprises in viewer numbers on certain days? Um... Not really. It's been pretty steady, pretty consistent. Um, no spikes, no big drops, just sort of... I was hoping that it would climb a little bit uh, more than it usually does during the week, but it doesn't seem to be. Uh, and that, I mean, that's okay. Like, no biggie. It's probably because the, the streams that I'm doing in between times are shorter, and so I'm not having enough time to really attract too many more people. But, um, um yeah, it's not, not too bad. Not too bad. Wow, server full. That doesn't happen very often. Watch over you. Doesn't happen very often at all. Um, so should I be too old for this shit? No, not necessarily. I think that everyone's age, like, the the threshold of too old for this shit is going to be different for everybody. Um, because I'm streaming it, because there's so much effort either side of the stream as well as actually doing the runs, um, because it's happened, because it's happening at the same time as my birthday and my six year anniversary and my mum coming to visit, which is a surprise. All this, because there's, so, and then surgery in March and the CT scan last week and all that kind of stuff, because all of that shit going on at once on top of the chronic illness thing, I know that I'm not the only one here with chronic illness, but I think it's just been an absolute fucking, it, in every year, it's going to be a bit of a shit storm with just everything happening all at once. So I would like to be done with it. Um, but, you know, that's, that's up to R and Jesus. Ah, oh, Lunar Festival's finished. Shit. Okay, yeah. Right, we're a week in. God, that makes it real. Whew. All right. I was just used to that room being packed full of so many NPCs. Um. <clears throat> Uh, do I remember you saying February is traditionally a slower month for streamers, financially speaking? January, February, uh, they tend to be slower financially because everyone's trying to recover from uh, Christmas. Uh, December is usually a bigger one. Um, like <laughs> December is a big one for ads. Usually like ad revenue tends to jump a bit because people are willing to pay more. Again, that depends on your individual contract as well though. Um, but like ad revenue will uh, jump in December, especially on things like YouTube, stuff like that. Um, uh, and then it'll slow down first. in January, February, because everyone, like, it slows a bit in in December, but then there's a little bit where people tend to, like, you know, buy a sub or gift subs or whatever in their favorite streamers' channels because they appreciate them and they want to do something for them for Christmas, so there'll be a little bit of a spike there. But then as people try to pay off the credit cards and pay off the loans and all that kind of stuff that have resulted from the Christmas shit, um, the revenue will drop, and then it will kind of slowly, and that has absolutely... <laughs> happened here <laughs> absolutely um looking at my like revenue month to month it's uh well <laughs> it's it's a big difference mm. Mm. and i hold nothing against anybody for that at all like i always say take care of yourselves before you take care of fear this is one of the reasons why um Hi, i want to do the whole oh jord Congratulations for the gift sub from Phoenix. Thank you so much, Phoenix, for the gifted sub. My God. You and your generosity. My goodness. Um, This is one of the reasons why I want to get in on sponsorships. Rather, like, you know, because 
Sponsorships are fucking massive in November, December. Fucking massive. Because everyone wants to get their product in front of as many consumers as possible. So they will do sponsorships. <laughs> so that, you know, I can tell you guys, you should buy this product for your family members for Christmas. And so, you know what I mean? Like, that's a huge thing. And to the, to the extent that sponsorship money from November, December will often carry you through January, February, if you are well positioned and know how to use your money. Um, which I'm pretty, like, I'm pretty good at fucking budgeting. Like, not gonna, not gonna lie. Like, financially speaking, I'm, I'm quite good at that shit. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, that's one of the reasons why I really want to get into that side of it. So that I can have a more consistent income year round, regardless of how you guys are going in your own individual lives and stuff. You know, relying on you and, and trying to make an income off your hard work, like, off the backs of hardworking people like you guys, it's... Not ideal. Um, I am exceptionally grateful and thankful. Do not get me wrong. But sponsorship income would definitely even a few things out. Um, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, I got small dog in your bed. It's a circular one. He fits like a little cinnamon bun. It's so cute. He's a fluffy pom for him. That's adorable. Just got fiery war horse reins. Ah, oh, fantastic, Meaty. Congratulations. Well done. Uh, I hear you. I'm doing this love event with 38 characters for the first time. It's not really my way. Can't imagine how people must feel after years of trying and trying and failing. Yeah, absolutely. I can't imagine. I mean, like last year I did it with 24. And the year before, I think I did it with 17. Uh, and then this year I'm doing it with 50. Um, I do not plan on going any higher than 50. Excuse me. 50 is borderline starting to burn me out like it's it, it's hard like it's actually getting difficult to make it through all 50 without like yeah it's 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 work it's hard work um you know it's a video game it is my choice to do this and i'm very well aware of that i am choosing to to do this um and i'm i'm happy with my choice I'm just also looking forward to not having to do it anymore. <laughs> um, um, congrats to Midi, indeed. New kitty yet. Saturdays will be home. Yay, for speaking in Discord. We got to visit him a few days ago, prepping for pet spam. Beautiful stuff. This makes it great. Into the day, indeed it does, Midi. Well done. Congrats to you. Ancient Phoenix. Yes, early way to describe streaming income is volatile. Yeah, absolutely. They're taking care of here. Thank you, X. Thank you very much. Dropped in beautiful. Got a heart issue that continues to worsen. I feel on that front and just wanting to get this done for sure. For sure. Turn down to 20 next year so it's not that dominant. Fair enough. Um, I won't. I'm like, I've got the 50 tunes and I want to do it. Uh, but uh, uh. sooner it drops, the better. <laughs> Name for baby cat. Hey, Welsh, how you doing? Feel you get burnt out doing my 17 horde tunes on Kaz. I have to say, um, being able to switch between servers and so I don't have to wait. Like, the worst part for me went back when I was doing it on 17 and I had them all on the one server. Was waiting for... Oh, thank you for the bits, Welsh. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, waiting for the instance, like the saved instances to unlock was the worst part of the whole thing. So now that I have 30 Horde on Saofang and 20 Alliance on Arman Thul, I can do 10, 10 Saofang, 10 Arman Thul, 10 Saofang, 10 Arman Thul, and then finish with another 10 Saofang. And I very, very rarely do I hit the instance cap, the 10 instances per hour, because it's server-based, not account-based. So, um, and if I do hit it, it's usually I only have to wait like a minute or so before I can queue again. Um, so because I can keep doing it and keep working through it, it's, um, yeah, it, it's a lot less unpleasant, in my opinion. Uh, obviously each person's going to feel very differently about that, and that is valid. <clears throat> uh, good news, seven more days left to get it. I know, I know, right? I'm, look, that, well, technically it's eight for, uh, oceanic folk. Uh, my daily reset is at 1am and the event finishes at 4am. 
So there's a three hour window of day 15. So there's technically eight days left. That, well, I really hope it drops before then because I do not want to have to be up to 4 a.m. On a goddamn work day, nonetheless. <laughs> Mm. Bubbles, here we go. Mm, they miss Bandit. Looking back, it may have been a good idea to have 10 on a separate server for Horde. Mm. Yeah, I'm I'm quite happy with my setup. <laughs> um, yeah, I like it a lot. Aren't you lucky? No. That's that's a very contentious word. <laughs> oh shit, I'm not supposed oh, God damn it, I always do this. Oh no, wait, I am supposed to- never mind. Everything is fine. We are heading to Storm's Wake. Storm's Wake stuff. Um... We have updated the title. <clears throat> oh god, my sinuses are so fucking angry with me. I've po I've found a um an air purifier on Amazon. Um, I'm just gonna have to save up for that. I think I I've put it on my list wish list so I don't have to do the search again because you know that's how I operate. It, it acts as my memory bank. Uh, <laughs> but um yeah I uh I'm thinking I might see if I can save up some dosh and grab that because I, f I just I feel like it might actually help Sense I just don't know though nearby. I just don't know seek to abuse it for their own ends. I'm in tank spec aren't I shit um oh that's all right things seem to die quick enough what I do want though Excuse me. So I don't have that fell rush chargey thing in tank spec. Got it. Um. I've been scattered, boy. Storm Song Billy Rep Mount. I am, and apparently there's actually two rep mounts. Um, it's just that the second one is a lot further down on my list because not many people bother buying it. Uh, but you know what I'm like. I will absolutely buy the shit out of it. So that's fine. Uh, if you tank, just gather more mobs. Yep. Yeah, but I wanted to like, like charge over there, like you know the the little. I think it's is it fell rush. I don't know, remember. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Eh, Jibajba. Excuse me. Very rude. There we go. I also want to get too far away because there's stuff to collect here as well. I know it'll interrupt me. Oh well. Um. No, you have a leap in tank spec. Yeah, I know, but that's not as fun as darting around the place. That's the fisty one, right? The, 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 look. Don't even at me. There's a fist one. This one. Infernal strike. Yeah, leap through the air. Like this. Boom! Each trap has 90k and a 30k one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I'm... The one that's on my list is the 30k one, like the lower price one. However, when I get there, I will absolutely buy both because I can, firstly. Uh, and because I like getting more mounts. And if I... Like, I'm gonna fucking have to buy it eventually, so why not when I get there? Like, <laughs> might as well. Ah, uh, 70k gold will do that. Yeah. Gonna wait till you get in the list of... No, absolutely not. Nah, I will buy it when I when I get to Exalted because fuck it. I want my mounts. Make number go up. There's already 43 new ones coming in a week or so. So I need to get as many off the list as I can. Because I've finally managed to get under 200 left to go. 
I'm sitting at 198 mounts left to collect. So 43 is going to fuck that up. It's going to put me back up at 241. So I need to get more. <laughs> get more. Tank's version is a jump better. Yeah, okay, I can see that. I just, it's more fun. I find it kind of fancy, like double jump and then zoom through the air, you know? Like it's, it's just, I'm silly. I like, I like things like that. It's fun. Did I? I must have said... I must have said don't at me. Because you've all gone and at me, so I must have said don't at me. I don't remember saying it, but, you know, brain. I think it's always with squishy. Vengeance is squishy. If you're scared, tanks double yeet is fun to you, though. Noted. Noted. The only more expensive one I brought from BFA is the Spectral Pterodax. That is a pretty mount. Didn't get the uh, Griffins or the two Terrors. See, I bought the half million dinosaur. It's it is in fact one of my the, one of the rarest mounts on my account. In fact, it might actually be the rarest. No, no, Desire's Battle Gargan is now my rarest mount because not many people have seemed to bother to go get it. Um, absolutely did say it. Yeah, I figured I must have. Uh, look, I don't think before I speak. Who does that? Who's got time for that? Um. <laughs> but no, I um, I bought the the pale Diahorn, the 500k one, and that's one of my rarest mounts because no one's bothered to buy it because it's half a fucking million. It doesn't look that cool, and it doesn't do anything extra. So, uh, what more precise and less dangerous, much harder to fall off things is the tank spec good. Try upside down, the map becomes invisible. The desire is a bit of a slog if that's all you want. I want everything. I want everything from Ember Court. I'm getting close. There are a lot of transmogs. I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I must have to do a very specific thing in the Ember Court to be able to have the transmog drop. Because I have done tons of them. I've got every single one of them at Best Friend. And I'm still missing. I'm still missing a whole handful of transmogs, so I don't understand why. And there's no comments anywhere to say, you know, you need to get above a score and get this much with them and blah, blah, blah. It, it, like, there's nothing to say any of that. It seems to just be random chance. And I'm like, what? Like, this must be a super low chance. <clears throat> have you bought the vendor mogs? No, because they require anima and I don't have much anima because I don't have time to go get it. Uh, I think I've gotten everything I can remember. Charlie's weapon vendor and the armor type vendor. No, I know, but I'm talking about like the the red lab foil that drops from the countess and things like that. Like maybe they maybe they share appearances, but um, no, I haven't bought anything from the vendors because it all costs anima, and I don't have anima. Um. <clears throat> A lot of the mod can be bought from vendors and other covenants. Yeah, which I don't have, again, don't have time to farm anima, so I haven't upgraded the special things on the other covenants to even access them to be to build it up to be able to buy the shit. Like, I just... You, you guys th seem to think I play a whole lot of this game outside of stream. I don't. I can't. I don't have the time. <laughs> this is not a thing that happens ever. Like, I have enough time to do the Ember Court once a week. That's it. That's it. Maybe the Covenant, the adventure tables. Like, four, I've got four tables across four tunes, and I maybe do them maybe every couple days. That's it. That's, I, I yeah. <laughs> um. I haven't had yet. What's for dinner tonight? Uh, chicken and veg. And the chicken is absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. Frank Kenny with Lillianian. I'm now Rhinelander. Oh no. Oh dear. But yeah, look, it's, um, I'll get there eventually. It's just kind of frustrating to see a collectible on a table and I have no idea how the hell I'm supposed to get it. I'm best friends with them. They are elated. I've got massively high scores in the Ember Court uh, and I'm still just not getting it. Like it, it just, yeah, the, it, mm. It's like it's some secret that needs to be unlocked. And I'm certainly not a secret finder. I'm in the Discord, but I do not find secrets. Mm. 
grab them by the collar and yell why in their face. Honestly, I think that might be my last option. Yeah, if they're related, they won't mind. That might be my 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 uh, might be my last remaining option at this point. <clears throat> God, this is taking forever, but I'm not dying, so it's fine. Uh, did you start the Bee Mount Daily chain a while back? I seem to remember. Yeah, we did a few laps for Honey um, towards the end of a Mount Farm Monday because we I did all the things on my list too quickly, and we got an island. We got an island expedition mount, and I didn't want to keep doing islands that day. Um, yeah, so I have I have started it, but um, I haven't done any extra work on it since, and I probably won't until I end up with all the island mounts. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Need more ads to do more damage, yeah. Ah, that's fine. It's fine. I think these are these are just bombs, yeah. Not things that I can pull, unfortunately. <clears throat> that's alright, you'll get there eventually. Um Brian's like six hours of flying circles around storm song after the seven days of dailies. Wait, so I've done I've did the bee. I got the pet. I've done the pet and now I'm on the mount for yeah, of just like flying circles. Um but we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll just take a bit of time. It is, I think, on my on the first page, amounts to farm though, so that's fun. So cool, she's a pro, guys. I am not a pro. Absolutely not a pro. We're having a nice dinner from a local Thai place of Valentine's dinner, one might say. Ah, oh, that's awesome, dude. That's awesome. Damn that dude got some HP. Yeah, he's got 160 something K. Um, but it's more that I'm like it's a it's a 52 plus elite mob and I'm only level 54 like I'm not a level 60 if I was here on a 60 it probably would have been dead a long time ago but that's okay I'm I don't have a level 60 alliance tune so oh well oh well still haven't gotten the risen mare uh, only done islands two times since 92 or 915 rather yeah look I've done them a few times I've got four mounts left to go I think no yeah no yeah no Maybe three. I don't oh, remember. the alliance. <laughs> when next patch coming? Uh, like eight days or six days or something. Not six days. Fucking eight or nine days. You can also check your launcher for that information because they've been blasting it from the rooftops. Mm. Mm, this cross faction thing is start to hope for maybe using opposite factions. Mounts eventually. Oh, that'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. I mean, the cross faction thing is um, opt in. Because of, uh, like, um, and it's instances only. To avoid fucking with, like, RP and stuff like that. Like, players who actively roleplay. So I don't think you'll you'll find much other... I don't think you're gonna find much other, um, cross-faction stuff. Like, using mounts and armor sets and stuff. I don't think that's gonna happen. Um... It's, it's literally just to make play easier inside instanced areas. Um, yeah, I I mean, hey, look, never say never, of course, uh, but I would not hold your breath, especially considering that the cross-faction play is probably not gonna happen in, in for like six months or so anyway. So, yes. Um, you can try to get a puppy pet from the bee things, or you don't really care about it at the moment. Um. I, I like collecting anything and everything, so I probably will eventually, uh, but not, it's not a focus of mine yet, no. Um, not yet. Not yet. Get nine days depending on where you are, swaps courtly, visual, ah, let's see, K3 stuff. Mmm. 
<clears throat> I don't think I've done this world quest before. At least I don't remember doing it. I'm thinking everything all of the time. Most of the time. <clears throat> Most of the time. Just that that's a reference? Oh shit, okay. I did not. Oh, excuse me. I might have to take one of those chair streams after I beat this one. Oh, there's some bonus rep on the map over there, so that'd be nice. Alright, I will... Open and welcome to the internet. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, I will return shortly. BRB! Run away, little girl! Run away! Baby tune da 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 baby tune na 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 Is that for timing? Whoa. I didn't have as well, Bohemian. Alright, cool. Alright. Oh no. Alright, so I can take off a chair stream. for the gifted sub and congratulations Gene Z on your gifted sub my goodness so generous my gosh uh boy red Faden, Thor Seth Jack Neke Seeker and Kludgy congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit oh speaking of bonus shit I have a diamond four badge Collect me some more gold. I've got plenty of gold. And onwards we hop in the hope of maybe getting some people uh, a last minute skin from the event. Um, Panic, Jean, enjoy. 
bonus shit for you, Neke. Enjoy. Ready to go to bed. Have a nice day, everyone. You too. Rest well. Good luck for the mount. Thank you. Thank you. At least a form in the crazy birthday. Oh, thank you for Friday, yeah? Thank you so much, Renzu. Much appreciated. Yeah, it was an awesome day on Friday. Wonderful stream and wonderful weekend full of love and food and presents and yeah, it was great. Really, really awesome. Uh, just I picked uh, level 60 yesterday. Not much left to get from the SR event. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well done. Well done. <clears throat> There's a couple of interesting world quests that I don't think I've done before. <clears throat> Have a great birthday? Thank you. Me too. Me too. It's always nice. Always nice. Bucket in there and then there's some scraps over here. So I'm just looking for handfuls of scrap. <clears throat> he keeps to himself okay. mostly, but he knows when he's in a pinch. You are not ah. prepared. Hello, back. How are you going? Welcome back. How are you going? How was your stream? How are you doing? How was your day? Tell me all about it. Thank you for the cast of command, Jas. Much appreciated. Baby back up. Totally okay. Not about the numbers. It's about the love. How is your stream? What'd you get up to? In this area. Before it becomes a bigger problem. <clears throat> oh! My goodness. Resub on a 10 month streak. Thank you so much. Thank you for the ongoing support and generosity. Much appreciated. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you. Ugh. Sinuses are so fucking angry. I would like to find a nice place to live in Minecraft. Fair. Fair. Could you like dig yourself a hole to live in? Would that be nice or is that does that not count as nice? Stupendous work. I knew we could count on you to protect us. Really enjoy Minecraft. Oh awesome! You could make it nice. Fair. need to practice the basic shapes. Can you show these little ones how it's done? Your mind work is impressing the children. Look at their little eyes light up. That's super cute. Uh, let's get started playing in the last year. Oh, nice. 1.18 looks fun, needs mo need mods to update. Ah, so I'm guessing this is like a major update that's happened recently. 
Because he was severely struggling, called it early. Time to upgrade? Oof, yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a tough go in at the moment. I'm guessing GPU prices are still fucking ridiculous. Scouts are reporting a new threat in this area. Kill it before it becomes a bigger problem. <clears throat> are you leveling in Stormsong because of the mount? I'm not leveling. Uh, I'm doing world quests because I'm trying to increase my reputation with Storm's Wake. Uh, because they have a mount that you can purchase. Two mounts that you can buy at Exalted Reputation. Not leveling. Uh, leveling accidentally. Um, but not. it's not my intention at the moment. Like, you're still going to get experience and stuff from it, but it's not, um, that's not what I'm seeking out. No, totally fine. Totally fine. Not a problem at all, Gab. Accidental level. Yeah, I'm at 54 now. Um, I have not intended to level this tune at all, and it's at 54, so that's... That's fun. Your favourite mounts are expensive? Yeah, because of how rare they are. Makes sense. Very, very rare. Um, not a baby tune yet. <clears throat> Did they are expensive? Mm. Uh, what are they going for at the moment? Uh, the Golden Mains Reigns is going for just over half a million on uh, on this server's auction house. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. I'm remembering. No, okay, apparently not. Oops. <clears throat> I know that bit's right. And I can't cut, can I cut, I can't cut straight through there, can I? No, it's a wall. So I'm supposed to go through here. Ah, uh, and then you come down here and then go through like that. Okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. It's been a while. <laughs> and these mazes aren't exactly the best uh, representation. Like, you can't always see exactly where you can go, uh, which is a little bit of an issue. They've done the best they can with the UI they've got, but um, it's not always perfect. Have I done the wrong thing? I think I have. I have. God damn it. I wasn't paying attention. Hey. been stabbed in the back by more races than you even know existed. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> oh no. And having the two so close together trips me out. Like I'm not supposed to take them both at this, like take them one after the other. Let me confer um, with my sources. No. Some of the facts which we sucked in. Last time I looked, they were, what is it, since probably at least eight years old now. I held up, okay, oh, that's pretty good. A bit faster with the contract. I'm aware, Nick. 
I'm aware. I know how the game works. Um, <laughs> it's a conscious decision not to use one. Uh, I'm working on more than one reputation at a time, so it's fine. Uh, I already granted all that rep. Please make it cheaper, right? Misty two no longer, baby. Uh, still complete going up. Uh, ah, right. Okay, my bad. Oh well. Um, everything is on cooldown. Funny that. Funny that. Oh well, don't, doesn't matter. I've done it now. It literally does not matter. Hey, your street. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. So many hydrates. I think what I'll do is finish off my Pepsi. <sighs> um, how goes Mount Hunt? Yeah, not too bad, Zen. Not too bad. We did our 50 attempts for the Heartbreaker. Uh, no joy there. Um, but now I'm working on reputations on Alliance side to try to purchase a couple of uh, purchase a couple of exalted mounts. But I'm still a little way away from exalted. But I'll be there soon. It'll just take me a little bit longer. <laughs> Everything is on cooldown. An illusion. What are you hiding? Almost everything. doing all the little quests zone by zone. I'm surprisingly enjoying it doing quests I haven't in years. It is good fun, isn't it? I mean, obviously not to everyone, but I, I do quite enjoy that as well. Uh, at some point, I'm probably going to have to go through all of the low-level zones in ATT and do all the quest chains that lead to transmog I never picked up, uh, just to cross them off the list, you know, bump up that completion percentage. Wiggles eyebrows. Uh, yeah, it'll be good fun. <clears throat> Sounds like you need an ATZ sheet? No. No, I'll just ignore the capital cities and I'll be fine. Everything else I need is in ATT. ATZT, yeah? <laughs> nah, that'll be fine. I do have to take at least one character through um, Threads of Fate to get some quests ticked off. What the fuck just happened there? Um, to get some quests ticked off in Dart of Razeroth. My most common not completed quest is uh, choosing his own to go to for Threads of Fate. Funnily enough. Ah, uh, pet with the artifacts. Ah, okay. Face of fear. If it comes down to you doing zone things, there will be a sheet. Um, honestly, I don't think there will be because it, it doesn't, it's not so much like a tracking, like, where's going to be, where am I going to get the most benefit from and stuff like that. There aren't as many missing. Like, if I open this up, right, and it takes seven years to do so, um, if I go to outdoor zones, right, like, there's not much. There's only, like, one or two things here and there. Um, so, 
yeah, I could probably go through and just cross off zone after zone after zone after zone. And then jump to the next tune and cross off zone after zone after zone. Like, you know, it's, yeah. There are a couple of rares. Like, there's one on Blood Mist Isle that is, um, like a three or four hour respawn timer or something like that. So that kind of shit's gonna be a pain in the ass. And it's got, like, multiple spawn points. Of course. And its drop isn't guaranteed. Of course. Uh, but yeah. Probably you may need to take threads multiple times. Noted. Noted. Well, I've got 50 tunes, so I should be right. It'll be fine. I'll take threads on one tune, complete the quest, and then log out, update DFA, and see what it says. <laughs> It'll be fine. A lot of my incomplete quests are Alliance. Like, a lot of them. So that's uh, understandable. Uh, I can place a word zone with almost any other word for that sentence. <laughs> uh, once you go into a space, you run an amount with low-level quests on, keeping an eye out on your zone completion. No sheet needed, IMO, but each their own. Um, well, that's the thing. I'm not looking to complete every zone, every quest in a zone. I'm just looking to complete the specific quest chains that have a transmog that I have not picked up yet. A dangerous foe so it's um. Take care of it. Yes. What is what? Ah, uh, right, it's in the good. Alliance main mage. No joke. This shit just realized you can zoom in so close feels like you're playing first person. Oh yeah, you can zoom the camera straight into your character's head. Yep. Mm, actually, a first person. Yeah, has this never occurred to me in all these years of playing? <laughs> there you go. Learn something new every day. <clears throat> well struck, Inquisitor. They'll think twice about returning. No, that was a shared appearance. Or anyone panics. Shared appearance. Eh, that's someone who plays that thing where you pretend to be the character. Yeah. It's okay. She loved from Lord of the Rings. I'd love to see a current day raid team. I'm completely zoomed in mode. Yeah, run run raids in first person. Yeah, nah, fuck that. Absolutely not. Uh, Roleplay, yes. What's the name of that damage mod? Oh, you mean the thing that's going around the character? Because I don't have I don't have damage meters or anything like that. Um, that's mix scrolling battle text MSBT. I'm only first person. Wow, field of view is terrible. It is, yeah. People have done that in VR. Ugh, God, it makes me so sick. I'm gonna see people too on top of them. I've just learned. Yeah. Yup. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, there's a tree there! I can't see the tree. Good. The curse is lifted. The heart fame commands! We'll send on Discord. Fantastic. Brilliant. Uh, I 
will say playing on TBCC, playing on retail is jarring. Camera was so close, like half the length of retail. There was a script command to yank it backwards. Um, and then they removed the script command. You could you could get it you could get so far back that your character was about the size of that orb on your screen. That's how that's how far back you could zoom with the script command. Uh, and then they disabled that script command, but at the same time extended the max zoom range that came native, but not all the way to that level. So we all got pulled back in again, but not by as much as we would have had they not adjusted the zoom thing. That was uh, a few expansions back, like quite a few. Might have been Catter or Mop or something. Just less than a minute and got the shits. Yeah, you can't see shit. You can't see anything. Lunar command was removed in BFA. That recently? Huh, okay. Yeah, dis it was disabled. Like, that recently? I thought it was further back than that. I could be wrong, absolutely. Um, but yeah. Interesting, there you go. Thank you. these quests today where it takes like a hell of a lot of effort to fill that bar. Thank you. Kind of feels like unusual. Mm, that's what we're talking about. Let's get back in 2019. Yep. Yep. The heart of Azeroth is stronger now thanks to you. We're one step closer to curing Azeroth of her wounds. See, Stone Golem's not on this list, so I'm thinking that's one that I'm I, I'm incapable of doing, but I feel like I might have dinged since last time I tried it, so I'm sort of tempted to try it again. Hmm. One still works. TMX max retail. Does the command work in TBCC or does it work in retail? Scouts have reported a dangerous enemy is lurking nearby. Take it out. Obviously safe chest, good. <gasps> Fluffy Spooda! That would have terrified the shit out of my father. He would have run yelling from the room. It's Rita. Ah! What time is it where you just wondering about the time difference? Uh, it's 8.25pm. I'm in Brisbane, Australia. We operate on AEST, which is Australian Eastern Standard Time. Change to MPFA. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Cool. <clears throat> the people of Drustvar are grateful for your help. Oh, trait. Oops. <clears throat> there are resources here that would be of benefit to the Order. Take control of the area and secure them for us.
punch that hive as well. Um, here we go. I'm getting there. I was wrong. Zoom nerf was end of Legion. Ah, oh, it's close enough to BFA. End of Legion, start of BFA. Same difference, right? Close enough. Buzz, buzz. Should finish me off. We will put these resources to good use. Go. Okay. Well done. There's a pet battle up the hill that I need to finish, and then I'll be done in this little area, and I can swing south. So. Thank you. How are you? Good one. So, should I try the world quest that I have blacklisted, or should I not? <laughs> Maybe I should swing by and see what his health is at. I seem to remember being able to zoom out way further than what it shows in classic TPC. Oh yeah, we could. We we could zoom like way the fuck out. Um, but maybe classic and TPCC, maybe they've fixed it in that because they didn't want people doing it. Get a shot, do it. Okay, okay. If he's got like half a million health or something though, absolutely not. It's Frisbee. He's got Frisbee, Bumblebee, and Busy Bee. Boys do it. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Let's go have a squiz. Let's at least see what his health is at. He gained eye level, it was soluble in BFA, and they would later patch geared characters. Yeah, this is not a geared character. Um, it is level 54. So it has some levels on it, but not, um, it's not geared. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just selecting fun things. Fifty-two rare elite elemental. One hundred and thirty-seven k. That should be okay-ish. Let's find out after this. Uh, bees could be a great, terrible idea for a stream playing cards against humanity. We've done it a couple times. It gets a little bit um, yeah. Mature audiences doesn't really cut it. The thing is, you can't really control other people, like. I could restrain myself from playing something, but someone else won't necessarily do the same thing. And if it's on my stream, then it reflects on me and I'm the one who can get banned and stuff, so it's just not worth it. There are online versions of it that could be played, but um, not worth. Hello Sebi, welcome on in. Hope you're having a lovely day. 
Posture check. Uh -huh. Fine. Fine. Yeah, just remove controversial cards. Yeah, it's uh, and then like I mean, you know, half of it. Like, what's the point, sort of thing. Uh, but nah, it's alright. We got plenty of content. <laughs> plenty of content available. Dono, Jack, Thor, Nitro, Seeker, and Koala. Congratulations on your bonus shit. Hmm. Skin chest. If you are missing any skins from the glitched event, now's your time. Uh, make sure you go jump in and place a unit. Because the event's ending very, very, very soon. Very soon. That one, and this one. No, these are is very dark. Love it. Have almost all expansion packs. There was some controversy with the creators, wasn't there? I can't remember exactly, but um, there was some big shit fight with uh, one or more of the creators, I think. But um. Mm. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's give this a try. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to... I'm trying to get up here. So I can see what I'm standing in. Oh, that's right. He made little, little ones, and I couldn't defeat them. They overwhelmed me very quickly. But maybe not if I'm a tank. Doesn't say the beast thing reminded me. You should do this into. Oh no! Of course, of course. Ah, uh, you got your shit sorted. Yeah. For the most part, at least. So he just kind of sheds ads every so often. I thought it was like percentage based, but it doesn't seem to be. Sorry, I seem to be keeping up okay. Hey, you'll leave them alive. We'll target the ads. I mean, yeah. No, I haven't. I, I did it at the start, but then I realized that they were dying too slowly anyway, so I just started attacking him instead. Stone Golem, right? Yeah. About <laughs> 12 hours when you become invincible with Demon Hunter, as long as they're not applying debuff so blades. Noted. Noted. Pull more. 
I will I will attempt to remember that. Whew. God, I'm really starting to get tired, hey. I'm hitting a wall. It's awesome. I've only been up for like just over 13 hours, just under 13 hours, and I'm I'm starting to hit a wall. Um, but that's better than before. Before I would be hitting walls constantly all day, so look. I'm getting there. Maybe I need to grab that ice pack for my face again. Maybe that actually helped me sleep. I have face masks that when you open them up, it like the exposure to the air starts a chemical reaction that heats them up to like 40 degrees Celsius. 40 degrees is not that much higher than body temperature, um, but it's warm enough and it's, it's an eye mask. It hooks around your ears and it heats. Uh, the idea is that the heat is supposed to relax the muscles around your eyes. Um, and help relieve things like tension headaches and stuff like that, which is really cool. And they does it; they do work. They're so lovely, and they have a bunch of different scents as well, so they smell really good. Uh, the ones I've got, I think, are rose scented. Um, but I feel like maybe a cold pack over my eyes actually really helped last night. So uh, might have to give it another try tonight and see if it helps again, because it was uh, it was good. I need a few, like, really good nights of sleep well to try done. to catch up. The people of Bar are safe hey, complete! We have another pet battle quest. Interesting. Actually, do you have Spirit Bomb talented? No. Spirit Bomb is here. I do not. Oh, I love those. I think I actually picked some up after you talk about them in your panning videos on YouTube. Yes. Yeah. They're, they're lovely. I've still got a handful of them up in my cupboard. Haven't used them for a while. But, um... Yeah, it's it's been a bit warm lately to use heated things at night. But, um... Cold pack, though? Like a wheat pack? Like one of the little slimline wheat packs over my eyes from out of the freezer? What can I do for you? It was really nice. It's really nice. If he says butt, I want to have butts for some reason, go for it. Double butts! Sleep better with voices talking right now in rotation. I'm putting the same Animal Crossing challenges playlist every night as long as me lol, giving myself Pavlov effect. The guy's stream started to feel tired from his voice. Yeah. Um, I have been playing um, Total Drama Island still on repeat, uh, right the way through like all the different seasons, because they're all on Netflix now, right through Redonkulous Race and everything. Uh, and then when it runs out, I start again. It's nice. It's nice. Do you have a hardcore character? No. No, my account is full. I have 50 level 50 characters and none of them are hardcore. Uh, I know a few people in the hardcore classic community, uh, particularly Elenya. Uh, she's wonderful and awesome and lovely, but hardcore is not a game mode for me. I concentrate entirely too much on chat and uh, make too many missteps and fuck up too much uh, to ever play hardcore stuff. Just not for me. Uh, kind of single target build, you still have leech, so pull more. Okay, gotcha. Understood. Go <laughs> through changes of what I put on at night last month. It was a guy who makes funky D and D style builds of the game buildings. Case of art restoration videos, nice. Hey, as long as it works, right? That's all that matters. I stream you when it comes to voices when I find one, they're like, I latch onto them hard. Fair. Fair. I just played the same thing over and over and over again. Because if it works, it works. Ah, oh dear. So I just got a marked four as battle stone, so I'm going to use that. Uh, this one. No, 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 no. That's a bit silly. Rarity. Poor. 
because it's most increase of points if I use it on a poor one. Go! Wonderful. All right. Uh, one more world quest. One more left. And then after this one, uh, is there anyone around who can activate Valfir for us on Night Fae? Uh, because <laughs> that's the next one on my list is an attempt for that mount on my Night Fae tune. Um, you think that's me, she was doing these building sounds fun. It's like it's real funny, dude. You can, Kate? Oh, amazing. Amazing. I'll let you know when I'm switching, yeah? I've got this one last world quest to go and then I'll, and then I'll hop on over. So, uh, if anyone else is keen to get an attempt in on Valfir, um, you're more than welcome to join us. Sick. Unfortunately, I think that's sick. Oh no, Seeker. I hope you feel better real soon. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good rest. Indeed, everyone have happy restful sleeps? Absolutely. Awesome. I've somehow accidentally bulled crabs. Wonderful. Right, what am I? Spanner? God damn it. Should shift all the store things? It's the best. It's the best. Cheap shit is awesome. Another one. Have been routed, and our workers can return. Thank you Done. All right, let's zoom back to the garrison, and then I'm going to switch over to the druid. Prepare for Valfia. Oh, I am getting sleepy. Esters. <laughs> Sphere tide. Oh lord, yes. Let's go back, back into that. See, they are awesome, Jason. Congrats to your mother.
this one. Heart of the Forest. Um, Jeffrey's gone. Jeffrey only dropped them out if you're Night Fae. Um, I don't think, I'm not sure. Everything, all that, we had this discussion last week, uh, and everything says Night Fae only. You do need to have a Night Fae tune to be able to break the shield on Valfir to make him, like, even decently easily killable. Um, you need to have the anima conductor up to a certain point. However, um, there are, there is some anecdotal evidence here and there that people who are not Night Fae were getting it to drop. However, that seemed to only be for people who have been Night Fae at some point in the past. Like it's, um, uh, uh like, you know, you, you've, you've got Night Fae and then you've switched to Necrolord or something, but you still, like, you're still flagged as having access to Night Fae. Um, and so it's dropped. So yeah, it's, uh, yeah, we don't think so. And none of my tunes, uh, they've all just got the one covenant. They haven't switched or anything. So yes. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Hello. Last time we had to wait a few minutes for Valfia to spawn, so. <laughs> oh, hi. There he is. <clears throat> um, I'm in Guardian form. No, I'm not. I'm in Resto. One moment, please. I don't have any add-ons, which is everything looks funny. That's okay. I only have to do this one attempt on it anyway, so it's fine. one attempt on Valfir and that was last week so this will be interesting. We'll see how many we can get to before it drops. Can I his invite? Ah! Oh, shit, I'm so sorry. I was concentrating on not dying. I'm so sorry. What's that? Oh, Amina. Okay, back we go. She's necro for but Oh, okay. Next week, Jack. <laughs> Next week. Alright, on to fear. We're gonna do a trip to Melbog. And see how that goes. Thank you so much for that, Kay. I really appreciate you taking some time out to, to do the thingamajig for me. Very generous of you. Yay. Yay. Can't wait to do him next Monday too, right? Aw. Yay. That's really kind of you. Oh, dearie me. I am so zonked. I need to somehow catch up on sleep before next Monday. Because next Monday is going to be a shit fight. Absolute shit fight. Uh 
Uh oh. What just happened? Oh no. Things came unstuck. That's fine. We'll just leave them for now. Hmm. Perhaps the mum visit excitement will get you through. Yeah, but perhaps the, the mum intentionally asking me to book places as of alcohol will exhaust me. Oh, <laughs> uh, look. Maybe. It might it might balance out. It might balance out. Poor chair. Yeah, I was like, what the hell just happened? Um I think it's the I think the the heart fell off this one again. Um, but then the, like, the strings sort of shifted and stuff and made a noise as well. The lights, I think the batteries are getting low because, like, if I leave them off overnight, they turn on really bright. But, um, yeah, I think they need new batteries. <laughs> it is entirely possible. It is. It is. Oh, I'm going to get fear wasted to chill her out. No. No. I don't really do wasted. I don't like the feeling of wasted. It's, um, like, each their own. No judgment. But, um, oh, I just, I feel sick on the best of days. I don't want to feel even more sick. I could drink or two over dinner, sure. But, like, I'm not going to sit there throwing back cocktails. <laughs> it's just not the kind of person I am. And that's, yeah. Drink is hope you get some good rest. Yeah, maybe. Um, I think it's definitely, there's that, um, like, that sweet spot where, like, if you have some alcohol, you get kind of sleepy. And then if you have too much your body just kind of, well, you can't, like, you're really restless and stuff and you can't sleep, at least for me. Um, but, yeah, it's a, it's a time. All right, so let us double check if speaky person will give us path. No, okay, that's fine. Let's, um, let's do this. We'll remove this waypoint. Wait, four? Why is... There we go. I haven't quite done it enough times to memorize the uh, pathing just yet, but that's okay. That's what I have my my tom tom for. My waypoints macro. Okay, so I can remember some noise and my commander negates them. That's handy. Oh, the waypoints. Yeah, I've got a macro that puts them in backwards. Um, so you can chase them even when you don't have the, the guide thing. Because Malbog will still spawn every single day. Um, it's just a matter of whether it's easy mode or hard mode. Um, so yeah, this, this particular macro puts them in backwards so that um, the first one loads up for you first, which is really nice. You just gotta gotta follow it kind of precisely to make sure that it doesn't kick you off. I got a lovely charm. That's funny. I'm like, what am I in combat with? This one. So cool. Yeah, it's kind of funky.
12 attempts, no Malbog. Uh, which Covenant Assault is up at the moment? Why Venthyr? Okay. Cool. Let's go attempt us a Harvester's Dreadwing. Covenant Assaults. I mean, yeah, I could just have to sinful. That's probably the easiest way. Check my dealers and find me some more charms. Yes. <laughs> Has the deaths of Grimmy Throne been working for you? Or have you been using a different method? This has been working right. Treat! Yay! Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad to hear it. No assaults active. My ass! Uh, I got that drop yesterday. Oh, the Harvester's Dreadwing. Well done, Street. Congratulations. Why poor fear? Oh, fantastic! Fan fucking tastic. What's it under? ATT zone. Shadowlands. The Mao. Covenant assaults. And then we've got achievements and we've got Venthyr assault. Necrolord, complete the achievements. Night Fate, Venthyr. Oh, they might be up today. I might actually get an achievement. Uh, okay, let's report to Prince Renathal. The master must be stopped. Lady Moonberry, might you kindly I cover our advances to the fortress? We must put a I've got one down now. from here. No one can see us yeah, I'm gonna get the achieve. I don't do Covenant Assaults very often, can you tell? One of the side effects of um, not having a whole lot of time to play outside a stream. People think it's like, oh my god, you have so much time to play, and it's like, no, I do not. <laughs> no, I do not. Trying to get a headache between the behind this eye as well, so maybe the ice pack is probably a really good idea for tonight. Go. Click the exit button. What exit button? Oh, this one. Okay, good. Oh wow! Look, I've got this whole bit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's uh, shrink this a little bitty. one to shrink an enemy. Remember is one to enlarge more rats. Oh, it's got a cooldown. Oh, and then slay shrunken enemies. Okay. I have to wait a while for this. This is not nice. <laughs> Get 
10 second cooldown on something you need to use on 15 enemies. <gasps> Chaotic runes dropped. It's the last one I need for that achievement, I think. Hey. Anything about your butt so tough? Okay, good. Does we have time? No. No, I do not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That sounds messy, Jess. Careful. I mean, careful not doing anything bad. 35 years and have three perks already. Oh, wow. That, that seems quick. Is that quick? That seems quick. We did a win. Who got a skin? It's quite quick. Congratulations to Koala, K, Bowie, Martin, Red, and Kludgy on all of your bonus shit. I hope you all got skins if you needed them. Onwards we go. Just checking I'm not dying. Good. <laughs> Okay, uh, this one. I've got to kill three more shrunken enemies. Waiting for the cooldown on that thing is like upsetting. My last shrunken enemy. Go. Um, so I need three more more swan weapons. So I need to kill things more anyway, but I don't have to wait to shrink them first, which is nice. <clears throat> no skin for you. Oh bugger! I have a single skin for you. Greatest womanizer in Germany. Oh dear. Oh dear.
one more weapon. <clears throat> Go! Now onto the ghastly crowns. Which I need from ghastly will breakers. My wife absolutely detests me though. That does not surprise me. There's a ghastly wheel breaker. No ghastly crown. Perfect, there's all my eyes, so now I just need the ghastly wheel breakers. Which are apparently all up here, like as a concentrated group of NPCs. Yep, there we go. Bunch of them up here, good. Oh, that one's been tagged. Uh bugger. <laughs> They're all dead. They're all dead. That's not helpful. <clears throat> uh, how many years have you played? Wow, 15. What expansion did you start playing in? Um, the start of Burning Crusade. Very, very start of Burning Crusade when it launched. Um, what are your achievement points? Uh, 32,605. Not too bad. Not great, but not too bad either. Again, the Summonizer in Germany. <laughs> Good choice, Sam. Well done. Well done. God damn it. Okay, so those ones over there just despawn when you get to killing them. Uh, that's frustrating. So everyone's after the ghastly ones. Because they all did. This one. after all so it's fitting ghastly crowns are bullshit they've been through the solid take forever to spawn they're such an uncommon drop yeah i'm not feeling too happy about it that is for certain i still need two more That went really well. Uh oh. Uh oh. to go. I 
They seem to spawn fairly quickly up over ne like next to the entrance here, but they also despawn when they die rather than dying and dropping loot because they're part of the like endless spawn thing. I wonder if this one will work because that's just sitting there. Okay, that one actually drops. Well, didn't drop what I needed, but that's fine. It really sucks that these ones don't, like, I mean, they're glowing and everything. And then they just kind of poof into nothingness. Fuck you. Hey. One. One more to go. Still one to go. There's one up there. <laughs> Still yet another. Do not you kill it before I fucking tag it. There we go. My blinks are on cooldown. God damn it. Last one. Turn in Wrath of the Party Herald. I f like, oh. Man, I fucking love being a Venthyr. I just, I just love it so much. It's good. Oh, our potential savior of the Shadowlands. Achievement alive. complete. All tight. With the power of Revendreth and Ardenweald united, even the most dreaded of the Jailer's Beasts will fall with ease. However, I did not expect it to be quite so large! <laughs> now it's easier to hit! Oh my god, Moonberry, you're amazing. Just the whole thing makes me happy. Shadowlands give us some very amazing characters. Oh, I love Shadowlands. Say what you will. I, I love it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I'm really enjoying Shadowlands. I know not everyone is, but I don't really care. I, I love it a lot. Um, you are not one of us. And decide to bring Denathrius back. Yeah, it'll be interesting, that's for sure.
bum bum ba dum bum. <clears throat> I'm sure my student is gonna hate for it, and again, people hate on every single expansion pack just because it's cool to do. So quite a bit of hate for Legion 2 and it's one of the best. Yeah, look, it's, um, it, I think it really heavily depends on what you enjoy doing. A lot of the hate comes from the, like, a lot of the hate will come from very specific parts of the community who like to just raid or they like to just Mythic Plus. And so their entire, like the entire lens through which they view the expansion is raiding. That's it. Um, if the, you know, it, it doesn't matter to them if there are 700 million collectibles to get because they don't fucking care. It is a content drought to them because there is no content that they want to do. That's the thing. It, there is content. There is app. There had there like I would ha I would actually probably say that there has never been an actual content drought in World of Warcraft. There has always been a fuckload of things to do every single patch. It's just that not all of it is going to tick everybody's box. Like, if all you want to do is raid, then yeah, you're going to get bored after a couple months, no matter what they do. <laughs> like, they're not going to make a raid tier that drags out to six months worth of content because then people say they get burnt out on the raid. Like, <laughs> there's there's no there's no way to to do the thing. Hello, TTK. How are you going? Uh, a lot of haters recently bias on endgame systems. Yeah, people fucking hated visions when they were current content. Now people are saying they weren't that bad. <laughs> yeah. uh, some kind of content drought though, just because someone doesn't want to do something. No, I know, but to them, they don't even see the collectibles as part of the game because it's not part of their game. Do you, do you get what I mean? And I mean, like, there is there is no justification for being hateful towards the employees and stuff like that um, in terms of that kind of shit, but. Yeah, it's um it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. Um if I've done all of this, can I still go down to Fangcrack and get that achievement? <clears throat> Cuz there's an achievement for using things that come out of the that he pulls out of the thingy. that. I think... did that? Yes, yeah, it's 4 out of 10. Cool. I'm gonna hang out here and get an achievement. Um... I like Mount Collect because you kind of get to do everything to get mounts, including Raiders and Dungeons. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes, I mean, you can definitely do them as current content as well, but some people choose not to. Some people choose to wait an expansion or two until they can solo it themselves, and that's okay. Uh, that's totally fine. Uh, to each their own... Uh, but yeah, no, it's, I, I love mount farming. It's a lot of fun to me, but I understand that it's not fun for everyone. And that's okay. Uh, even if you get 80 dart, there's always PvP. Oh god, there will always be something I don't have. Always. You are absolutely correct. Okay, that was not an item that got tossed out. That's fine, I'll just keep waiting. Um, uh, just like when people call is garbage writing because they don't agree with the direction it's going. There are, there have been some arguments for, like, um, the, the big argument that I heard was Sylvanas going, like, Bond levels, of, like, James Bond levels of villainy, just ridiculous villainy, um, and I, I understand that, but, um, yeah, there is a, there is a fair bit of, I don't like where this is going, um, so I think it's bad writing, or they're just relying on tropes, or, you know, they're, they're being lazy because we're just trekking back and, or we're changing stuff, like the whole retcon argument, how we're changing stuff that happened before to fit the story that they've written now, which is not always true. Retconning does not involve revealing information that was unknown prior. Um, that's a big thing that I think is is the fact of the matter, is that we didn't know what happened back then. So it's not retconning, it's they're telling us information we didn't have prior. They're not changing it, they're just revealing it. But um, that's just my opinion. 
Um, but yeah, there's there's a whole lot of stuff that um, people get upset about, and that's okay. You know, it's their right to be upset. It's their right to no longer play the game, um, and they can stop playing for whatever the reason that they so desire. That's one hundred percent okay. Um, just as long as like people, the the two things that piss me off are people directing hate towards the developers for for stuff like for, like you know gameplay or direction of writing and stuff like that. There's no like. They're pouring their heart and souls into this. Whether or not you enjoy it doesn't matter. They don't deserve death threats. Um, or directing hate towards people who are still enjoying it. Like, oh, you're playing a dead game. Why the fuck are you still doing that? You're an idiot. No, I'm just having fun. Just because you're not, that's okay. I'm still allowed to have fun. Uh, those are the two big things that kind of upset me a bit. Um, yeah, as long as you're enjoying yourself, it shouldn't matter what other people are saying. And if you're moving on, that's okay. It shouldn't matter what other people are playing, unless it's the people who you want to play with. Um, then, you know, the group of you will need to come to terms with, or come to an agreement on what you're going to play together. Um, let me try to scroll up, because my chat keeps getting broken again. Um, I like Nazar's Daydreams. It was hard enough to be doable by me, but rewarding when I did them. Of course. Of course. Oh, here we go. We've got a couple of phylacteries that I can... The smoosh. I'm at 8 of 10. Uh, meanwhile in EU, mailbox is broken once it- Mailbox is broken? I, f I heard of that, was that a few weeks ago that- How did that- What is even- What even is that? How does that break on EU but not on US? Like, what? What? Uh, don't yuck someone else's yum. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, what I would like is more frequent raids with maybe two raids a tier, but that's just because I want to raid more. Yeah, the issue is, though, like, if you have that many, there's the casual level of raiders who aren't going to be able to do all the content. There's there's this sweet spot that Blizzard have tried to find, and hey, whether or not they've succeeded is a, is a totally different question. Um, but the question is, like, you've got to find this sweet spot so that the vast majority of players can knock it over within the time period but not so much time after the mythic raiders have finished knocking it over that they don't want to come back anymore you got to make sure that there's only like a few months to kind of keep them interested but also you have to give it enough time so that the casuals can get their aotc like do you know what i mean it's there's that there's that careful balance because if you're releasing a new raid every three months the, the casual players are never going to finish a raid. They're going to get exhausted and disappointed with it all. And they just, they'll stop playing. And there goes, like, you know, 80% of your fucking player base. <laughs> okay, maybe not 80%, but you know what I mean. It's a large figure. Uh, so, Harvester's War Chest. No mount for fear. No, I'm kidding. Uh, that's fine. It's fine. Whatever. I don't care. I do care. I don't care. Um... Cool, so that's all I can do here. Let's check that off. Tormentors isn't going to happen until 10, right? Or is that... No, it'd be, it'd be 9. I've just missed it. It won't happen again until 11. Um, let me take a very careful look at Wowhead's page. Uh, Fangcrack, yeah. I do agree that Blizzard kind of just needs to go back to the old days where they're giving us two or three super short raids. Yeah, the dragon raids. The dragon raids that have one, maybe two bosses right like at the end of a tier to give people something to do for funsies um with some really silly weird mechanic that's kind of that's really fun and allows you to just kind of go nuts and then yeah that would be good excuse me yeah the next one's not till 11 so we're not going to do tormentors tonight that's too late uh harika let's go hearth Uh, biggest grump with Shadowlands is I hate crafting. Lego system just turned me off, which blocks me from my fave mode M+, because I don't want to spend that much slash all craft. Uh, that said, I finally fired the WASA back up since there are a lot of streamers. I like still grinding and I'm just going through the story. Awesome! Yeah, look, um, there, there needs to be a way for them to make all the different game systems important. Um, and crafting legendaries means that professions actually have value. Again, it is very, very easy to just grind up the gold instead and buy one off the auction house. Um, like, that's what I did. But, um, especially given, like, callings give you a couple of K and all that kind of... Like, it's it's very quick to grind up that kind of money. Um, but, yeah, it also depends on your server and stuff. Uh, where am I going? 
Uh, I'm just gonna, like... What's that, Banewood? Um, hello, Vic. I'm a little bit behind on chat. I know, I know you said sorry. You said hello a little while ago. I do apologize. Uh, but welcome on in. I hope you're having a lovely day. Right, um, Legendary's like 50k now. Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. The top tier hundred my guild to stop playing or PvP guild on an RP realm. There you go. That is, that is an interesting combo. I don't think I've actually met anyone from a PvP RP guild before. Hello. Lovely to meet you. I will forever hate on the personal people that decided to make Love Rocket 0.03 chance drop though. Just without the death threats. Is it actually, is that the percentage? No, it's not. It's not 0 0.03. It's 0 0.0003 recurring. 0030030000. No, sorry. 0003000003000003, etc. etc. Um, so it's, yeah, much, much smaller than what you said there. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, that's, um, that's ah, fine. 1,200 attempts, it's nothing, it's fine. It's fine. Ah, it's been happening every weekend for the last month. Mailboxes just flat out don't show the mail you have. I don't know, I'm also on EU and my mail works fine. That might in that might point towards um, add-ons and stuff then. If one place is working fine and another isn't. Ah, uh, wait, so do you care or not? Uh, I don't think Crucible of Storm's oh. the least rated tier ever in WoW, yeah. No one even bothered to do Crucible. It was a bit ridiculous. The dragon raids were good fun, though. I think the problem with Crucible was it was a two done a two boss raid, but it was also like fucking complicated. Not not like not interesting mechanics, just fucking complicated. And it was too hard, and the the rewards that it gave were just too <laughs> that no one bothered, because um, it was just too difficult. Like LFRs would collapse on the first boss. Um, yeah, I think I think that might have been part of the problem. Just the sheer difficulty of it for casuals. I'm a nation weekends now, I'm on Ravencrest. Oh, interesting. Maybe we make up a dungeons. I really like Tazavesh. Tazavesh was good fun. I just realized I don't have a garrison hostile on the Seaman Hunter. I guess I'm doing that after the Lita dailies. Yep. Hey Adaz. Uh Emerald Dream is PvP RP. Well, they don't have PvP realms anymore. So it might be an RP realm still though. Uh, Blizz do do short raids, Trail of Valor, Crucible Storms, and BFA. Yeah, plus also all of the dragon raids. Um, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, if Crucible was the least raided raid in the history of WoW, that's probably, we, we may, we don't know, we may get one in Shadowlands. We might get something interesting towards the end. We just don't know. But, um, if they're going to go by Crucible to indicate whether or not they should, the answer's probably going to be no. Hmm. That's even worse. Specs Dragon Isles would be a perfect dragon, a uh, perfect expansion pack to bring back the one to two boss dungeon dragon raids. Yeah, but like, I don't think they. I don't think they'd have an entire fucking expansion full of one to two boss raids. Like that just that would honestly suck. Um. Uh. Just a reminder that we don't discuss spoilers or leaks here. Just as a heads up. Um. No, we'll go to fetch about it. So not add on related in this case. Interesting. And I'm guessing there are like you're all reporting it via the bug system in game and you're all posting on the forums and that kind of stuff as well. Mm, I'm gonna get more raids after nine two. Mm. I think they did say it was the last raid. Um But that's whether or not they consider like a, a one boss duvawacky. As a do you know what I mean? Like they might I mean, hey, they're human. They're allowed to change their minds. Um, and if they find a one or two thing that fits and it gives them enough of a delay to polish the next expansion, why not, you know? Why not? It just depends on how much effort they have to put into it, of course. I'm not sure how much goes into even a one or two boss, uh, uh, one or two boss raid. I'm sure it's a lot. Like, I'm sure it's a lot, a lot. Um, I'm not a developer. I'm not involved in games at all beyond content creation. Um, but hey, never say never. <laughs> never say never. Um, uh, Rep Pally is at 235 currently. Easier to upgrade in 9.2. I'm lazy and have done enough of Torghast for now. Uh, what's your favorite class? Mage. 
Uh, report to the foreign post. Repoach to the foreign post and customer support addict. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, make sure that you report in game as well. Uh, like through the the bug report tool. I know you don't get a response like you would with a ticket, but doing it through the in game thing sends them a like a capture of your game as well like your game data at the same time. So if like when you post on the forums, it's helpful for them to know that there is an issue. But if you're sending a snapshot of your game data, there might be something little in there that tells them something that forum posts can't, that no one, none of us can actually see going wrong. Um, yeah, it's uh, always worth going by both just in case. And I mean, it doesn't take that long either. You can literally just copy the text of your forum post, paste it into the bug report and send it just so they get that screenshot of, uh, of what's going on in your game as well. Um, anything to help them fix it, right? <laughs> anything to help them fix it. Oh, excuse me. Let me excited about 9-2, trying to get mounts in new content. We found absolutely 43 new mounts. That's all I know, 43 new mounts. Um, I'm, just League. I'm just saying, I'm hoping that it's coming soon as an expansion. I'm aware, I'm just putting it out there, just in case your topic of conversation prompts other people to talk about potential leaks or spoilers or whatever. Um, just putting it out there as a public service announcement. Um, make sure to upgrade FV Tempest, not Divine Resonance. Go. Go. Yeah, I'm, I'm super keen about getting my hands on new mounts as well, trying to cross off as many of them as I can um, before DFA updates their lists. Um, because uh, 43 new mounts. I'm currently at 198 left to collect. So it's going to put me at 241 left to collect, which makes me sad. Because it'll put me up above 200 left. At least I'll be under 250 left to collect. Uh, but yeah. The first time ever I got under 200 to go. And, uh, and then 9-2 is going to happen. So... <laughs> That's right. We'll get there again. It'll just take us a bit of time. Every now and then, something evil lurking in the deep places of the world. Back and forth submitted in game two. Awesome, Exo. And I'm I'm sorry for banging on about it. I'm just super super passionate about helping them as much as we can to fix the game we love because it's not fun for anyone when shit breaks, especially for them. <laughs> so because they have to take the brunt of all the complaints and stuff. So if we can help them fix it. By golly, I'm gonna try. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, currently I only have 388 and they're adding 43. That's mad. Yup. They are adding 43. Um, uh, at least half of those mounts seem to be pretty easy too. Can't simmer without spoilers. Yes, thank you for restraining yourself. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm... I'm looking for... Look, we've got, we've got launch day. We're gonna be streaming from, from the new zone. Of course. Uh, and then that's Wednesday, and then Friday, and then Saturday, that Saturday is um, a 12 hour stream. So a six year anniversary celebration stream uh, for, for my Twitch channel. So we are gonna be spending a fair bit of that time uh, in the new zone uh, and then in Mythic Plus, because why not get a head start? You know, why not get, get used to everything? Um. High Mountain, how are we looking? I think I need to take another share stream. Um, to be honest, I find it strange it happens so often when it's been fine before. Yeah, it is a little bit interesting. I wonder if like there's something that's very tentatively balanced that's keeping it unbroken, and then every time they tweak something, it knocks that paddle pop stick off the off the thing it's balanced. Or, do you know what I mean? Like, there's got to it's got to be tied into something else, especially considering it only breaks on the weekends. That's weird. That is very fucking weird. Very fucking weird. Uh, have you ever received death threats in whispers just for having a mount someone else doesn't have? Uh, not around mounts, no. Not around mounts. Managed to get up to 141. Oh, well done, Street. Congratulations. You're powering along, I told you. Like, if you've got a number that you think is low, it's fine. It just means you've still got a shitload of really easy ones to go grab. Koala, Neke, Thor, Zam, Fade, Bue, and Z. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. One last 
battle. One last battle. Uh, hello, Pickle. I'm going well. How are you? Got to upgrade all my anima conductors now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, all right. I'm going to take a very short uh, chest stream. I will... Uh, I will return briefly. BRB. Run away, little girl. Run away. Seems so much to do in the palette. I missed playing it oh, all. There you go. Um, alright. You need something? Yeah, I need to kill some ends. <laughs> Come back, thank you, Venti. Much appreciated. Alrighty. Uh there is a dungeon well quest, so let's sneak in there and do that. Oh, the hype dingo. Hello. I hope you're doing wonderfully well. Uh, make sure to get your uh, units placed in the Stream Raiders battle as I may need to press go on that a little bit early. Um, just because I'm mostly broken. Uh, <laughs> and may need to get some rest. Hmm. 
Okay, so... We got a legion. This is... Neltharian's lair. Is Nelf's lair done? Oh, it is. Okay, that's fine then, it doesn't matter. Good. Got a normal. Make it nice and easy. Uh, an expansion could be a bed dragons. Don't know, it hasn't been announced yet. Dogrel commits atrocities against even the wild Hurry, friends. Polluting our rivers with turtles kills more of our allies. By his crystalline My father's ancient lair. Find the source of there is still power. power. Has not been announced yet. Usually it would be announced sometime soonish. Like over the next few months. Uh, but we will see. Uh, I gotta wait. Hurry up and wait. These drug bar have been tapping in. Hey Day, hope you had a good weekend. Make a bloody snatch today. Thank you. To do with the Thank you. Yeah, my weekend's been awesome. Um, it was my birthday on Friday. Um, so I've like the whole weekend has just been like Navarak. sleep and food and you would lead it's been nice. Um <laughs> and then yeah, today was pretty productive. I managed to catch up a fair bit on all the stuff I didn't do over the weekend, so that was good. Uh, but yeah, overall not too bad. Yeah, for dinner, weren't you? Yes! Yeah, went out for dinner on Saturday, which was really good. Really, really tasty. Um, yeah, now I'm just waiting for this weekend when my mum's coming to visit. Very excited. Very excited. Anything you would like to see coming or changed in the next expansion? That's a really good question. Uh, I'm not too sure, honestly. I will find my own path and rejoin you on the other side. How do I? The Under King uses slaves to dig at the bones of my father. He does not know the power. Underwater cave. Some under the water between the two smaller falls. Underwater between the two smaller falls. What? Altenok is located in a small underwater cave. After yeah, falling down the waterfall yeah, following Rockmora. Please. You've already taken Swimmed under the water between the- okay, so like down Search here. Everywhere. These okay. peasants have been hiding rations from the army. If you're not fighting, you're not eating! There we go. Alright, I see, I see. Cool! Funky. Super secret. Um... I'm honestly not sure. I'm enjoying the game a fair bit as it is, so... Not really. I'm just excited to see what they have planned. Probably not the answer you're looking for, but uh, yeah, sounds lovely. It was, it really was. Our waters are safe to drink again, thanks to you. Yeah, I uh, just, uh, I mean, there are a couple of quality of life things that would be kind of good for collectors, things like um, raid skips in older raids and stuff like that, but uh, like the I don't think there's a justification for spending the man hours to implement that kind of stuff, especially when it could break a whole lot of other shit uh, for a relatively small proportion of the player base. Like it's, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know that it's worth the money for them to do that. Uh, and so I understand if that's the case, but uh, beyond that, no, I'm just excited to see where they take the story, where, where our characters will travel next and, and what kind of, characters we will encounter and, and stories we'll help to tell. Um, but yeah, no, I'm not, uh, I don't know. I'm pretty passive, pretty chill when it comes to this kind of stuff. If something's clearly broken, I will absolutely be proactive about reporting it and posting to the places and, and all that kind of thing. But in terms of like just brand new content out of no, no, don't care. Like just, just gimme and I'll, I'll see how I go with it. Uh, 
Uh, okay, let me go. Smush, smush. Bonk. Take dead. Is that another freaking? Oh, it's a trinket. Okay. Thought it was another relic, and I'm like, excuse me, rude. As a collector, I cannot complain about the number of collectibles in Shadowlands at the planning and alt management. It has involved to get them put me off a little. Ah, I'd almost say give us less. Fair enough. Fair enough. It does feel like they've absolutely ramped up the pace at which they're adding stuff. Like they they have. It's it's a fact. Um, so I don't know. I I kind of feel like I mean I do feel like it's almost like an endless game trying to catch up. Uh, but that being said, I'm fairly late to the game with collecting a bunch of different things. Like, mount farming, sure, maybe. But, like, transmog and stuff, I started very late compared to a lot of people. I've only really started transmog farm, uh, hunting in the last, like, six months or so. Um, so, I don't know if, if feeling like I'm always behind is because of me starting late or if it's because there's just too much, you know what I mean? A uh, little bit tricky for me to figure that out to, to differentiate, but um, it is it is kind of interesting. Uh, all the like you know having to have characters in different uh, covenants and stuff rather than being able to collect everything on everyone. Uh, but look, I'll get there eventually. Get there. Come to the conclusion there's too much to collect. There is 17 years worth of shit though, like. You know, it's, um, that is a large amount of time. That is a long ass time. Mm. Have they finally given us class skins so that we can get necromancers, mechamancers, etc. Class skins. Isn't that just... Now begins the long task. Wouldn't wouldn't that just be like transmog though? What do you mean by skins? What does that mean? Because that to me sounds like um not something that affects your play. That's just something that's cosmetic, which is what we have for like you can go and change your appearance and then you add transmog. What do you mean by skins exactly? Uh, ability reskins. Oh. So like green fire for warlocks or Uh, more involved glyphs, different ability names and spell animations. That's uh, going to be entirely too much effort. It would also, we had this discussion before, it's going to fuck with PvP. Um, part of PvP is recognizing what your opponent is doing and how to counter it. If you go from like 12 classes with X sets of abilities and then multiply that by like four or five, it's going to make things not, not just more difficult, too difficult. Um, unless you're going to completely turn those up. Like, I do not think they'll ever change ability names. Because that way, like, you won't be able to compare, like, logs and shit. It, because, like, all the spell names being different and therefore being calculated slightly different, all that kind of stuff is just not, like, it's, it, no. It's too much for the, for the database. Um, it's just entirely too much. Um, the, the best you're going to get is glyphs. The best you're going to get is glyphs that just change how it looks. It's not going to change your ability names. It, it might, like, you know, green fire, for example, with warlocks and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, beyond that, I I highly doubt it, honestly. Never say never, of course, but I, I just think that the game is too old, the framework is too old to be able to maintain all that kind of shit, and it would just make it entirely too complicated for, like, PvP players and stuff. It takes away your ability to, to know what's going on uh, and gives it only to those who are like the top, 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 top shit players who can remember that much shit. Uh, just more glyphs would be a good idea than maybe a custom localization. What do you mean a custom localization? As in like you can type over the name but no one else can see it sort of thing. Um, remove weekly lockouts on old raids would help. Let's hope they're considering that. I honestly don't see... Like, this was a costly lesson in not that would just make shit a bit forces. too easy. I your help, like, I don't know. I kind of like that 
I can only do something once a week because it takes off the pressure. I don't feel like I need to go and do it daily or whatever. Um, I like that some things have weekly lockouts. Personally, again, just my own personal opinion. Um, uh, yeah, so like how linked items slash abilities still work in other languages, just be able to add localizations via add-ons that replace spell names, icons, etc. So the issue with that becomes when you've got a player who gets so used to their own stuff that a raid leader or whatever calls for a certain spell or, or an interrupt or whatever like that, and the player who has all those localizations, it doesn't click what they're asking for, it causes arguments, especially in pugs, like in dungeons and LFRs, and they don't remember what the original name of the spell was. Hi, I have a shit memory. Um, yeah, that would just cause so like <laughs> i can just see it causing shit fights between players like whether or not it's technically possible um and if if, if it is like if it is technically possible i'm sure there's fucking add-on that can do it already um we're working on at the moment by the way how about something yes paragon for the moose box for the moose box really look at as a safety measure against burnout yeah absolutely absolutely Ah, uh, maybe Paragraph Mounts from Religion. Yes! I mount and fly up to the coin. Yeah, but this is more fun while I'm catching up on chat and talking to people. Um, cause issues in Mythic Progress too, to be honest. It could. I mean, you'd expect that the, the top level players would be able to remember the original names of their abilities and stuff, but even, like, I mean, maybe not. Maybe not. I forgot not everyone had Paragraph Mounts raining on them. Yep. Correct. Correct. Okay, I'm bored now. Let me mount up, please. Rude. Uh, what is that one? The Screeching Crag. Hydrate. No, this one under it. Oh, fuck, it doesn't matter. I'll get the. Gives me 24 awakening. So it's gonna be this one. Return to the crag. Uh, hope you get lucky. I'm not gonna get the Paragon case today. I am too far away from it. I'm only at 30% Paragon, and I've already done half the, the zone's world quests. Um, but if I never do it, if I don't do it just because I'm not going to get it today, then I'll never get it. So I'm just making progress towards uh, another cache. Are unleashing their perverse magic upon wild oh, excuse me. The screeching crag. We don't know how to counter their I mean, I've only opened a few of these boxes, though. Like, I, it's not like I've done tons of them. So it's, I'm still, I'm pretty sure I'm still in, like, the lucky range. I didn't do these a lot back in Legion, so. That's okay. And this is the last one I need, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Last Paragon case I need. Paragon Mountain, not <laughs> Legion Paragon boxes. Ah, it's okay. I don't mind it, honestly. Legion World Quests are great fun. Um, at least I enjoy them. Each to their own, of course, but I don't mind them at all. The Argus ones are a bit of a pain in the ass just because I couldn't mount, like, couldn't fly. Uh, but I've got all three of those now, so that's nice. This is the last one I need out of all the Paragon mounts. Almost there. Ah, <clears throat> uh, so this is the mailbox issue. Brilliant! There you go. So now I'm to be disabled and have nothing to do but game. Yeah, I, I, uh, run a business from home. Like, I, I have my day job, I work two days a week, and this streaming is, is a business. Um, and I do a shitload of work behind the scenes. Uh, when I'm not actively live and streaming, so, um, yeah. Even if you are a person who's unable to get a traditional job, um, there are absolutely other things that can consume your time. Um, that's okay. To do seven tunes every three days? Yeah, fuck that. I don't have time for that. I would like hard mode world quests. Ooh, why? But why? Ah, up to 11 by the end of Legion, you can crank the difficulty for an increased reward. That could be kind of cool. Get bonus rep and stuff. It'd be useful, especially like outside of um, current content. It'd be pretty handy. Oh, 
There we go. Enemies outnumber us. We have need of your skills. Justice is served. Um. Does your mother check your clips and or will you make her? What do you mean, Zam? Why would I make her check my clips? Mythic plus world quests. Be so down for that. Having to, like, having, like, the world quest, the mythic plus world quest pop, and then having to find the right key to do it. And oh, good lord. Too much RNG. Summoning stone, put a gem like in Neshita. Summons a world quest that grants rep and anima. Ah, okay. That could be kind of fun. Like, is she watching your clips? Oh, probably not. Um, she watches stream occasionally, uh, but I don't think she knows what clips are or how to find them or anything like that. Oh, fuck off. Ugh. Fucking hunters. I don't know if you can do that. Maybe even have it be a wave thing. Oh, that could be fun. Have it scale with how many group members you got. Go up to a full 40 man raid. Could be great fun. What other games you play? Uh, Pokemon at the moment. <laughs> uh, apart from that, though, stuff I really enjoy. I mean, I love the Pokemon games because it's basically like collections on crack. Um, but puzzle games, uh, anything with a really good story that doesn't last 700 hours of playtime because I don't have that kind of time. Um, and simulations. Uh, like, I mean, I, I used to play The Sims, like, a lot, a lot. Um, but also things like, uh, Big Pharma was one I was playing quite a bit for a long while there. Uh, just because it's, you know, like, you know, putting together the, the, uh, what's he, what's to, to make the drugs and all that kind of stuff, to ship them out and control your market price and all this kind of stuff. It was just interesting. Um, but yeah, puzzle games are, are a big one for me, which is why I love when they introduce a puzzle into WoW. Um, I mean, they don't have too many difficult puzzles. Usually those are like one-off secret type deals. Uh, but, and of course the, uh, the game itself, like World of Warcraft as a game, is restricted in just how puzzly their puzzles can get. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. No. No, oh, he's a fucking asshole. Um. Nah. Um. You you have to like, you got to send uh, researchers out into the field to discover new types of plants and things that could possibly have medicinal properties, and then you've got to like blend them into. Some of them work best if they're a pill. Some of them work best as a cream. Some of them, etc., etc. Um, and so you've got to figure out how to make the most effective medication you can using the ingredients you've got and putting them through different transformations to make them more or less effective. Um, and depending on how effective they are and how many side effects you end up having on them and stuff, uh, they can you can have a higher market thing or, a, or a, like a, a higher market share or a lower market share. People are willing to pay more if there's fewer side effects, pay less if there aren't, all that kind of stuff. Like it's it's really interesting and kind of fun. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, Big Farmer's a good game. And there are a whole lot of, um, like, uh, like, scenarios and stuff, like, you know, career mode, where you have to fulfill a whole bunch of stuff. But also, like, I love playing CK3 with Jazz. It's great fun. Um, so, like, grand strategy, but not usually by myself. That's something I usually play with Jazz. Because he and I work fairly well together in those kind of games. Uh, get anima rep based on how you survive. Honestly, you got me so hooked on House Slipper. Yeah, House Slipper is a lot of fun, but it still makes me want to puke. Uh, I still get massive motion sickness from it, which makes me really sad. So I just can't play it because it's not the chill game it's meant to be. 
because I play for an hour and I have a massive pounding headache and I want to puke on everything. So that it is what it is, unfortunately. I can't, I just can't play it, which sucks. Um, have you checked Potion Craft? Is that, I think that one's on my wish list already. I've got a few games on my wish list because people keep suggesting things to me and I'm like, oh yes, that. Um, give me just a second, let me have a look. There was one that someone re required, uh, uh, recommended to me recently and I, I lost my shit. I'm like, oh my God, I need this, but I don't have time. Um, oh, I don't have that one on my list, but I've seen it before. Mm, Alchemist Simulator. Uh, physically interact with your tools and ingredients to brew potions. Yes. Yep. I th it's early access. I think that's why I dodged it, because EA. Um, I have been stung badly. Badly. By a lot of early access games that we've- especially on stream. Um, I used to be really, really active on Keymailer, and so I'd get new game- Ping. So Keymailer is a website where streamers and content creators, because not just streams, like YouTube and stuff as well, but content creators can sign up, they make an account, they can reach out to developers and ask for a key, or developers can reach out and offer a key in exchange for exposure of the game. So like, you know, you don't get paid or anything, it's just, you know, you, you play the game, you give it exposure, and in return you get to have the game for free. Um, and I used to get like a key or two a week from that place. Uh, because I was so active in playing Variety. And then I kicked off onto WoW permanently and, well, the rest is history. Um, but I was getting games really, really frequently there and a lot of them were early access because that's kind of, you know, they want to get exposure so that they can get pre-orders so they have money to keep developing their game. And, uh, you know, when, you, when you're planning a, a three or a four hour stream around a game and you encounter a game-breaking bug 30 minutes in, The fuck are you supposed to do with that? Um, so yeah, I, I've been stung by entirely too many early access games, and so I tend to avoid them. There are a couple of exceptions to that, like Oxygen Not Included I played for a lot and a long- I loved Oni. Oni was great. Um, uh, played a lot of that during EA. But other than that, I've been really, really hesitant to do anything EA related just because it could completely fuck a stream up. So, and I don't really, I guess we've spoken about, I don't really have time to play games outside of stream time. So it's uh, fun. It's fun. I highly recommend RimWorld for game two if you like Colony Builders. RimWorld, I'm fairly sure, I either have it or it, can, it has been recommended to me so many times. Um, So many times. I don't have it. I think it was just something that required too much time investment. Um, but yeah, Prison Architect, Oxygen Not Included. It's, yeah, same sort of thing. Um, yeah. Um, where is this one? Must be satisfactory update. Remote is open ended, but goddamn, it's fun on stream. Yeah, uh, Oni is still great. Yeah, the only issue with them is that they're both. Uh, 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 sandbox. There's no quests, there's no real goals, there's no, like, I'm bad at sandbox games, really, really bad. Uh, Terraria, Ma Minecraft, I just, I don't like them. Um, I need, I need goals. Whether or not that's questing through WoW to get to max level, whether or that's, you know, going through a raid, whether it's hunting down an achievement or ticking things off an all the things list, I need goals. I need like a big goal with stepping stones towards that goal. If it's just explore, I hate it. I can't do it. Um, also really complicated tech trees. I can't, my brain cannot do complicated tech trees. I get to like the second level of research and then stuff gets really complicated where I have to like craft this and then meet it up with that and then build it in a room so that the, the temperature isn't affected for the rest of the, I, no, I can't do it. I'm out, that's it, I'm done. Um, at when, when it hits that point, like you need to get to that point and develop that to be able to grow further. I can't, I'm out, I'm, the game's finished for me. Um, my brain just can't figure it out. Um, and then, you know, I can go and look at a guide and then build this entire big room with all of this shit that I've researched, but then I'm not really playing it, am I? I'm just like copying and pasting shit from a guide into my game and that's not exactly fun. Um, yeah, it's, uh, even like, even games like The Sims, when they have their lifetime goals, 
I am like hella efficient at getting the lifetime goal done. And then once the lifetime goal is done, I'm born. <laughs> like, I'm done. I'm out. <sighs> yeah, I have a very particular brain when it comes to gaming. It's weird, right? Um, make your own goals? No. I, so I have what I like to call creativity by numbers. Uh, I can work to a recipe phenomenally. I can make, I, I crochet, I cross stitch, I knit, I make jewelry, all of this shit, but I do it with a pattern. I can sew. I have a sewing machine. I have patterns. I cannot start from nothing and create something. I can't do it. My brain does not function that way. And that's okay. Like everyone has their own skills and talents. I am comfortable in my lack of ability in this area, uh, but I cannot create my own challenges out of nothing. I can't do it. Uh, I've tried, it bores me to tears. And that's fine because there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions of games out there that set goals for me. So why do I need to set my own goals? I don't care. I, I literally do not give a fuck. I will play something else. <laughs> Uh, Recipes a great cause. Mountain of Awesome Mods. Oni has kind of goals. Yeah, they're not really enough. Once everything's balanced, that's, that's, I'm, I'm bored. Yeah. Call into rain 100% fear, 100% of the time, <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, dear, but that's okay. Look, hey, look, there are, there are games that are for people and there are games that are for other people. And that's the beauty of, of life and the world is that everyone is different. Everyone loves different things. And that means we have millions of different types of video games and, and everything else on, you know, music and food and blah, 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 blah. And if it weren't for other people liking stuff that I don't like, there wouldn't be these games that are outside of like, it, but then I try the game and I learn there are things about it that I really like. And then there are things about it that I really don't like, but I wouldn't have learned those things about myself if the game didn't exist to please somebody else, you know? So it's, yeah, no, I'm 100% love that there are all these amazing games that people fall in love with every day. They are just not for me. Uh, Neke, Spam, Draz, Zem, Zam, Gooses and Kludgy. I love that, Zem and Zam. Uh, well done, congratulations on your bonus shit. Uh, imagine how boring it'd be if everyone liked the same thing and we just had a handful. We wouldn't even have a handful of games. If everyone liked one thing, there'd be one game. And in that one game, there would be one activity. Because everyone likes it. So why would anyone need to innovate and try something different? Because that one activity in this one game fulfills everybody's wants and needs. Yep. Fuck debt. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, good. Where are we going? I need to sleep. Uh, if you have done a redemption and I haven't done it, I will refunderate it to you. Do not concern. Oh, excuse me. Because I know there's a few there that I haven't done. Uh, but that's okay. Wah. <laughs> Sniffle. Oh, you know where we're gonna go? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Fucking love. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to a place. It's not WoW. Uh, it's Super Mario Odyssey. It's gonna be great. Um, damn it, you too fast. Uh, Alright, Hasto Nerb, time for bed. Tomorrow will be more death farming after dailies. Yes! But yeah, we do. Do you ever have snacks when gaming? Yeah, I just also have dinner, so I don't really need snacks. <laughs> um, but yes, usually, just not not often on stream, because I have dinner, because I stream at nighttime, mostly. Anyway, uh, we're going to go send some love to the wonderful, the lovely, the beautiful Lacey Straps. Um, this button, this button, 
What are we doing tomorrow? Fucking heartbreaker runs. Uh, Wednesday, we are doing heartbreaker runs and then pet farming. Thursday, heartbreaker runs. Friday, early heartbreaker runs. Check the schedule. Stream time is different because dinner with mum. Uh, Saturday, heartbreaker runs. Evening time. Sunday, heartbreaker runs, then transmog. Next Monday, heartbreaker runs, then mount farming, then staying up, then last minute heartbreaker runs. Please, for the love of God, I'm going to need some moral support for that stream. Please. For the love of God, I'm going to need some help. <sighs> I'm going to go try to catch up on a bit of sleep. Um, take care of Lacey for me. She's a lovely human. Send her all of the love by copying and pasting the Twitch raid message. Uh, I can't remember to get the match tomorrow. I will update the calendar if that is the case. <laughs> Grab your copy paste uh, from Koalatron. If you don't have the Fiamma hype ma uh, macro, fucking Jesus. If you don't have the Fiamma hype emote, uh, you can still change. You can copy and paste the whole message. Change Fiamma hype to your favorite happy hypey celebratory emote that you own, uh, and then drop it into Lacey's chat when we get there to shoot her off some love. I'm gonna see you tomorrow for Heartbreaker runs. I will start. I will do the Heartbreaker runs. I will go the hell to bed. That is the, it. it's, it's a bonus stream, it's shorter, so just keep that in mind. Um, uh, if you haven't already, please do consider following the stream. It helps. What helps more is following on Instagram. I'm like this close to hitting 1000. It's not that close, it's 105 off. Um, I have 895 last time I looked, but um, honestly, Instagram following is like how I get to full time. Not even kidding, I know it's stupid, but Instagram is how I get to full time. So please, if you have an Instagram account and you haven't already, exclamation socials, jump on through there or click underneath as like all the fair things. I think there's also an Instagram button and uh, follow me on there. I would much appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. All love. Mwah. Bye.